Hello, hello, and welcome to the very uh, first 16 star event that I have hosted here on Mario Sunday. Uh, thank you very much for showing up. Uh, Anime, how are you doing today? Yo, Markinator, I am doing pretty well today. Wonderful to be back in the booth with you here on such a fine Mario Sunday. Absolutely, it is. And thank you so much for commentating with me. We've got a lot of matches to go today. Uh, we are doing 16 star. Uh, if you guys don't know, here at Mario Sunday, we do a format uh, currently called leaderboard format, which is uh, I get a bunch of racers to race at one time and... Uh, we will record uh, their best time that they have. And at the end of the day, uh, we will see how everyone did uh, versus each other. So everyone is against everybody here today. And um, yeah, we've got Leo Paddock and BDEF here on race number one. Uh, how many races do we have today? I think we have a total of 15 racers today. So going to be pretty slam packed. Uh, 16 star goes by pretty quick. So I'm giving these runners two races. Uh, first time I've been doing this. Uh, previously in 120 and 70 star, I just gave them one no reset to do. But today, 16 star, very quick. I'm going to give them two chances. Also might see some LBLJ uh, with the strategy. So it kind of loosens up the runners a little bit. I think it's a good idea. So Yeah. <clears throat> 16 so, yeah. star is definitely one of those categories where, uh, honestly, it's I, I'd say it's probably one of the easiest Super Mario 64 speedrun categories to pick up. I know it was my first one that I did when I was casually speedrunning the game for the first time. But, you know, again, even with it being short, like there's there is still a lot. There is a lot that goes into this category. Yeah, no, absolutely. There is a lot that goes into this category. And hopefully we can see a lot today uh, as these runners uh, go through the game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them a start uh, and tell them the starts. Went a little late today. There's always some kind of hiccup like right at the end. Like this time it was uh, my VLC. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give these runners the, the go ahead and make sure that they're ready. But uh, what are you excited to see today? Uh, you said LBLJ. Uh, any, anything else? Any specific tricks that you're going for that you'd like to see? I, you know, honestly, it's always good to see uh, a fun left side, a good right side every now and then. Um, I think what would be really interesting to see is, oh shoot, no, the idea, it slipped, it slipped, oh no. <laughs> Ah, well, you know, honestly, I am always down to see some top tier 16 star action, mid tier 16 star action. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful to have all these Mario races. And again, thank you, Markinator, for putting on Mario Sunday and having me in the booth today. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Today's hopefully going to be really good. Uh, I know a lot of people were really excited. A lot of people didn't get to sign up that I know kind of wanted to. Like, I was expecting a little more racers than we got today, but. Uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of watchers today. 16 star is like one of the you know the most popular category, easiest for people to get into. Want to see some some good stuff? Uh, Leo Paddock is not responding uh, to me in Discord, and I need to give them the countdown. Uh, so I'm not I'm not sure. We should have started like you know 30 seconds ago, but uh, Leo Paddock, uh, I'll just send him a direct message. Oh, there they go. Perfect. I threatened them with a DM. No. Nobody wants a DM from me. Oh no, the DMs. Got to be careful with those. There, there is a, there's an unspoken level of power when it comes to DMs. It's definitely not. It's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's kind of on a hush hush. You don't really talk about it, but when you hear, like you, you know, you know, you got to be. Uh, oh, oh, hold up. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. No, but uh, give these runners the countdown. Three, two, one, go. And hopefully they will be on their resets here. I timed that really well. I gave them the countdown before that, and there's a delay. Hey, Mario. Yes. <laughs> that is true. You did time that pretty well. I'm hoping. BDF's definitely got the reset happening. Uh, there we go. Coming out from Leoptic for Leopatic. Might have been a little late. We've got the timer. Timer's a little unfortunate on Leopatic's side. There was no reset happening with the timer. So we're just going to have to... Uh, we're gonna have to use some brain power here, crunch some numbers at the end, but that's all right. So far, we are off to a good start. Both runners currently on world record pace, sitting through the Princess Peach letter watch party, one of the most popular 
Well, I mean, I don't know about popular, but, you know, judging by how views goes, Twitch would probably call it the most popular intro cutscene on Twitch.com. No, that is true. I'm sorry. This this timer thing You're is fine. kind of freaking me out um, because I need to know what time he's got. It's not a race. It's like, what's your final time? Um, yeah, it's definitely a thing here. Um, like you said, this is the leaderboard format, which actually I think it's I think it's kind of cool to have a leaderboard format in the sense that you have like it gives the runners a chance to just kind of like take a day, try to get like, you know, your high score to get your top score. And then you can compare it against anybody else who's participating in the event. It's almost like a miniature tournament, but like not as much stress, honestly. Yeah, not as much stress. So you get two shots at it. Um... Yeah, there's a lot that can go wrong at 16 star for sure. Uh, both of these runners looking like they're gonna be taking it easy and going into uh, going into BOB first instead of doing the LBLJ. So uh, should be seeing a lot of lobby, but Leo Paddock not getting the bomb clip. Oh, just taking a lot of damage from the chain chop. Wants to take that pole. Is gonna need to move away. Whew. Okay. All right, we're gonna go for another bomb grab here. Hopefully, we can get it. That actually, that almost could have worked, but unfortunately, oh, just super unfortunate for Leo Paddock here. Gonna go reset the bomb, or maybe oh, not. Didn't reset the bomb. Yeah, now it's just gonna take this. That's yeah, that's really unfortunate. When uh, you know, first star of the game, like things just don't quite go right, including the timer. Yeah, I remember. Um, I actually saw it in the promo section. Uh, I believe this is uh, Leo Paddock's like very first race, so you know probably just some a little bit, a little bit of first time jitters. Yeah, most likely. Could um, yeah, could somebody in chat, anyone trustworthy person in chat, maybe meter, could uh, look back in the vod real quick and see what time Leo actually started, and I'll just subtract that from their final time. And I'll just do that because, yeah, we're too far into it to really do any kind of reset. BDF re grabbing the tree. My the goodness. double tree grab. You never see it. The, you know, BDF definitely a tree hugger here. Wants to keep those leaves nice and fresh. Here we go. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, most runners learn this really early on uh, if you actually play the game. But yeah, if you like A and B at the exact same time or like one after another off a tree. Uh, you'll just re-grab it. So runners actually like do delay that B press. Something we don't really typically see. It's pretty muscle ingrained. To all the yeah, it's runners. one of those. This is another one of those games where like it's easy to watch and kind of see what they're doing and like pick it up as you go along. But there are always these just there are a lot of subtle, a lot of subtle things that runners do that you kind of have to pick up on your own or like really ask for. And you know, thankfully that's from 64 community. You know, it's really large. There's a lot of willing helpers out there. Yes, there is a lot of people willing to help, uh, which is great. It makes like things like today possible. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and, uh, and read off what we have going on today. So race one, we have Leo versus BDEF. Uh, race two, we have Adam versus Meter. So Meter is gonna be in here. I'm sure everyone knows. Ayo. Uh, we've got right after that, we've got Ava Mora and Benedict Fleur up to bat. Then Zine versus Mr. Doggo. We've got Remedy versus uh, a flying cougar. I always have to look at that one. Uh, and then the next race, we actually have three. We have Falling Tacos, Sima, and Capri. Uh, Capru Sin. It's like, it's like Capri Sun, <laughs> but it's not. That's that's great. I've not heard that before. That that gives me a good chuckle for sure. Yeah, and then the last one's Bizarre Skate versus Finn L. So, will be a great day of races. Lots of really good people from the community came out today. So I'm really excited. Uh, we actually have a lot of uh, runners who main 16 star and have like 15, uh, 16 minute time. Falling Taco, Sima, those are both 16. Bizarrescape, Finn L, both 15s. Zine, Mr. Doggo, 15s. So we got some good races today. Yeah, this, this is going to be great. I love, you know, honestly, I love uh, participating in these community events. Um, I was actually I was actually supposed to I was supposed to run today as well, but like midway through the week, people are like, oh, actually, we're doing this Sunday. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, I can at least do some commentary. 
<laughs> yeah, thank yeah, and I'm really happy that you were able to actually, you know, do some commentary. Uh, if you had chosen to play instead, I obviously would have understood. But uh, yeah, I always love having you in the booth. You're very, uh, very quick, very knowledgeable about the game. Uh, as far as like, kind of like how it runs, like you watch a lot of races and stuff like that for sure. I host a couple from time to time, but definitely yeah. none, none on the scale that you yourself and West Dog host. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm just like, I don't know. Yours are really good. You had the, the bingo going on for a while. I'll get you uh, to host one of those here one day. I would absolutely love to. Hit me up anytime. I I honestly really enjoy the bingo goals that we do for the bingo tournament. It's a blast. Yeah, bingo is really awesome. These runners are also awesome here coming into CCM. I didn't see anything too crazy happening in Womp's Fortress. No, nice. honestly, it was a pretty solid Womp's Fortress for both racers. You know, again, Leo Paddock coming out a little later due to the mishaps happening in Womp's Fortress, but Vita, you know, coming in hot, and Leo Paddock with the pro movement for wall kicks will work. will actually save quite a bit of time over Vita up there. Vita up having a... Um, I'm actually... Well, I would call... I guess you could call beat up's movement like kind of a mix of like slightly easier strats, but also some mid strats. He did like uh, he did a jump kick over the ledge, and, this, and like I, I'm so used to doing the like dodge roll over the edge now, and I know that's like slightly like advanced mid or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not taking any yeah. damage. Yeah, beat up's definitely a more cautious player. Uh, doesn't grind out too many like super hard strats. But uh, is obviously very knowledgeable at the game. Everyone knows who VDEF is. Club 100 events. But yeah, definitely a consistency player. And consistency is super important when it comes to things like races and tournaments. So it's definitely something that should work out for him in the end pretty well. Talking about PBs just a second ago. Uh, the PBs for these two runners, we have Leo with the 1946 and Vida with the 2004. Right. You know, Vida, that's uh, these are pretty close to each other, which is great. Yeah, yeah. Everyone racing today are, has PBs pretty close to each other. Uh, even though everyone's racing everyone at the end of the day, uh, get a little little race action going on, keeping it close. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. Like everybody loves. Everybody loves a good race. You know, sometimes it's really hard to uh, watch a race when you get the top seed of, like, a 16 and then the lower seed of, like, a 24 or something. You know, very exaggerated here, but, you know, it, it gets a little hard to watch. So it's honestly really nice of you to be able to take the racers, slap them up with their PBs, try to make them all nice and side by side so you can see them stay pretty close to each other the whole race. Oh, this is, this is really sketchy. I don't like this. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> oh man, Leo. Why the why the Mario cam? I want to know. I want to know. I I don't know. I guess just to see where you're going, because I mean it is really sketchy. Like for for even top runners, like if you don't quite make that small ledge on the way down, like coming around the corner there, like I don't really know what the best move is. I'd probably jump and just kind of like swerve the corner. Yeah, I I see a lot of people that they take a dive from the upper platform. They do a dive roll onto that tiny ledge. Yeah. And I'm just like, how does that work? How? Uh, like, obviously it does because mechanics, but like, God, that's so scary to watch. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's just landing. It's landing on that sliver versus landing before it. Mm -hmm. So like, it's actually easier. It's actually easier to do that than it is to like jump down and then like try to work your way around it. Um, that's so wild, dude. Yeah. So I highly, if you, if you're not doing that, that dive rollout to anyone who's watching, like I recommend just trying it out, just play with it. I promise you, it's very easy. It doesn't have to be like frame perfect or nothing. You just gotta, gotta roll out and land on that sliver, like on the side of the post. I will have to write that down for future endeavors. Yeah. Now one of those things, not obvious, and you just kind of like assume top runners are going fast. But a lot of things that these runners do are easier than they seem. Oh, beat up, taking a burn. Getting the burn back up there. Not quite making it to the slope, but you can, I, I think that's a fun little backup. I don't know if you could really call it a backup, but if you hit the bird and you're not quite far enough, high enough to get yourself onto the slope, 
And instead of sliding down the slope, you take a burn, and then you can just run your way up the slope. Is it, you know, slower? Uh, of course, yeah. But, I mean, you're not falling to your death, at least. That's a bonus. BF, no! Not quite taking a slide into the sand. No! But, oh, there it is! Commentator skirts! Oh, oh, no, BF, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is that is so tragic. That is so tragic. Honestly, if you're so far up on that... Uh, on that slope, I mean, you just have so much speed going backwards. Oh my gosh, Vita. Almost diving a little too early there. You got a nice star grab here. About a couple seconds or two apart. 11 stars now for both runners. Leo Paddock having it somewhat caught up here. Yep, and the timer did start 132 for Leo Paddock. We're going for that. They're pretty, yeah, they're pretty close then for sure. Doing a little bit of that quick math. Oh, Mr. Red Coin! Okay, no deaths. That's good. We're fine. But Beat Up is going to once again take the lead here. Yeah, those little things. Yeah, maybe we could see, uh, see someone like slightly go forward. Like, I always love seeing top runners when they're neck and neck and someone's just like slowly gaining time. Oh, it's, it's, Look, it's so amazing. The synced movement is so good. Oh my gosh, dude. There was... I, I was I was watching Cobra Clips the other day, because I haven't watched them in a while. And I think it was a CCG race. There was... Something happened, and both runners got a star grab on, I think, almost the exact same frame. And it was, it was beautiful. The movement up to the star grab was almost perfectly synced. And oh my gosh, dude, in a race, seeing some sync star grabs, it is just it is glorious. That yeah, certainly is. Like two different people running at like the exact same time. It really is something to see. And we did just see Leo take the lead there with, with just some pretty optimal movements. Like I was saying earlier, B Def goes for consistency, doesn't want to mess too many things up. Uh, lost some time there, just going for the same star. Here we go, some good Rolling Rock RNG there for Leo Paddock. A relatively decent wall kick as well. Beta also getting some good wall uh, Rolling Rocks. Always nice to avoid the Yep Rocks in the Hazy Maze. Sometimes they are just not the nicest. And Leo Paddock not going far enough with the kick and falling right back into HMC. <laughs> I, I feel that one. I feel that one way too oh, much. Oh no. Oh, it's, uh, oh gosh. I don't know which is worse, accidentally diving into the goop or what Leo Paddock just did, cause, oh man. Yeah, it's it's both pretty hard. It is like, it is actually difficult to like actually jump over it. Uh, cause yeah, you either like you get enough speed to dive or like you don't have enough speed to actually make it over. Pretty tricky as VDEF makes it through the door. That was actually pretty quick. Let's see. Leo Paddock and catch up. That's pretty sharp. It is going straight through. Oh, no. Unfortunate for Leo Paddock. Oh, yep. Once again, all the way through. BDF definitely took his time to line up MIPS, but as you can see, you know, he is already into Dire Dire Docks, making his way towards the submarine. You know, sometimes, especially in a race setting, patience can be rewarded. No, absolutely. We're seeing we're seeing the pros and cons here for for B Def. I mean, took that one spell in SSL, which evened it up. But since then, like, saw him lose some time, and then we jump into the goop is pretty bad. But uh, yeah, that mid clip, a little, make sure you get it. You know, consistency strats paying off. Back sub, making it nice and easy. There we go. Yeah, reduces some good lag. Both these runners on N64. Yeah, they're both doing a good job. We well, might not know that that is the reason, if you don't know, uh, the reason why these runners are moving their camera like that is on the N64 console, that submarine takes up so many polygons. And because Mario also basically takes the amount of polygons as like like an, an, an entire level, you know, putting two high polygon things into one scene like that really makes the N64 struggle a bit. 
Yeah, absolutely. That sub is like the bane of people's existence on the N64. Front sub is even worse. But uh, the yeah, lag is not your friend. Losing every bit of every single frame you get in lag is time lost in real time. Game time it's not, but real time. And you know, that's what the timers are certainly on. <laughs> All right, pretty decent fire seed from beat up here. Not too many mistakes. Leo Paddock, meanwhile, super low on the HP. One burn away from death. No! Please. What? He got a coin. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's 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 he gonna do? Oh, please, careful, careful. There you go. All right. Okay. We're good. We're clean. He's I, fine. I'm pretty sure Leo got that coin. No, he's gonna die. Oh no, my goodness. Oh no. Oh no, that is tragic. Aborted death, like, so expertly. Actually, like, took the death burn, but on the way up, before the pie counter ticked all the way down, grabbed the coin. Like, that was oh, really man. epic. Oh, and a firsty on the pole. Unfortunate. We've got beat up now, hopping out of fire seas, sitting at a pretty 17 here. Has two sets of BLJs to go before he gets into bits. Leo, meanwhile, getting a relatively nice elevator cycle here. Very nice. Yeah, Gonna go good. for the long jump moment. Uh, moment. Long jump movement on the left side here. Very nice. Oh. Oh, that was almost. That was so close. So close. Beat up just losing the BLJs at the very top of the stairs. Again, I don't know if he'll be able to build up enough speed. Might be able to. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't able to. Yeah, it was definitely close. It's so, it's so unfortunate when you just get near the top and you're like, all right. I've got enough speed, I could probably clip through the door, and then Mario's booty just misses that top part of the stairs. Yeah. It's like, man. Every every Miss BLJ hurts really bad, but this one feels so good through the door. As Leo is done with Bowser. Only has to run up to the upstairs. So Leo, or I'm sorry, BDEF has to get the second BLJ. Is infinite. Interesting. Yeah, the infinite staircase gonna be catching. Oh, not too bad. Actually, clipping through the wall as well. That was great. You yeah. don't see that too often, except honest. How do they clip through the wall? I actually am curious about that because I only, you know, obviously I'm seeing like the like really high up their top runners doing it. And I don't see as many people getting that clip most of the time. Yeah, you just have to be centered. Like your BLJ has to be like you know, towards that warp and. I think also at the top of the stairs you wanna you wanna like hold down like you wanna stop pressing A. I think I think that's how it is. Uh, I don't that do it myself. It's very, yeah, it's very precise. You have that to make sure the camera is right. Gotcha. Here we go, beat up. Some nice pull action here, playing it safe. Leo Paddock, meanwhile, an excellent set of BLJs at the 50 star door. Having a little bit of trouble with the infinite staircase, unfortunately. Gonna have to reset for that set of BLJs. Vita finally grabbing that pole. And there we go, Leo Paddock. Now into bits. Both runners in the same place at the same time once again. Yeah, Leo has had some spills, had some mistakes, but is holding in here. Vita into the pipe. The beat up has the 2004, so not quite PB pace, but not very far off. Leo Paddock's dive there honestly almost bonked. I cannot believe he was actually able to get that dive off. The platform rotated just barely enough. There you go, first throw. He's gonna nail it. The problem, like, it is easy to get the bomb hits when, when you get a limp throw, but. Coming back to grab the Bowser is not the best. Oh yeah, and all the fire that Bowser's breathed out. Breathed, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, English is a funny language, but I, I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> breathed, breathed. Oh, and another missed throw from BDF, hold on. 
Hold on, Leo Paddock hopping into the final Bowser fight. I think we've got one throw from VDuff so far. Now we've got two. Okay, that is a sigh of relief from VDuff, but does need the third. Do need one more throw from VDuff. Meanwhile, Leo Paddock needs to grab all three, and that's that first one for him. There we go, VDuff snagging that third throw. Absolutely, and snagging the win here. Just before Leo Paddock could come back in this race. Beat up holding through with a 2109. Oh no, that bomb was already gone! Super unfortunate for Leo. <laughs> come on, there we go. Oh, quite close enough. A little more, a little more speed. Location, location, location. It's all about the location. Oh, I hope. Looks like he's switching controllers there for a quick second. Okay. Gotta be careful. We've got some blue fire coming towards him. There it is. Oh, the blue fire! The blue fire! He was switching the controllers, I think, right as the fire took him off the stage. Must have missed it. A little unfortunate. That blue fire, you gotta watch out for that blue fire. It tracks you like a beast. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be, it looks like the, the forfeit here. GG. All right, we do need race number two. Yeah, so. even like, re regardless of the DNF here, you know, Leo Paddock still ended up playing relatively well, able to recover from the unfortunate bomb clip incidents in uh, Bob on Battlefield and like still kept it really close, especially up to the end. Mario. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was it was really close. Like BDF, I feel, was like very consistent through basically the whole thing. It's me, um, Mario. With the, with the really safe strats. Only had a couple of spills. Hello. But, um, but yeah, it was able to hold out. And Leo Paddock, I think, can show or have a better showing on this one, because that first race was... You could definitely see the potential in the strats and, and the movement. Uh, just, just like, took a few deaths, jumped back into HMC, you know, things like that. Clean those up, and a really good time is on the table, I think. A hundred percent. I can definitely see uh, match number two going either way for both runners. Again, hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't have any timer inconsistencies, but I know... Auto split and manual splitting, uh, they can be kind of buggy. They can, they can. And, and Leo is looking at, into that right this second, making sure everything is good. Uh, it's probably using auto split, and I would assume like auto split just didn't work on that reset. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll guess. get it all going here. But yeah, we are going to go right into game two. Uh, race number two, the second match of the day, is scheduled for 4 p.m. Eastern. So we are we are on schedule. Excellent. We are just cruising on through here. And for those of you out there who are here on this fine Mario Sunday, I hope you guys you should definitely check out Leo Paddock beat up. And if you're if you're not following Markinator, you should do that. We've got some more epic Mario Sunday events coming up in the future and we have tons and tons of races as we mentioned earlier yes we do we have a total of seven races to go this is only race one in each race we will have two no reset 16 star matches so lots of gameplay to be had i am currently talking with the runners here I am counting in Discord. The epic counting right. of the century. <laughs> right, it looks like go. we've got the clean save file there from BDF. I can also assume we've got that clean save file from Leo Paddock as well. The perfect thing that you need at the start of a race. Just a good old good old file erase which oh such a good emote file erase just like it's very silly it's very simple but you know it just it tickles my fancy that's for sure yeah nice clean file nice clean race as we get started here bdef 
a little earlier here. I can probably, now that the timers are, are synced, I can sync these two runners up myself. I believe. Once we again, we are on the Princess Peach Letter Watch Party for the second time today. We will be at this party multiple times as we do have, as mentioned, we have a lot of races. But this is the race two between Leo Paddock and BDEF. I'm excited for this one. The first race, actually, again, it ended very close. You know, both runners making some mistakes here and there, and both runners taking advantage of those mistakes. Yeah, very true. The, the lead changed a, a good bit there. Uh, Leo Paddock did have a really unfortunate beginning and, and came back really nicely, I think, in, in lobby uh, to come back uh, in SSL after VDEF took that, that spill. But that spill was early on, so it wasn't like massive, massive. So I really am excited to see what Leo Paddock can do here. Ooh, misses the lag to skip, but so does VDEF. We got double lag to talk in here. Both runners just wanting to get a quick pep talk, quick little. A little pat on the back saying, hey, you got this. You got this. You know, sometimes you need that. You do. You do. A little pep talk, a little, little stoppage, like, hey, hold your horses here. Take a breath. Just take your medication. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's important. You know, are you hydrated? You know, you, should, you shouldn't be doing all this running unless you're hydrated. It's very important. Very true. Let's see that here in BOB. See Leo take on this bomb clip. Ooh, very nice. Medium bomb, I think. Yes. Yo. Oh, medium bomb for BDEF as well. Cool. Barely making it in there. I'm pretty sure, I'm very certain that that was really close to the end of the bomb's life there. Ooh. It, it really was. So if you get the medium bomb, or even if like you get like the smaller bomb, that uh, you, you kind of want to like jump and hold forward in the air to gain speed. But yeah, just, you just barely make it like beat up did if you if you just like stay on the ground. Dude, slow bomb, small bomb is so scary. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can make it at all unless you actually like jump and speed yourself up. Mm -hmm. Zero suit meter, thank you for the gifts up here on this lovely Mario Monday. Uh, thank you, Mark Nader. Yeah, thank you. Very kind. Yes, and if uh, there is no current. Uh, like prize pool here, Mario Sunday is for fun gaming at the moment here. But uh, yeah, any donations, any subs do go to me, go to help support what we do put on here at Mario Sunday. So anything is appreciated. And if you say... want to join in on Mario Sunday, this actually is an open event every week. Next week is the task competition, which will be up tomorrow. I, I remember the, um, the last task you put out. I thought it was really clever, actually. I thought it was pretty neat. Thank you. Yeah, it was. I think it turned out really well. It was in CCM. A lot of people... Uh, there was basically a different route for everyone. Like, you saw a few similarities. But, uh, yeah, everyone found something that they could do, what worked for them. Yeah, it was really fun. So, definitely join in on the action on that one. Uh, Mario Sunday through the Discord. All signups for Mario Sunday are through Discord. So, oh, I messed up. <laughs> Boom. So yeah, hop Follow on in that Discord. You can always keep your ear open. See what's happening on the next Sundays for Mario Sunday. Wow, that, that last round found there from Leo Paddock was incredibly close to the ground. I am shocked that he did not get squished. I'm playing with it here. Oh, oh, beat up. Okay. All right. Ooh, quick recovery. That's good. That's good. Here we go. No right. crazy mishaps here. Uh, both runners doing really well. I mean, we just kind of been talking. Our gameplay has been speaking for itself. Yeah, gameplay has been nice. Uh, I think beat up so far is the only one who's had a little bit of an issue in Womps here, missing that weird stuff with Cannonless. But like outside of that, you know, the rest of the Womps, is, it's been going pretty smooth for both of these guys. Indeed it has. Beat up. Taking a good bit of lag, you can see how much that power actually affects you. Here we go. Come Ooh, almost up there. You're so close. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Made it. Excellent. 
But yeah, that tower, that's that's the whole reason uh, we don't do those two stars first. Like, we save Womps and Tower always for last. And um, Leo almost, like, missed the cage, I think. But he almost <laughs> didn't make it in there. Uh, you can but, tell by yeah. the expression on his face. Oh, my gosh. His booty almost slipped right out. Yeah, but the, the only time that tower isn't there is on the first star. So we just don't do the first star. Just stays on the star select screen. But yeah, Leo taking the early lead out of Womps. Let's see what the difference here. CC and door touch look to be like 535, maybe 534. Oh, a bonk right on the other side of the railing. Very unfortunate. And Leo Paddock. Getting that first part of the pro strats, but unfortunately just falling off of that icy bridge there. Uh, that was about a 60, 602, 603 door touch from Beta. So uh, it's about 30 seconds between the racers, give or take. Yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. Um, yeah, Leo Paddock just yeah, going for the long jump, taking the ground pound right off the side. But right back in there as B Death falls down a little bit. There Wall we go. work this time. Here we go. Good penguin from Leo here. Yeah, just cruising through lobby so far. Pretty pretty similar to race one, I think, minus the BOB hiccup. But yeah, this is definitely more indicative of I think Leo's skill you know and that's that's the funny thing about like a no reset and 16 star in general it's just like Whoa. sorry <laughs> you know 16 star is, is it's one of those categories that uh, especially in a no re uh, no reset setting it, it's wild it's a wild how different the runs can be when it's compared to like your actual skill level and just like what the timer lets you do. You know, sometimes I swear Mario, Mario's just got a mind of his own sometimes. Yeah, he, he definitely does. The game has a mind of its own for sure. Uh, your card is personalized, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I mean, the game really does just know how to mess you up. Leo Paddock, think of the amps as we're even talking about it. He's taking that absolute oh exact three! three of them oh my gosh is there any more i don't think there's any more uh i think we're there's one there's one but he already missed it so he doesn't have to come back for it <laughs> man that was that was pretty rough making it through dark world at least no deaths you know what you want in a race style oh my gosh yeah beat it beat up this or leo this isn't bingo no please you don't need to get zapped <laughs> beat up getting zapped as well gosh Unfortunate. What was that jump dive and why? I don't know. I'm just glad Leo's in the pipe. Oh, B Def. <laughs> no, what happened? B -Def, no! Oh, was the input dropped or maybe he just thought he was going to be close enough? That's ah, super unfortunate having a death so late in the dark world like that. Oh, that is super unfortunate from B Death, like, I think was going for a long jump there and actually, like, maybe let go of Z too early and no! number two. The slide off the box, just a little too far, not able to turn Mario around. This is very unfortunate race two here for B Def. She needs to make it through. Oh my gosh, no! missed the button. Oh, B Def, you gotta be careful, please. You've got one life left. Oh, that's true. And as you know, it's a lot faster to not save on console. So you got you got to be careful here. Yeah, Leo in the lead somehow. I all eyes are on B Def. We just want, we want him to succeed. Yes, he's got this. to make it through this dark world. Did set a decent time, 21.09 in the first race, so uh, that's only a, about a minute off the, the real PB. Maybe not stressing too hard as you take a crystal to the face. 
Now, honestly, in a race setting, uh, if you can just get like within a minute of your PB, honestly, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Leo's on really good pace too. There we go. Got that long jump this time for Beta. Paddock, meanwhile, breezing his way through shifting sand lands. No sad lands for him this time. Yeah, beat up taking this very carefully. All right, as we are done with the Dark World portion of this segment. Let's go beat up into the pipe, ready to tussle. Paddock, really nice reds. Leo has 12 stars here. Uh, we'll be grabbing Toad on the entry of HMC, so uh, only two stars left, really. 11 minutes in. Yeah, this is looking really good. I haven't seen any crazy mistakes from Leo. I, I think that one of the biggest ones was like CCM ground pounding off the, the edge there on Walk Kicks at Work. Yeah, I mean, honestly, other than that so far, while well, I've been trying to keep my side eye on him while watching beat up through Dark World, it, it, he's had a really clean run so far. I, I've seen the timer go red a few times, so I don't, I don't think he's on PB pace. But he is, he's zooming. That is exactly why, like, I was kind of asking the question because I saw the the timer go red, but I haven't seen too many crazy mistakes. It's been very good. You gotta be close to the PB. We'll see about some BLJs, I guess. That BDEF heading into SSL. Is the bit behind after those Dark World mishaps? We'll see what will happen here. Alright, some nice Rolling Rock RNG for Leo Paddock and some decent movement. Not too shabby. Another HMC out of the way. BDEF just barely landing past that slope. Holy moly. That was close. All right, Leo Taking going around the goop this time. He's playing it safe. He is playing it <laughs> as safe as he can. <laughs> Don't blame him at all. Now, like, you know, it's a race oh. setting, so cannot blame him. Able to get that rabbit, but that's definitely some trouble. Not super clean. As long as this door goes well, I think it'll be all right. That looks like a good angle. That's pretty nice. Through the door. All right, first mid clip. Very, very nice. Just a little to the right of that door there, Leo. Should be able to get through that second time. Heavily in the lead right now. Very comfortable. Wants to get the best time possible, of course. Here we go. It's not just about this race, it's about all the races today. Yeah, like as you said, today's Mario Sunday is in the leaderboard format. While we will have many races throughout the day between uh, similar PBs, um, in the end, it will all come down to what was the best run you got today. Yeah, runners do have two chances. If you weren't here for the first race, BDF got a 21.09, and Leo did not finish, had a, a few unfortunate mishaps. But uh, he's definitely doing a lot better here in race number two. Looking to, to beat BDF's time and possibly uh, in line with APB. There we go. One more star left for beat up to grab Leo Paddock now at his 16th star. Going to be heading into Fire Sea. Hopefully not as tragic as it was last game. Yeah, nice clean Fire Sea. That's all we want to see. We just we love seeing that Mario move, you know? Beautiful. Yeah, that was a good good start. Yeah. Ooh, didn't uh, get... Walk kicks you look for exactly, took a couple extra. I think can still make the early cycle, but that burns might do it. Ah, yeah, unfortunate. 
BDF also getting some nice rolling rock RNG there. No rocks to bother his path. And making it over the puddle. A good quick mip scrap as well for Vita. Yeah, definitely cruising after that Dark World section. Doing much better. Sometimes, like, you make some mistakes and you just start playing better. Yeah, you know, you just get, you get into this mindset where... You know, you're so focused, you're so super focused, and you're just nervous, and then you make some mistakes. And your brain's just like, all right. <laughs> well, it just relaxes, Wait, then it's like, oh, man, why am I, my, you know, you, now you, I'm doing better. Wimpy so pace. Silly. Wimpy pace. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Leah's saying wimpy pace. I'm not sure if that's true. Looking at the splits. Uh, plus two on the timer. So, yeah, this is very close to PB, as we were saying. Golded. Uh, some stage DDD, it looks like. Nice. Here you go, BDF, getting that MIPS clip very nicely. Heading into can be, can Dire Dire Docks as Leo Paddock heads Thanks. upstairs into the BLJs. We're going to have to see how this first set goes for him. It went very smoothly for him first time. I think it can be. I'm not sure. Oh, bueno. oh, 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 God, BLJ! Wow, all right, okay. Yeah, you were asking about it. Leo delivered. We'll see about number two. This is this is great pace so far. Infinite stairs. Come on, you're catching. What's happening? Mario, please stay in the stairs. This is what we need. There we go. All right, we are now in two. Bits here with Leo Paddock on a pretty decent pace. Let's see how does this jump go here? Close enough to the edge. Excellent. Don't have to hold my breath on the dive this time. That's good. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm like holding my breath. I'm like, okay, that one, like, as if it's not, like I'm in there or something. I I've found it's it's so incredibly easy to miss the third triple to miss the triple jump and just dive straight off the edge but you know if you do that too much you might even start being a little a little shy and trying to dive a little too early and uh, again that's just going to lead into a bonk yeah that's very true leo maneuvering it quite nicely that flame almost got him but yeah on to the elevators here Almost to the final pipe. We are negative six coming in here. Ao. So uh, there we doesn't, go. Doesn't have a pipe split, so we'll see coming at the very end. But this should be PV possible. Let's get some prages, some blesses in the chat here for Leo Paddock. Might be on the precipice of a PV is, here on Mario Sunday. This is very PV possible. I mean, 1945 is the PV, so. Oh yeah, no, that's very PV possible. Yeah, I was thinking it was low 19, but. This is great. Let's go, baby. That's gonna hit. Two, two, yep. Good. One more throw for Leo Paddock as beat up. Bowser dance as beat up. Oh. oh, Leo, please, please. I know, I know. <laughs> please. Please grab the tail. You're at half a wedge. Ask a little to the left. Oh, there man. is still a chance for the PB here. BDF now finished with Fire C. Gonna be heading up to do his own set of BLJs as well. What? No, the speed! Where did it go? Must have let go of the stick or something, because yeah, that had a lot of speed to it. The stick just this dipped! Yeah. Just need one more throw. Come on, Leo! There we go! Alright! Hands off. Hands Almost. off. Not going to the edge of the stage. That's going to be it. There's going to be a PB here. First match of Mario Sunday here at 16 star with the 1933. That is great. Yeah, Leo's Let's like, I'm, I'm done. I did it. Very nice job, Leo. Pulling out a PB here on Mario Sunday leaderboard format. Excellent job. PB, my. Yeah, this is fantastic. I know Leo's happy about that. 
you know, wish wish you would have like you know hit the the third throw on the first try, but uh, but yeah, everything feels nice when you look at that time and, and see that it's the best that you've ever done. Clutching it out with the uh, negative eleven on the splits. Yo, one let's more Bowser go. throw miss, it would not have been a PB. <laughs> yeah, Bowser throw misses eat up way more time than you think they do, and way more than you would like. Yep, and that is going to conclude this race. Um, see if anyone wants an interview. But yeah, that's going to be it for this race. Uh, so match one, uh, we got 1930. Or I'm sorry, we got a dude did not finish from Leo and a 2109 from BDEF. And here on race two, the 1933. PB from Leo, and they didn't did not finish from Beta. Ah, they just traded off. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But both, yeah, both had a really good race for their PBs. Like Beta was only a minute off on race one, so kind of you know somewhat hard to match that on second race. And then yeah, Leo just going all out, going into Bowser stage like very PB capable. Apparently Bowser stage is like his ultimate weakness or something because. Had a lot of time to go with, so I think you can definitely get like an 18 or something uh, with the go. skill that Leo's showing. Listen, everybody. Hundred percent. That's that's definitely going to be an easy 18 for him in the future. Yeah. Looks like uh, looks like we do have one interview. Mario. That might be possible. We'll have to we'll have to pull him on into the booth as beat up. Gets a nice set of BLJs. It looks like he's actually going into the top. Maybe just needed to stop and take a breather there for a second. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I might want to race on. Said GG in the uh, the Discord chats. So, but uh, yeah. we'll let him race on as we, we try to interview Leo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Welcome on in, Leo. Let's go. Congratulations on your PB here on Mario Sunday. How are you feeling, man? Thank you, love, bro. Bro, I'm feeling, I don't know, like, literally my hands. I don't know, I, I get so nervous this kind of stuff. Like, that's me, bro. I don't this, know, bro. This game, it's just this game. I have, I have speedrun multiple games, but this game specifically, I don't know what it is about this game, but like, this game can genuinely be so stressful to speed run. So, like, I, I feel you. Terrifying. Yeah, but you did you did great. I mean, race one you had some some mishaps. I mean, we were talking about it, but your movement looked good. Um, we were pretty excited about race two, and, and you delivered with the PB. So. Thank you, thank you, love, bro. I actually, um, I didn't uh, like wait for a PB. It was <laughs> like it popped up. But I don't know, bro. Yeah. My heart was. Your heart was in it, apparently. Yeah, bro. Right. <laughs> you did great. But, but yeah, you were uh, you're pacing. We were, we were calling it out. We were like, yeah, I mean, biggest mistake, uh, you know, before bits or whatever was, I think CCM. Where you, you that's like, that's ground actually pound. Like, say, I think. Yeah, and it wasn't even yeah, it wasn't even that big. Like, so we were like, stays are so mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how did it, how did it feel when you were like, after that first BLJ when you just like nailed it? Bro, I, I was. I was astonished, like literally, like I can't believe that I got that BLJ. I never got that kind of shit. I never, literally. The, the God BLJ just really just so it, so it come, when it so shows it came up from the heaven. Yup. And it gave me a powers, like literally. The God BLJs choose when they decide to show up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, so glad that you you had a good race. You got the PB. Uh, beat up is, is finishing this up. Uh, so we'll, we'll let that finish and then we'll move on to the next race. But uh, yeah, GG's again. Congratulations. We'll see what uh, what place that that holds on to. 1933, that final time. Um, Thank you, love. Yeah, you got any you got any plans for like stream or anything going forward? Like, what are you, you gonna be working on? Like, um, like that me? Yeah, like, are you yeah, like keep doing general. 16 star. Like, you bro, do... yeah, like I want. Like sub eighteen, like that's my final goal, and I will move to seventeen. I think you you definitely got this coming for sure.
I think I can do it with my strats. Like, I, I don't need to. But I don't know. Yeah. No, I think yeah, I think you get an 18. Uh, you said sub 18 is what you're going for. Yeah, but like, oh, we we go baby step like like first 18. Yeah. But I I think we are going good, bro. You think you're going what? I think I'm going good, like well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're doing good too. So. Oh, thank you a lot, guys. I really, really um, enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. That was Leo Paddock with OP death. What's happening? Took the death. I thought we were going to finish. I had it all planned out. I was like, yeah. I was like, boom, we're finishing this interview. Man, BDF is like finishing up this Bowser fight. I'm going to like transition it so well. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. The fire and the flames. Oh, so unfortunate. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> okay, so BDF doesn't want to jump back yet. So we will throw it off. Um, to uh, to the menus here, but uh, yeah, that's that's it for BDF and the Epatic. Anime, please sub this up for me, please help me out. You got this, guys. Please make sure you go follow Leo Paddock. Go follow BDF, and thank you again for seeing this first race of Mario Sunday. But stick around; we have so many more races on the way for you guys today. It is Mario Sunday. Yes, it is. The next race is going to be uh, Anvamora versus Benedict Fleur. So that's going to be fantastic soon here at Mario Sunday. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing till you get in that flow state. You can do it, go improve it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. This weekly competition feeling like my inhibition mario will tell the story play for fun or go for gory moves are getting even faster all these tricks out there to master having fun could play forever face your friends to see who's better grab the strength you have to muster do not lack a single luster moves are looking never better like a freshly painted desert now you've got a place to play and show that concentrated effort it's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing till you get in that flow state. You can do it, go improve it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desnig versus Zufi. His game crashed, he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 stars showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hit and throw is going to be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run. Let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave. Hello, everybody out there, and welcome on back into Mario Sunday. My name is Anime, and I'm here with Elisa. How are you doing today? 
Hello, Anime. I'm doing good. I'm very happy to be with um to be on comps with you tonight. I'm so excited for the races. This is, uh, yeah. this is definitely gonna be a good one. We've got um Adam and we've also got Zero Suit Meter. Meter um I actually know them from a couple of events in the past over on uh GSA, cool cat gang, and uh a role reversal. Thing. We did a role reversal event where we had racers commentating commentators racing. Oh, which that, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, this one, this one's looking to be pretty good. Adam and Meter setting up, getting ready and prepared. Um, and I, I apologize if I cut you off earlier, Lisa. How are you? How are you feeling about these races? I'm feeling excited, honestly. Just there's so much excitement in me. I cannot wait for them to like go and um yeah deliver some exciting gameplay it's yeah now i'm already i'm seeing something right off the bat interestingly here uh meter is actually on the japanese cart adam meanwhile has an english cart so oh. that will technically um that's actually going to give meter a little bit of a time boost it's the fastest one that you want to use for 16 star yeah definitely Definitely, but it seems like I they, these guys did not like did they? Th sorry if I'm like these guys did not start, did they? Because of, like because of the timers, like <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, they're uh, you know they're 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 giving us a little bit of a time okay. to you know pump the crowd up just a bit, you know, let them know how epic this oh race is going to be here on Mario Sunday. Mario. I was a little confused because of um the intro, you know, like uh, most people. Use the use the money. So I was like, oh, maybe if they want to practice, maybe they would have not watched the intro. But I'm happy it didn't start. I did not miss anything. That's good. That's good. I'm I'm really hoping to see a, a sub Pikini, sub twenty if we Mario. get to see one. Maybe. Who knows? Hello. Sub twenty. Sub twenty. We did see a sub twenty at last rate, but more sub twenties. Oh yes. I I would say twenty is probably like a good. Uh, probably like a good first 16 star gold. So like if you kind of just get into the category, I feel like yeah. 20 sub 20 is pretty comfy gold looking at. Yeah, I think it's like the like the first big milestone for every everyone who's getting into uh, Mario 64. And since most people start with uh, 16 star, so that's like pretty pretty good first gold. Yeah. We got both racers. They're sat through the Princess Peach Letter Watch Party. Going to be popping out of that tube. The first trick of the race, Lakitu Skip. It's, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured it out perfectly. It's very sketchy. There's, like, uh, hundreds of different ways that you can set this trick up. And as you see, Meter going to get it with his setup. And Adam, unfortunately, going to be talking to Lakitu here. It's like, it's that one thing you'll never get to know 100% consistently. Because like, when the nerves kick in, it's like, so, it's so hard to get it when you're nervous. So that's fair. But um, there's plenty of uh, ways to, to, to get that second, uh, seven second time loss back, for sure. Yeah, talking to Lakitu, you know, it, it can be a little frustrating, but you know, honestly, it's not, it's not too, it's not too big of a time loss, I'd say. Adam getting bullied by that bomb, unfortunately, oh, missing the yeah. bomb grab. Luckily, able to smash the pound down before the chain chomp crashes into his face, but that that was getting pretty close there. A little bit, yeah. But we're getting oh, oh oh a little bit of struggle grabbing that star, but we got it. We got it. We got the thumbs up from Adam there. The star finally collected in Mario. Uh, meter a little bit of a bonk on the castle movement. Uh, definitely something else that's unfortunate, and really not something you'd gonna think about at the beginning, as a yeah. castle movement is surprisingly important in this game. Yeah, a little underrated if you ask me. Like, you, you, it, it's something that. Oh, this could have. Give me a second. Oh, he's the recur. Okay, okay, we got it. Okay. He, he saw that coming. That was that was a little sketchy and unfortunate. Meter gonna set it up again. Oh yeah. no, just a, little a little lot bit. of trouble here. Setting up for the sock folder method. Safe and sound here. Oh, that was a quick turn. I don't know about that one. Oh, and he gets it. 
That's great. There we yeah. go. That was Adam. such a good... Yeah, um, such a such a quick turn after the punch. It was like not knowing. If you do it too fast, you can, um, yeah, ruin your setup a little bit, and then you might not get the star. But I'm glad it worked for me, there. Yeah, it's true. There's it's so interesting. Is this this game has so many like tiny intricacies that you would just never think about outside of the realm of speedrunning. Yeah, it's something you, you get to learn uh, the hard way, I would say. Like, this game has no... Um, this game's so unforgiving sometimes. Um, and you get to learn it pretty, pretty fast, man. Some things you gotta pay so much attention to, even though you thought it was like... It's just a jump, you know? It's just, what could go wrong? <laughs> I'm just jumping. Oh, oh grab yeah. that let Oh, I have died. <laughs> that, that wraps up my last run pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's unfortunate. Happens to the best of us. True, true. This, you know, again, and it's this game. I don't know what it is about this game specifically. Not only is it like the most competitive speed game out there, one of the most popular ones, it's also just, why is it so hard sometimes? You do the same thing every time. I know, it's so hard. It's so hard. You better like, I don't know. Maybe you just want to start running sunshine or... I mean, Sunshine's pretty fun. Uh, I'm not gonna game. lie. No, I, I heard I, it's pretty difficult too. Like, I don't wanna. Here, well, the interesting thing about Sunshine is, this, especially, especially if you look at like high level runs, the the movement looks incredibly insane. But like, once you get the hang of the movement, oh, it is it is a blast. It is a blast. I always wanted to get into it, but like the cam, you know, once you once you go N64, you never go back. It, it's a little difficult to switch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised when you get the uh, you get the sandbox races where they're doing SM64 and Sunshine and oh, SMO cool. all in a row. It's exciting. It couldn't be me. Anyway, to be honest, it couldn't be me. This uh, this game alone has me. Uh, it's got you. Air. It's yeah. got you. I God, I feel that. Adam Wait, going to the slide. Oh, Looks like he's gonna take a quick star here. Um, Adam had a 525, I believe, out of Womps meter now with about a 540. Both of these runners coming up against each other. Adam's got a 2214 and meter's got a 2042. I know a uh, meter was saying in the chat he was a little nervous coming up against Adam here. But, but you know, it is a, it is a race setting. And it looks like Adam's just having a lot of trouble. Ooh. Oh, and not going to be able to get the jump off the slide. Just going to have to take it all the way down. We got another jump from Adam. So, apparently, he's still fine. He's still chilling. That's good. But, I mean, like, the, 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 the most important thing about this game is that you, you have fun. I, I forget that a lot while it's running, so I'm I glad. agree. <laughs> I agree. If you're not having fun... Put the controller down. That, Play something yeah. else. Definitely, I agree. We got meter with like one one star right now um, ahead, and I don't know, but I got a feeling that we could see the sub twenty. I'm a believer, and I'm yeah, I'm I'm like crossing fingers for for that sub twenty run. Twenties are always nice. Yeah, meter definitely relatively close to it with that PB there. He could, he could definitely get it. Um, a very clean wall kick will work. You know, most of the time um, when you're nervous, they don't. So that's good. <laughs> well, wall kicks are got. You know what, Mario? Mario is so funny. His side flips are just one of the dumbest things. Because how many times do you run away from a wall, go to do a side flip, and he just jumps no. straight up? Couldn't he just me. jumps straight up. Come on, Mario. So, we got our first big, big stage coming up. Dark World. Always hard to succeed in. Um, oh, oh, no! As I said, it, it's the, it's the comms. 
curse. I'm I'm taking the blame for that one. One hundred percent. Okay, that's okay. I had a comms curse last run. I guess you know now it's your turn. Maybe maybe it'll just swap back and forth between commentators. I don't know, but oh. I have to do my turn every every comms, but I'm <laughs> doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Meter, I'm so sorry that I laughed so hard, but I, I think that's the funniest spill I've seen in Dark World in a while. I apologize. That definitely gives Adam a little bit of time to catch up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, All right. Nice. Got Meter collecting these red coins. With the it safe on the cheese you. there. Oh, and... We are moving, <laughs> moving and schmoving. Meter almost bonking into the wall with that long jump. You could even see it on his face. The shock. Oh my goodness. Adam's gonna be picking up another star here in the CCM yeah. that you don't normally see on a traditional route. I'm excited to see what what is coming up in well, place. Um, meter, please. Please, Meter, do not dive off the stage. Do not. Listen. Did it happen to you? I, I have 100% had that happen at least once. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it's happened in a race setting, luckily, but yes, I have absolutely missed the star and dove off the stage, and it's just the worst. Meter, I think. Maybe. We need to get a little more speed on the spinning. Let's, let's see that. Oh, there we go. That hit. Perfect. We're actually going to see Adam heading into Dark World with nine stars. Looks like he is going to be skipping at Dark World's red. Yeah. Okay, so that lowers the gap between both of our runners a little bit. I would very much agree with you. Yo, know, playing it extra safe, taking the uh, tilting teeter totters. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name for a second there, but we got it. It's a weird name. <laughs> I, I can blame you. I do, I do enjoy me a good teeter totter. That's for sure. That's so silly too. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh. There oh. you go. Can I get a glitch punch crap there? We Not crap. Not quite enough speed. Punch grab, you know, displacing Bowser. Gonna need to put a little bit more speed into that. There we go. Got that first bomb hit for Adam. All right. Both runners made it through the dark world. Next big one is Fire Sea. So, excited to see what we're gonna see there. Ooh. Meter just barely. Just barely having enough time to hit the bird, but we'll be getting that star without too many issues. It's just so hard sometimes. You know, you gotta it like really line is. it up. You gotta avoid that the shy guys or fly guys coming too close. It's 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 pressure. Not gonna lie, it's pressure. There there's a reason that the shifting sand lands has multiple names like Sag Land, Shifting at Sad Land, Sad Sad Lands. You know, it, it is not one of the nicest stage. That is for darn sure. I hate that I can relate to all of them. <laughs> it, it's this game. It is, it is this game, and it is this game specifically. I 100% agree with you. We get all. Oh, we're getting a little pro movement on the red coin from meter. Very nice. Very clean. Clean rats. Got uh, ten stars. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. What? Wait. Why ten stars? Hold on. I don't know where this route is leading him to, but I, I cannot. You can do wait. elevator clip. That could could be, but that's like a that's like a pretty long start in comparison. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I oh. wanted to long jump into the coin to grab the star, but unfortunately, a little too much height there. Those coins are really close to the ground. That's why you can pick them up with a dodge roll. A dive roll. Hello, this is not Kingdom Hearts. This is Mario. Sorry about that. 
it, it looks pretty similar. If you, like, pinch your eyes a little and... <laughs> if you squint hard enough, you can see Donald yeah. Duck in the background. Oh my god. Oh, loving it. But yeah, we, we're getting... We're, we're about to see, like, a very interesting... You can see, I would assume, like... What is gonna happen? What is... What are we going to see? I'm just going for a little bit of a grind on the edge there. Luckily, not falling meter, getting some questionable rolling rock RNG, but luckily, not going to be taking any damage to those rocks. I think if I had to, like, um, count how often I got bad RNG versus good RNG, I think the bad boulder RNG would win. It's I, I would agree. It's... I don't know, it's always bad, you know? <laughs> Even if it's like okay-ish, it's still bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Now, while this is currently the first race between the two racers today, I do want to remind her that the way that we're doing today, each racer will get two runs to get the best time that they can get in this leaderboard format once the racers are done and they've got their two runs finished we will take that best time and place it on the leaderboard and the two best runners from meter and adam will be put next to the ones for our previous two racers that's exciting that's a, like such a good format i'm i'm so happy to be part of this like that's like a little bit uh, it's a mixture out of like a little bit of LTA, but also like normal racing setup. It's cool. Loving it. Yeah, it's like a, it's like tournament light. And I, I actually, I kind of like it. It's really cool. Yeah. You know, you can see how you, you can see how you stacked up against some other racers. You know, maybe yeah. you'll see a racer that you're like, oh, wow, I didn't think I'd get a comp. Uh, you know, I didn't think I'd get that time like that. Um, exactly. Very, you know, it's like not, not giving you the pressure that a normal race would give. Probably because it's like a little more you still get. Some, I don't know, it feels like a little more motivating because even if you like are not um, beating your own PB or whatever, you still, still can compare to, to other ones and see like, oh, I improved here and there. So that's good. Pretty, pretty happy for that. Now, the fun thing about Mario Sunday is uh, here at Mario Sunday, we do happen to have like a different thing every Sunday. So while this week is some 16 star races with the leaderboard format, next week we're gonna have a task challenge. And I, I think the task challenges are actually like, they can get really creative. I liked the one that we had um, a couple of Mario Sundays ago that involved CCM, had something to do with uh, collecting a specific set of coins and going somewhere that you would not expect. And you know, I'm pretty interested to see what next week's task challenge is gonna be meter Setting up for the BLJ, but unfortunately losing all of that speed on the slope. It is a hard one, though. Like I would not. I'm, I'm sitting on a on a an okay PB, I would say, and I would not not ever want to go for that and run. So so enough respect to meter for for attempting it. Um, but we got these runners are not too far too far behind. Adam really caught up a little, like. Middle of DDD, not too far away. Yeah, you, you know, at the end of a 16 star run, it all comes down to the BLJs. Oh, the, the dastardly BLJs. You know, I wish mm -hmm. I could figure out some consistent rhythm with my controllers, but you know, it's okay. I don't, I don't run 16 star too much, so I guess I don't have too much focus on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would not like, it's, it's, it's just, also my, my thumbs, my hands, my precious hands. Like, I cannot sit there and do a BLJ for, for five minutes. <laughs> That's and, fair. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's fair. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of finger movement going into this game. Like, y'all gotta make sure you're taking care of your hands. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Nice sink. But you know we're going oh, extra I places. This is cool sink though. Really good for me. Okay, we got get meter opening the. And we get a oh yeah. Yo, oh, break. Got him. Um. Oh, Adam currently in into fire sea while meter works in a quick splice here. 
during the ad break, probably getting the god of BLJs. Yeah, I'm hoping that when this ad is done, we see Meter in, in, in bits instead of on a staircase. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge now. Oh. Yeah, you can you can join the Discord to learn about the future Mario Sunday events as they're posted. And that's where you can also sign up. Meter looks like he finally got through that set of stairs there. I guess the BLJs took him a little longer than that ad break would have liked. Definitely was a clean. Oh, oh, oh there we go though. Now. Oh, oh no. wait. Oh yeah, Meter. That is some good second set of VLJs there for me. Very nice. Did it look a little dark for you too? Like I was not sure if he was like just a little bit. Or just yeah. a little bit, yeah. So glad he got that though. And now there's like meter has a little bit of time on his hands to chill and you know, be a little more secure than you normally would be on TV pace and that is true, he is currently still a minute ahead, uh, plus some change of his current PB, so we might see another PB here on Mario Sunday. However, going to be taking a bonk on that wooden board there, looks like uh, he wanted to go for some left side action. It hurts just a little, but he's probably very much fine. But we can see it. Is that another left side attempt? We got a standing left, and unfortunately, Ooh. he's going to be missing the wall there as Adam now through Fire Sea, tossed the Bowser, gotten the key on his way to BLJs. Is Meter going to go for left side again? Who's and it looks like it? he is. You know, he's got a little bit of that time. He can. I love the ambition. But he's gonna slide oh, on the it. other side! Just a little too much! Let's see what Adam can get with these uh, BLJs. Because it's like not too far behind anymore. We get to see another. Oh, meter! Come on, meter! <laughs> meter no! It's okay, you can go across the wooden planks. It's not it's not shameful in any way. It, it would be alright. We don't judge in this booth. We we are like super duper happy with whatever you're gonna show us. Adam with the ground pound on the stairs. The BLJs just do not wanna connect for him today. You know, even if you're I'm sorry. Yeah. No, sometimes it's just like like that. Like you can practice those BLJs um, as much as you want. It's just like sometimes it does not work out. No matter how good you do it. That almost looked like it could have went through, but yeah, even even when you watch the top runners, like you, you can definitely see them lose runs to BLJs like immediately. There yeah. you go, Meter taking the planks finally past the determination. And Adam making his way up. Oh, wow. So I'm, I guess, you know, it was just all those left side attempts. They were actually a ploy to keep Adam at bay. Meter throwing for content a little. He really wanted to make it exciting. Taking the safe route, which is fair. Oh, oh, that scared me for a second. Looked a little scary, Meter. Gotta be careful. Come on, Mario. You know, I, I, I've been bringing this up recently, and I gotta talk about it, because now yeah. I'm just thinking about it again. Everybody says, you know, by everybody, I don't actually mean everybody, but, you know, every other time I hear people talk about it, everybody said, Mario's just got this really big booty. My counterpoint to this, okay. if this booty is so big, why can he never catch the stairs on the BLJs? I can. I do have an answer for that. Because you gotta land in, Run. like, in the middle. You like inside the stairs, and but it does. this pretty just covers it. It's like it covers three stairs oh, at a time. Oh, okay, okay. I see. <laughs> it's so I massive. 
It's so massive. It just it can't catch with one stare. It catches too many. But it looks like a meter has collected it, his third throw here, and is going to be grabbing that star at a 22-53. Could have potentially had a PB there, but unfortunately was very determined to go for that left side. Pump my Mew Meter. I would have done the same. It's at, at one point it was like the your your honor, your pride. You had to had to pick up there. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I get it. Yeah, GG Meter. And hopefully we get to um, see Adam finishing this bit. Blame him if he did not, but um, it's definitely good to like finish a run for the mindset. It helps. Taking it nice and nice and slow here. Oh wow, that's something I haven't seen before. That's really not something you see too often. It's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing it nice and slow. I'm so glad he caught that pole. Because for a second there, I was like, oh, he's going to try to long jump all the way across. But the, the stage was pulling away from him. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very glad he grabbed that pole. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I bet... Adam could be could be nervous too. Um, or at least that's what I like would read out of that gameplay. Um, and I mean, it's always always a little challenging if you ask me to to have a race against someone who has like a lower PB than your own. So that's brave enough. That's cool. Good thing you're doing it, Adam. Challenging yourself. I love that. Yeah, that's true. You never yeah, know when like, you're gonna get the underdog story. Yeah, right. Would you? Would you? Are, do you think you are, and you don't know it yet? Uh, well, considering that my most recent 70 star PB is actually a CC Sealess 70 star run. Oh, maybe. maybe? Okay. Yes. I mean, I don't want to like. I wouldn't like put myself up on pedestal or anywhere. I, I just know if I set my mind to a game and I actually sat down to grind it, I, I could probably get some lower times, but. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? It's Mario, it's so... <laughs> It's Mario. Once you, once you sink into the Mario, it's just, it becomes your life. Yeah, it's like, it's dangerous to go there. <laughs> you got it. Like, you gotta, you know, you gotta just talk to your friends and be like, hey. I'm going. I'm. I'm slide. I'm. I'm dipping my toes in for a little bit. Pull me out if. If I. <laughs> exactly. We got Adam with the sweet sub twenty six. Beautiful. Catches the star. We got it. Oh no, we get a thumbs down on that run. We got Adam, a thumbs did. down, but we did get a finished run and a sub at twenty six. So you know what. I, I'd take a quarter of a minute, a quarter of a minute. What is it? No, it's just 25. It's a quarter of a hundred. It's not really a quarter of anything in time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, like, Math. a finish run is a good one no matter what. It's, I agree. It's good one. Adam Meter, GG. GG's to both runners here. Uh, they will hopefully be setting hey, up for their second game here, but I do want to let you all know, uh, as you saw earlier, you know, Mario Sunday, it is an event that is happening every Sunday here on the Markinator 99 channel. If you are not already following, you should definitely drop a follow because we've always got some Mario happening here, especially on a nice Mario Sunday. You know, look at little Tuxy. He's got that little bow tie. He's looking great, looking nice oh and fancy. God, I didn't even notice. <laughs> you know what? That is that is in, in incredibly cute. You should you should drop the follow right now. If you if you haven't, you need to do it. Do it. Do it. You know, and again, we've got like a task event coming up next week. So if you guys wanna maybe sign up, maybe participate, try to figure out what that task is, you can hop into the Discord and as everything is announced, you will see it there. This little task challenge sounds so good it sounds so good i i really want to like I, I will be there i mean will you be there 
I, you know, interestingly enough, I am, like, way busier than I should be. <laughs> I've been very busy this specific week. I would like to, I, like I said, I was gonna, I was gonna participate today. I'll have to look into the task if I think it's something interesting, and I, I, I bet it will be. I'll look at, I'll definitely attempt to dip my toes. Hmm, I get that, I get that. You oh, and it looks like the new task will actually be announced tomorrow, so you'll have the entire week to try to get the fastest time that you think you can get for doing that specific task. And then we'll uh, watch them all back next Mario Sunday from the slowest to the quickest. That sounds so good. I love the ideas that are, that are happening. Am I am I people tripping or do we have like a little oh there we go it was a little um stuck on Adam's side but we got it it happens sorry it happens it happens, <laughs> it happens. okay and now we got Oprahness jumping out oh and actually um there there is a correction I need to make from earlier I did say carts for both runners, but actually it's uh, Meter's the one on the JP car. Adam's actually on VC. Oh, on VC even. I, mean, I could have like, I, I saw or, oh. that like, em emulator. Em 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 Sorry, when I think VC as a virtual console, like, I, I feel like that's, it's an emulator in and of itself. That, yeah. But that's, that's two different things. If you play Mario 64 on virtual console and that is your main, honestly, props to you because the handling and controls are very different. It's just, there's a, a minor amount of delay between your inputs. Hey, I did, when I started this game, I played on an LED TV. Nice. So I always had that 0.5 input delay and it was insane. Because I, like, um, I had D whatever coming over, you know, go from Germany, so you get to talk, and he came over and he was, like, hating me, and every time he entered <laughs> my head, he was like, you get a CRT. It was the first thing he said when he was coming into my chat. Oh my like, gosh. Get a CRT. Get a CRT. <laughs> you gotta watch that screen. It could always be worse, I guess. <laughs> you, could, you could have D whatever hating you for playing on an LAG. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, we have a meter got with a minor lead again. Too much this time. Seems like they <laughs> monitor gang. I'm in that. I'm I'm in that now. We got um, meter falling down unfortunately from this cannonless setup. Super um, unfortunate. Yeah. A little bit of a you know, but it it happens. It's 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 cannonless. It, after it's all. cannonless. Why, why are there, like, five different ways to do cannonless and all of them right. feel not the most consistent? Even the most consistent one, you'll still miss it and go, yes. Yeah. I, I, but, but I'm so happy that there's, like, setups now because, you know, anime, I'm old. I, I've been playing this game for eight years now, and when I started uh, watching these runs, uh, <laughs> They still had to do the OG Kennela setup. There was none. There was no sock folder. There was no setup that you could follow to get it. It was just like running in and hoping to get it. Oh, and pray. You are running on a whim. It, it's in, it's, no. You're fine. You're just older. It's very different. It's very oh, oh, different. That was so charming. Thank you so much. <laughs> It, it's wild how much this game has expanded since its first release years and years and years ago. But not to mention, I, I still think it's incredible that we've even discovered new strats within like the past year. There have been yeah. new strats developed for this game. 100% agreed. Like, there was a time where we thought that 145 and 120 star meter, by the way, getting it on the third attempt, if I saw that correctly. Sounds um, very there, there was a time where 145 was world record. It's like world record. It, 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 this is insane. Like, how? How did we manage to cut off almost 10 minutes of world record? It, it is wild. It is incredibly wild how much this game has just evolved over the years. Yeah. Aulus? Oh, not quite high enough. What happened there? 
it weird. looked like it was a little bit of a late frame. Either that or the spacing was unfortunate. Oh, oh first A. Oh, oh, first A, yeah. Those nose kill you. One of the worst places to get a first A. Unfortunate. I don't know how how it's for you how it is for you, but every time I wanna get a first A, I just can't seem to get it. And every time I like all I need is like a second frame. Please, no firsty, no firsty. I'm, I'm, first. I'm flying. I'm flying. <laughs> you are zooming off of that wall. I do not want to do that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that translates across really well for most runners. <laughs> Speaking for everyone here. We got Adam leaving once Fortress now with a lead. So far, I mean, he's... One star short, he's doing the princess vibe, but um still a little bit of a um of a lead here. Yeah, really hoping that um Adam's gonna be able to get the butt slide this time. It would be you know super unfortunate he wasn't able to get the turnaround, but hopefully this time we're gonna see a much quicker slide. Yeah. We uh, we got a little sweet turn here. And oh, oh no! It's just like a little um from my, uh, my opinion. It's like just like a little bit too late. The setup was a little too late. You yeah. wanna, you really wanna do it like in the um, very first part after the wall, the brick wall, um, to get a nice and sweet turn. So, yeah. For those of you who might have been struggling with that slide as well, you just wanna try to get that turn around pretty fast. To leaving the tunnel. Yeah, there's like, uh, uh, there's probably about like, there's like two spots that seem to be relatively consistent for most runners. But mm -hmm. yeah, the the earlier the earlier slot on the wall, I would say, is probably the better one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But right, we've it, got it's not hurt much. Yeah, we got Adam and CCM, and Meter leaving Wong's Fortress now, both with the same amount of stars. There we go. So Adam's going to have that slight lead here. Uh, we are once again probably going to be seeing that difference where Meter goes for Dark World Reds and Adam instead goes for the slide. Again, luckily, getting that slide star is pretty quick in the CCM. But again, you know, moving through yeah. Dark World while collecting the Reds. I don't, I don't know what the time difference is. I just know that, like, if you want to be faster, you grab Dark World Reds. I, just, I couldn't tell you how much time it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it still depends on, um, it, it depends on how fast you're doing reds. There's a point where definitely, like, people will recommend to you to implement it as soon as possible to get used to it and, um, also does a lot for your movement in general because it's, like, um, a little challenging and, yeah, practice makes per perfect, um, but I totally get when people say like, you know what, that's still a little bit too hot for me to touch. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the save one. I'm gonna do no reds for now. Totally fair. Yeah. It's like it's GTC about... 100. Yeah. Yeah. Like ah, GTC 100. Don't don't get me started, man. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> looks so cool, but yeah, it's 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 hard. Yeah. Now, interesting. Interesting. Adam actually is coming out of CCM with eight stars, so he's he's not quite doing the same thing. Interesting. Maybe. Oh, that could be something. Maybe, maybe Adam just like fell into the slide by accident. That happens sometimes when you, you know, uh, try to pick up the penguin and don't grab the tuxedo. You just like slide into the chimney. That happens. Happened before to me too. Also, we, we got Marky with a um, quick information that Darkwell Rats is about eight seconds when you get the normal cycle. Um, me. That yeah, that is good to know. So if you're <laughs> that if you're good with the Rats. Oh um, no. Oh, oh no, my gosh. I, I, I have to point this out. I have to point this out. Adam, as he was getting on to the teeter totter, was he was doing the he was doing the signs with his hands, and then I look over and meter just falls right off the box. I don't know if that was connected, but you know, 
Maybe, maybe, Adam. What are you doing here? Why are you manipulating the meter? <laughs> oh no, meter! Oh, taking up the meter! Burn off the box! It hurts. It really hurts. This is what Dark World Reds does to you. So yeah, but Adam finishes Dark World cutting to um basement. I'm not sure. I think they're doing SSL first. Yeah. It's like old old knowledge. The old lady with the old knowledge that thinks that you do LLL first. <laughs> I, I am so sorry, my brain actually just spaced out there for a second. I was watching Meter move Mario, and I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I disappeared. Uh, my, my brain does that all the time. There's no need to, need to apologize. Oh my god, Meter, please. Wow, that Ooh, angle that, was yeah. so sketchy. Holy crap. Sometimes, like, I'm... I don't know. Like, different cam angles from, from runners, like, that are not my cam angles, they freak me out. Like, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's like I, I'm, this is a total, totally new game. Like, use a different cam and I'm, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I can feel that, honestly, I can feel that. It's like, yeah, they might be, they might be super comfortable with that camera angle, but you look at it and you go, they're gonna die. What? How did they not? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just like an additional C C press, and you're lost. It's it's like gone. Where am I? Where's where's home? I want to go home. <laughs> like, please, please put it back one C press. I am baking it. <laughs> Good lord, and it's moving in comparison to that last run. We're already yeah, in LOL. Insane. Taking the lead. Yeah, Adam is doing much better this run. You know, it's looking great for him. You know, I told you, it's a nurse. It's it's a nurse, and now he's like showing us what he's made of. Uh, oh, oh, oh it, it, it's so unfortunate because once you miss one platform, it's oh. it's over. It's oh no, like... hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, cool. We got the Perfect. Save. That that is the best. That is the best. Thing that you would want to happen there. <laughs> the little slip onto the platform, yeah, definitely. As the star was spawning, I just saw, you know, Mario move. It's the square, and I'm just like, oh, he's he's gone. He's in the lava for sure. Imagine you could clip underneath, just like the way you can do it in 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 Fire C when you're like. Oh no. <laughs> I would have died a million times if that was the thing the case oh uh, if you got if you got stuck under those sliding tiles it would just be yeah. the worst but the developers of this game were um you know uh fair enough and generous enough to give us the opportunity to back it up to not get clipped and stuck under the platforms and lol they did Look one thing for us yeah, basically, you know, they say the game is fun and fair. Uh, we did unfortunately have a little bit of toad violence there from Adam. Next, so on Behind the Star, you know, very unfortunate thing to see. He got all dressed up for Mario Sunday, and Adam just giving him a one two combo. Uh, yeah, it, it's just something, you know, somewhere. It has to be somewhere. Like all the, all the tension, all the pressure. And sometimes you don't want it to happen, but it often happens when you try to talk to Toad. I, how could you punch that little sweet face? Couldn't be me. Couldn't At least be not me. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Adam, one more star to collect here in HMC meter. Meanwhile, also with a little bit of Toad violence. Not quite as bad as Adam here, but a punch is still, in fact, a punch. Unfortunate. A little punch. Not, not too much of a punch. Just a baby punch. Tiny and punch. We're getting a nice clip from Adam, which makes him uh, move on to MIPS now. Let's see if we can get a clean one. I think Adam is on pretty good 
case. Honestly, I have not seen um, him doing major fuck ups. There, it has been pretty clean gameplay with this route that he's doing. Oh, oh, that is a good. terrible angle, please. Oh, he slid too far to the right. There's cameras. Use them, Adam. Adam, no. Okay. okay, got it, got it. We in there. Now, you, usually you grab Mips there from the other side and in 70 star, but it's fine. Yeah, if you, if you, he's got the rabbit. That is all that matters in the end. If you're, um, like, starting, just getting started, playing this game, speedrunning 16 star, um, one thing that I, uh, want to let you know is that, or, like, a little advice, is if that happens to you and you miss Mips, always, like, make him walk towards that one door again and try to catch him close to the door, lead him there, so there's less, um, way to walk with the Mips. In the end, um, that definitely cuts off some time, but it's totally fair. I'm just glad Adam got it here. Uh, could have been much worse, because if you miss it, if you miss Mips, it can be a struggle, a, a real burden to to catch that one. Now, I don't, this is something I just noticed, I don't know quite when it happened, but I noticed the meter took off his Mario hat, so he's he's feeling pretty serious about the second race. Yeah, you, you really want to like, maybe that also, meter, I don't know when you took it off, but maybe that could be the reason uh, that you seem to struggle a little here and there, so maybe put it back on. Put, put that Mario cap back on, right back on that head. Absorb the Mario. The might, the power of the Mario hat. You really want to <laughs> rock it. Oh my god, we're heading into another exciting stage here. Adam going for that fire sea. Hard stage too, really. Um, it, it can ruin everything. It can be very rewarding to hit a specific cycle. But uh, whatever you're gonna go for, it's still a hard stage. I agree very much. Fire C. Fire C is that stage. It just it exists in the middle and it's just it's so tough. It, it exists. is genuinely I tough. I really thought the sentence was over there. It just sits there and it exists. <laughs> just... mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. oh, Adam wanted oh. to go for the side flip there. Unfortunately, grabbed the pole instead. Taking a dive and dive right into the wall. Just a little really too early on that beat press. Okay, but we got it. We in. Yo, like, meter caught up. I can play a lot. Here we go. He's done. He's got the hat on. <laughs> the Mario powers will awaken. Oh, meter go for left, left side long jumps, and those are looking good. Big camera reduction. Adam, luckily grabbing Bowser soon enough to get a rethrow. Wow, this is getting exciting now. Like, We're getting close. I told you, Lothran, it all comes down to BLJs, and that's exactly what's going to happen here, I would say. I would think. Adam leaving Farsi. Meter hitting the bomb. There is not too much space between those runners anymore. There really is not. I'm just going to have to hope BLJs go good for both of the runners. You know, it's just it's just such a such a tricky, tricky thing. I think if Adam can nail these BLJs now, he's on he's on good pace, right? He's doing pretty good. Um, again, if I remember correctly, hopping in here, you know, Adam's PB is a 22:14, so he will need some very quick Mario movement as he gets God BLJs. The Tom's curse is definitely officially broken. We did something good, anime. The goodness <laughs> is come. Okay, this is what we're... we are hoping for. Oh, that's a oh oh. I'm not sure about that angle, but beautiful. Okay, we it. Oh my goodness! Adam getting some incredible BLJs. Meter, hopefully not too far behind. Just enough speed 
to get through that first set of stairs. One more set of BLJs for him. I am so excited. It's like really close now, yeah. It's very close and Adam could cut, cut down his PB by a lot too. It's all gonna depend on the movement and the throws. So if Adam can keep everything relatively clean, there is a chance. There yeah. is a chance. Are we gonna get to see a, a second PB of of the of the night? I think pretty exciting. Yeah, I would love that for us. Nice. So, oh, that was a oh wow the first frame long jump though on that like tiny tiny platform. It's always interesting to see movements coming off of the like the tiniest ledges that yeah. the game could possibly give you, and everyone's like, yeah, I just do this all the time. What are you talking about? Oh wow, they are. There we go. Much... Oh wow, it all comes Meter. down to power, I believe. Meter and catch Meter. it up with the log movement there. Yeah, he he's had enough. For real. <laughs> he was like, not, not doing it now. Like I said, wow. put the hat back on. The Mario powers are... Meter's taking the lead. Hopping Just... in. Wow. Wow. Okay. There, there is a very... At this point with the times, there is a tiny chance. Tiny chance. Adam could oh, still PB. First. Meter's got one throw. Oh, Adam's careful. Too short. Adam, no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, Adam. He did not fall off the stage, but we were so close to Meter is nailing that last throw. Meter took it back the very last. The very last second. Oh my god, that was so exciting. Oh, jeez. All right. Looks like, ooh, Bowser dance for Adam. And unfortunately, though, I think Adam has missed too many throws to get that PB, which is unfortunate. But don't let that be discounted. This is going to be his best run of Mario Sunday, unless I am bad and I just keep being bad as a commentator. But Adam, no. Oh my god, dude, Adam, if you had caught that tail at the edge, Adam, there's fire! There's fire. Please, please, Adam, please. Oh my god damn it, it's giving me a effing heart attack, man. Please, just grab the star. Good lord. GG's to both of our runners. Oh my god, all right, Drake's to both. Runners yeah. here, GG's. Adam Great. giving a solid 22.38 for his best time on our leaderboard format here at Mario Sunday. Meter clutching out a 21.55.69. What a comeback. What a comeback from Meter. That was insane. And oh, now, yeah, we got, no. now we got Adam on both sides. We <laughs> just... <laughs> Synced, runners! Wow! I love that. So, no, Meter yeah. changed, honestly. Meter's changed. <laughs> yeah, just quite the comeback for Meter. Very, very nice. And it looks like we're going to be having both of the runners coming on in here for an interview. Meter Hello, and Adam. Hi. Meter, congratulations on your runs today. How are you feeling about them? Um, I, I want to, I'm going to say I'm going to stay positive on them. I had golds in LOL on both runs. I continued to beat it, and then I also golded bits, so I fought down my summer best by a full second today, and uh, I'm definitely happy with that. Yeah, Very gold, good. man. Let's go. That's, that's Sometimes that's all you can ask for, honestly, and, and it's good. It means improvement, so GG. You really did a good job. And, um, like, that last one there, you're able to actually, like, you kind of pulled it up right at the end there, catching up with some pretty decent BLJs and some nice plank movement there, actually pulling out ahead uh, for this second race. Yeah, like, Adam's, right Adam's the so end. good. And I saw how far ahead he was, so I had to, I had to do everything I could to catch up, and it was, <laughs> it was a nail-biter. So thank you, Adam, for an yeah, amazing was, race. Yeah, that first race was a travesty. My second race was a lot better. I was actually ahead at times. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's a good run. These did you gold your uh, BLJs because they were 
You got Nuts. like God PLJs, dude. I yeah. Just, I've just terrible PLJs. I was happy with those second ones. The they're second they're ones incredible. Really good, yeah, they those were incredible for real. Like GGs to both of our runners. Thank you played you. amazing. You, that was one of the most exciting blues. races I've seen in a long time. We have a blues already. Uh, thank really, you so much for the entertainment. Like uh, for the entertainment. Yes, I did. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to be here. Goodbye. And thanks for putting this on to Markinator, and thanks, of course, to Anime and Elish too for. Uh, for My guess is I was going yeah, left. Make sure. I want to make sure you guys like go follow those runners. You can see the commands dropped in the chat there for the runners. You can go but follow. But I cannot Adam. guarantee that. Go follow Meter if you want to follow I, uh, me. You can if you want. Go follow Elisa and again, you know, follow Markinator. Like he's putting on this Mario Sunday events. We've got new events coming every Sunday. You know, next week as a task event. I'm I'm intrigued to see what the task is going to be for this week because the last one was pretty interesting. Yeah, um. Yeah. But again, thank you, runners. Um, yeah. You did, great. you did good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, like, yeah, if you're, like, if you're not following those runners and anime, you're out of your mind. Go do it now. Follow Markinator. <laughs> and, um, yeah, stay up to date with those exciting Sundays, I guess. Hell yeah. Love the Mario Sunday. All right. Stick around, folks. We've got more races coming up it's gonna be a lovely mario sunday it definitely still is getting more and more exciting yeah It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing till you get in that flow state. You can do it, go improve it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. This weekly competition feeling like my inhibition mario will tell the story play for fun or go for gory moves are getting even faster all these tricks out there to master having fun could play forever face your friends to see who's better grab the strength you have to muster do not lack a single luster moves are looking never better like a freshly painted desert now you've got a place to play and show that concentrated effort it's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go improve it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desnig versus Zufi. His game crashed, he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 stars showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hit and throw is going to be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run. Let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave. Sunday um, on our first match for this night in the booth with me we got meter who is just like running and now he's sitting here hello meter how are we feeling after that I'm doing fantastic I'm a lot less jittery to be in the booth than I am to be on the sticks so uh, 
very glad to to be where I am a little more comfortable. I I love that for you. Yeah, I, I imagine like being in races. You know, it's always it's always uh exciting, a uh, nerve wracking, um to say the least. But yeah, now you can chill and watch some amazing mm -hmm. gameplay because we got next for our next races. We got Anbamara on the N64 with a 16:40 PB. And um, Benedict Fleur, uh, one Jeffrey playing on emulator, sitting on a 1615. So I'm excited for those runs. I am too. I've heard uh, heard some rumor that we'll uh, actually be seeing some lobby backwards long jump in these. So that's also very exciting. Yeah, um, that definitely is. Yeah. Fascinating practice here from on Vermora uh, for 16 star. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta gotta do something else before like getting all your your <laughs> mind on the the real stuff. We got a beautiful bits practice so far from from Ben Benedict too. Um, yeah, I I I could not be more excited. Um, it's all about this Mario Sunday. It's all about getting your name on the leaderboard so those runners get two no reset races um the best best time lands on the daily leaderboard and we gonna compare that at the end of the day um yeah it's gonna be exciting i say that a lot because it is exciting <laughs> it very much is looks like we're gonna be getting started here super fantastic to see the uh our, our favorite opening sequence the Princess Peach, and already you can see the differences. Yeah, Benedict is starting on the U.S. Um, ROM. On Memorial with the Japanese version, which is uh, slightly faster, so a little bit of an advantage already, um, but does not have to say anything so far. We're just <laughs> in the intro. Indeed. Indeed so. Benedict with beautiful cam shot here. Oh, I'm Mario's it. midsection. I think I've never seen that one before. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is, the man with the M on his hat. You know, there are a lot of people that um feel like uh the intro should be removed, kind of, from the Mario runs. What is your opinion on that meter? Do you feel like, oh, we need the intro, it's like part of the game, or would you secretly want it to be gone? The, the intro is your penalty for screwing up. <laughs> you don't want to watch the intro? Don't make mistakes. <laughs> it's one way to look at it. I don't get that. I always feel that the intro, uh, the more, you know, like the lower your PB gets, at some point, you find that intro so relieving. <laughs> it's like Absolutely. that one second you can breathe and like chill. <laughs> Absolutely, I have time to sprint to the sprint to the bathroom, refill your cup. Yeah, at exactly. least one of those. Then it's stuck between the the castle walls. Just, whilst Emma is in dark ball now. Uh, LBLJ in a race setting can always be like so, uh, yeah, so scary. It definitely can. Not my, my greatest specialty myself, but I know a lot of runners end up seeing a lot of resets on the LJ, but I don't mm -hmm. know resets in this, so... Yeah, it's unforgiving. It's unforgiving. I um, agree on that one. I'm, I'm a little reset heavy when it comes to LBLJs myself, so I could not blame the runners that... Uh... Oh, oh, I'm the Mario. Saved by Jeez. Benedict. Oh my goodness. He was so oh, close to oh. diving off that edge. <laughs> Benedict is giving us a like a heart attack here. Fantastic. Even though Benedict went behind the door, um, getting stuck into like two walls, he caught up pretty well. So both of our runners are in throws now. Amamora just 
hit that first one. What what kind of fro do you think is like the one that makes you nervous the most, or is the one that you uh, seem to fuck up the most? <laughs> Uh, I mean, bits, bits a third throw with all the lag as the screen's falling, as the stage is falling, is um, one of the hardest. But I think the most punishing is Fire C, because you're going to wait for him to do that whole animation again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I get that. Fire C is, like, the easiest and the the hardest to, like, um, <laughs> miss emotionally. Yo. It's emotionally it's just, like, it's, it's devastating. Okay. It very much is. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited for what they're going to um, use as a cannabis strat here. Texture so far. Oh, and just missed it. It's going to take the back up. It's, I mean, it's like five seconds, five to six. It depends on how fast you back it up, so that's fine. Oh, no. Beautifully done. Is that the first yeah. one of the uh, competition so far this weekend? I think it is, yeah. I know I missed mine like five times before I said, well, I should probably be trying to get it. I mean, I've been there, done that, you know, like <laughs> failing all of it. Nothing to feel ashamed for. It's a hard trick, after all. Both going for texture and for more safety to pick it up and Benedict right behind. First try for Benedict. Loving to see it. Benedict now has wild blue to grab while. And for Mora has Owlis. So we'll see a little trade off here. And it makes Oh, he's safe. Those piranhas, they can be so annoying. Beautifully done. A great pickup. And yeah, this is a real close one. I am loving this right now. They're gonna Pretty close. head on over. Straight down to the basement. Oh, and Mamora having a little bit of trouble with the latch grab. It can be so annoying too. Latch grabbing there. It's just like, why? Why does it happen? Can't you just like, let me go? Let me open that door, please. <laughs> Once again, a reminder of the format here. This is a 16-star leaderboard format. Everyone who signs up participates in two no-reset races back-to-back. -back. And then at the end, everybody's time, best time will be recorded on the leaderboard. So everyone ends up with one time. And then we compare everybody's time at the end of the day. And that's who the winner is. Yeah. Not only this Sunday, but... Also, next Sunday, we got a task challenge going on. And if you want to participate, there's a, there's a way to do that. Um, hop on the Discord. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Hop on the Discord. Beautiful plus and in. Fantastic. Fly guy, talent, and Benedict. I am like, it, it does not matter if it's me or if it's a runner um, that I'm watching. The moment I see Pillarless done successfully, it's the moment I like, it's just like all the pressure is gone. I'm like, okay, now there's heaven. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, on oh, the boy. Well, that's oh, commentator's God. curse for you. I did not say a single <laughs> word. <time. laughs> you... I was trying to be nice. <laughs> After Candleless, it's easy. Instantly done. <laughs> Damn, it would have been a, a little bit of a common thing. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that, yeah, that puts Benedict in the lead now. And Endemora has to catch up a little. It was not, it, it's a, the good thing is, if you do that, it's a quick death, right? Like, it does not lose too much time. Benedict missed, Benedict missed Lakitu and then has had two gold splits since, according to what they're saying in chat. Their SSL was a gold split as well. Oh, wow. I couldn't oh. even believe it. <laughs> you didn't even get a gold split. <laughs> Paul, oh, you may have uh, have been running too long to get gold splits. So. Yeah, maybe maybe it's yet to come. 
Yeah, more, more on the way for sure. More is gonna pick up the red. I'm raging. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> event too. Love the little acrylic chin with a and that was coming from Anvamora. Skyla in chat cheering on Anvar. Another amazing SM64 runner. Yeah. Thank you for showing up. Showing up, showing out. Maybe we'll get to see them in the future. Yeah, that would be pretty pock. Got a clean big bully from Benedict. That was a wild sentence. So it was a lot of murderation. <laughs> big bully from Benedict. <laughs> And Anvil Moore getting the side hop on the second attempt. Oh, and... side hop can be such a such a hustle to, to get them. Definitely. Oh, okay. I did not oh oh my god. I did not curse that one. <laughs> you did not. Benedict picking it up. Great. Is now gonna go into the volcano. The what are the rules? The rules are they're doing two runs, and everybody today does two runs. The technical race uh, is between everybody. So this one-on-one -on -one does not mean as much as racing against every single person. So you always want to try and get your best possible time. You get two attempts. Okay, let, let me see that triple jump auction. We love that. Beautiful. Very beautiful. You dive real loud and everything. Could not have done it any better. And Vermora picking up the bully. Fantastic. They're actually cruising right now. Yeah. Yeah, they're schmoovin'. <laughs> did you did you ever forget about the the toad in uh HMC? Did you did you forget to grab it? Have I ever? Uh yeah. Probably. I I can't imagine I didn't. Not in a long time, luckily. It, it's like, I don't know, uh, I think with the no LBLJ, you pretty much do it when as you leave LL. But for LBLJ, you gotta grab it in between, and I, I've been there, like, just not, not picking it up at all. Not talking to the guy, not today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Envermora is on N64 and Benedict is on Emulator, so we do have some minor differences there as well, where one will see a significant amount more lag than the other. Yeah. Yeah, it's also like a around, let's say, 10, 10 second um, advantage when you play on Emulator. Uh, something around that, at least. Mm. So, yeah. I don't have the, the spreadsheet up, but somebody has done those calculations so, it, it probably was some someone who did a little bit better with numbers than i could ever <laughs> beautiful mips grab right in front of the door we're leaving every time i get it i'm like okay we got it uh, now it's just like the other hot stages and <laughs> and the blj's and then we're done <laughs> oh and missing the clip though that it looked like a good angle to me. I don't know about what I don't know about you, but I think it was beautifully set up, but we get it on the second try. Nothing to worry about. Always tempting to try and rush that and just try and rush right through the bunny, but if you do it once and do it right, you have a mm -hmm. much better opportunity. Interesting with the set down there instead of the duck. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not sure if I ever did see that before. Benedict. Oh, oh no. Also in that. Oh wow. With a beautiful chip clip. That, that, wow. Very I was well. not expecting that at all in this race tonight. It was very well done. These short categories, the chip clip becomes more and more necessary. The better and better you get. Yeah, it had the perfect, like, swim after it to Diddy Gold, Benedict said. Yeah, I would assume it is after that. That was like, he was rushing through. 
And that already takes us, oh my god, time flies. That already takes us into Fire Sea for Benedict. I'm excited to see, are we getting a comfy? Okay, we're getting to see a comfy zero cycle, I would think. If I did not curse that, but of course I did not. <laughs> There's no such thing. Definitely not. This is the clean. Oh, look at, look at our Benedict moving through the stage. Anvar did uh, accidentally grab the MIPS star and also uh, clipped through the door on first attempt at MIPS uh, and had to go back through. Oh no, but for grabbing MIPS, the... he's still like fine with yeah. the time. He's not too far off. No, just the stage proper, uh, not the fight. Yeah. The difference here. Anvamara also going for that zero cycle. Let's see if he can get it. Yeah. Benedict finishes up the Bowser fight. And beautiful jump dive onto. Oh. I don't know how people do it. This camera, man. This camera. I don't know how they do it. It's These terrible. Are insane, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I think the most efficient, most rewarding cam in terms of lag reduction, but I would be too nervous to do that in a run. So, yeah. I would need to put in a lot of, I would need to screw it up a lot of times to feel comfortable doing it. Beautiful. Tail touch, yeah. side jump. Oh, but this is the throw and falls off the edge. Oh, oh no. Wild Benedict is getting his first BLJ. Walking on to moving on to the second one, which looks like a good setup to me. There, there we go. Is. Ducks at the top of the stairs. Must be, Honestly, must be the nerves for Andamora. I could think it's like, oh, no. oh, as I say that, of course. So we saw um, some bits practice from Benedict before the run started. Let's see if it paid off, or pays off. And we're able to pick up the defeat and grab the key to go upstairs. Benedict gonna teach me how to do this star, how to do this trick. Make it uh, look real easy. Meter, don't, you know, <laughs> you, you, did, you, you did your best, your very best, and I'm pretty sure it was just the nerves, you're fine. <laughs> hey, I am never gonna say I have nothing left to learn. <laughs> you, you did, honestly, you did great, I was like cheering for you, and just like I've been cheering for all of these runners that we're having. And next time it's gonna be it. Benedict with a very beautiful first row. Ah, uh, but misses the second, as I say it. Of course. <laughs> Anvar able to get up the first set of stairs and heading towards the second. The second row connects with him. Yeah. Now it's, oh, oh, we decided to throw for the content. Just a little. And, oh, oh no. We're moving through bits now. But there we go. Oh, no, Andamora, this is such a hard triple jump dive too. Like, I've been losing runs to it. Um, it's very hard. It looks um not too difficult, but it can be. The the angle is quite um unforgiving there. I've done that short jump before, but just not with enough consistency that if I'm ever on a pace in the bits, <laughs> not some I'll try. Yeah, if I, if I was on pace, I would always like, still, even with a 15, I, I'm still going for like that slow, <laughs> slow movement if I have to. It's better to be slow than dead. That is also true. Great. Watch for it from meter. 
and we get all beautiful, beautiful jump kick onto the next platform, and let's see what Anhamara could get here as we enter the last Bowser stage. Flesh Rose fight. You know what I'm talking about, Vitor. I do indeed. Benedict ending with a 17.25 as 10 seconds are getting added for emulator. Going for the throw, and there it is, too. Beautiful. Stage crumbling. Wow. Bowser bounces off it and hits the bomb. Good, Good lord. Yeah. And a sub 19 finish is going to put them firmly in second place. It seems like Benedict has had enough with the 16 star. Now moving on. Getting zero star world record. Helps in 1850. Well done. Well done, Renes. We did see some very good gameplay. Benedict, so far. SBLJ flex as he waits. Yeah. And now I want to see it too. Like now, now I'm now I'm attached. Now I want to see that Benedict. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, got the camera glitch and everything. Oh. Oh, oh, we right decided to. Out. Yeah, it was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Not today. I'm out. <laughs> that uh, Umbermora was hoping for a faster time, so coming into the second race here, you gotta believe he's going to be buckled down and ready to, to lock it down. You know, most of the times, personally, I feel that, um, is when you're doing the second race of a, such a setting, it is, or at least can be, a little bit easier. You know, all the pressure falls off you did one you finished one out it's like you're you warmed up a little so i'm excited to see those those next runs from our runners which i also did put in the in the chat so give these runners a follow if you enjoy what you see in here on screen here they deserve it push our little <laughs> dogs here definitely agree the I definitely expect that we're going to get a, a real quick breath here and come right back, fully reset in the mind and the mental, and making this happen. Oh, that was an interesting pause buffer there by Benedict. I haven't seen that before. Is that a common... I did not see that. Did he Did he pause buffer? It seemed like he pause buffered on the LBLJ. Benedict, show it again. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it do it again. Yeah, do you think that we potentially could see a 16 next run on one of our runners? If not oh. both. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, both of them have 16s for their PBs, and Benedict is a low 16 at that, so uh, I fully expect to see a 16 there, and then probably a couple others this week or this weekend uh, the rest of the day, so... If, uh, if you haven't hit follow on the channel you're listening to this song, highly suggested. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Maybe we get, even get to see a... Who knows? Even get to see a 15 from, from Benedict. We get the <laughs> Mac Bomo of our lives. That would be amazing. And I'm excited with that opportunity. So we will catch up the timers here and we are off 20 seconds in so far. And also, we're getting a little explanation from Benedict saying, I switched from Nintendo Switch to MU and lag was different, so pause buffer was the only way I could do LBLJ, and I just never stopped doing it. I aim 15. <laughs> LMAO. Okay, you never know, Benedict, you never know. I I still have believe in me, I'm, I'm this faith. <laughs> but that's interesting. I didn't even know, like... 
that pause buffering is a thing. Yeah, and everybody has their own their own ways of doing some things, and uh, it's both yeah. of them are able to get the lactose skip this time. So super, super interesting every oh, time watching oh. a different runners. I love how in sync they are right now. Oh, oh no. no, Benedict. Oh, but now that Mara has gotten a very clean 122. Which is a very good time for a for an LBL day. It definitely is. Beautiful movement here for Dark World. Benedict catching up, but unfortunately is getting burned here. Ooh! Seems to have focused in quite a bit. Great grab. Oh, nice movement to, to adjust there. Very clean. Benedict, no! Oh, Benedict! Sandwich, sandwich on the tilt of our... It happens. It happens way too often. You are jumping over the pipe, getting the star. Wow. That's all I'll say. With the Bowser. blink of an eye. Like, I I feel like I just, like, looked away for a second, and Amamora is <laughs> already in that Bowser fight. Oh, great play by Benedict. With the jump. Yeah. Short throw from Amamora. Beautifully done. No, Benedict, no. Oh, he almost made it. So oh, he ground pounded in Dark World like me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know that trick. Oh, oh no, no. no. Oh, right. Benedict does have that little Dark World breakdown. We we all have been there. If you're a runner and you did not have a little bit of mental breakdown in Dark World, you <laughs> did not play this game correctly. <laughs> I could not agree more, especially on any of the lobby. Uh the lobby stages it just it just hurts it does being stuck in dark world uh or you know messing up early in dark world ugh, brutal. yeah benedict the 340 split on dark world does not sound like the best split you could have but we're still in there anything could happen you know still a raise at the end of the day and after every um, Dark World, eventually there will be BLJs. So there's time to. Do. That's very fair. The, the great equalizer. Yeah. Every beautiful LBLJ follows a terrible <laughs> BLJ. So you're good. You're good. <laughs> it's a beautiful long jump. Let's see if Wom's Fortress is treating Benedict a little better now. Going in for that oh oh going in for that Oles. And oh that Dude. looked like a little bit of a double jump. Uh oh. Oh Benedict, come on. I know I know the feeling. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening right now. Okay, there we go. Sweet. <gasps> oh, no! That How did that not work, though? Oh my goodness. Getting trolled by the cage. I, I said it, and I will say it again. This game is unforgiving, and it will be not playing like you know in your advantage never it's never gonna be for working for you it's always against you as a runner yeah while send the mora is already leaving wom's fortress he seems to be on a on a pretty good pace if i would say right now he definitely is he's cruising through so far no big huge mistakes and able to, to catch everything so far. Going for the setup list twice. Oh my god, what a great grab! Oh, amazing. I did not expect to see that in a race tonight. 
It's like a reverse spin. Does that have a name? Uh, I don't even. I'm not even sure if it has a name, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely that um one backup. You wanna? Oh, on the Mora, No, getting out of the. Oof, that. Uh, oh wow. Oh wow. These Somehow things so. are not real. Holy cow! Beautiful backup. It Insanity going on right now. If I did that, hands down, I would have not known that I could grab the bird on the other pillar. I would have waited <laughs> on the right pillar until I arrived there. Because I'm like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> slowly, slowly waiting. Sometimes. Yeah, was, great backup and you know, knowing what to do in these situations is really a difference maker. Especially in a race format. Yeah, that. Oh, that. Pretty much could put our runners. Um, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> anything no, could we... happen. Anything could happen. We talked I... about BLJs being an equalizer, but plus another equalizer. Yeah, I, I, I did not think about plus, but now. That is actually very true. It's oh, but we're we're getting there. And it's like oh, oh no! Oh, what a save! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God! Oh wow! Oh, my the God. reaction though, like Benedict is reacting just like that to the mistakes. Both These backups them. are unreal. Both of them having to take pretty much the same backup just on different sides of the pyramid. That is so, so exciting right now. Anvamora's in the lead again. For, like, when, when both runners were sitting on Pillowless, I thought maybe, maybe, Benedict is catching up here. But, um, like I said, anything could happen still. Right now, we got Anvamora in the lead, though, again. Great dive rollout. And picking up the, uh, the red star. There's such beauty in like the um, the short star of uh, LBLJ 16 star. I don't know yeah. if I see if I see red coins in LLL, they're beautifully done. I could not be any happier. Oh, on the more is missing that side hog. But gets the backup. LOL Reds is definitely a, a very pretty looking star when it's done clean. Yeah, yeah. It's like that one, and of course, a um, clean triple jump, box jump, and HMC mm. always gets me. Yeah, that's also a very nice one. So we got both runners in the same stage again. It's not too far off, considering that Vanity really struggled with Dark World in the beginning and left with like um, almost a two minute plus on it. We're pretty much, they're good right now. Been uh, moving through quickly and Benedict's still about two stars behind. Only but... shows what he's capable of too, like being on that pace. With all those, uh, um, yeah, accidents that happened. <laughs> and of course, both of them are, oh no, the burn. Both of them are, are running against each other right now, but running against the entire leaderboard as well. So having already clocked a very solid time, Benedict has a little yeah. more wiggle room here. I agree. It's like, did that put a little more pressure on you or did it take off some pressure knowing that you pretty much you're running against one person but also you're running against like every person there is <laughs> <laughs> i uh i focused on running my just as best as i could uh, yeah so that but it was nice running against somebody um who you know was around around the same skill level when it comes to pbs and such so it made it a lot of fun I don't know if you saw that, but Andamora is getting rescued by the... Yeah, what's it called? Bug. A speeder? I think? 
maybe what, like the spider, you know, like yeah, the yeah. one that <laughs> it has a name. <laughs> it also has a name in Germany, where I'm coming from. So fair. What, what do we have in Germany? <laughs> oh, that that's actually. I think it was. Um, it was a wait. You know what? I'm I'm checking that now because okay. I think it, I think it's a scuttlebug. Uh, I might be wrong. Markinator oh. says Scuttlebug in chat. Hello, but, you know, you can call it the creepy little spider thing. Yeah. That's usually what I yell when it's screwing up my room. Yeah, right? <laughs> the little spider thing, I, I roll with that one. <laughs> but anyway, with that, clean triple jump box jump. Um, like I said, love to see it. Very happy that I got the chance to <laughs> witness that. Markinator saying Skeeter is the water one, one in Wet Dry World. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Your, your language is just very hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think some of these are made up. <laughs> not even uh, anything to reference. I'm, oh wow! Oh, again, I'm like I'm so in that HMC mindset, but Andamara is done with it. He's moving on to MIPS and gets him nicely, beautifully. Again with a great grab. This time we won't make the same mistake and grab the star. We're actually getting 16 stars this time. Oh, fantastic! Great Beautiful. Clip. Such a close camera angle, too. With a beautiful... Glitchy wall kick through. Yeah. Loving it. Benedict in chat saying that they could gold if they had a clean boulders. We'll boulders, man. It's something you don't really have an impact on, you know. Like, sometimes, all you can do is pray for that boulder RNG to be fair and nice. That's true. Oh, we're getting beautiful MIPS code here, uh, MIPS grab here as well. Also, I'm about to open a bottle and I'm really hoping that it's not too loud, but be prepared. <laughs> okay. I'm totally ready. Got it. And the more <laughs> able to uh, pick up that DDD star. Oh, that is such a... Like, Benedict is not even setting up the angle for that, um, wall kick, door skip. It's an interesting angle, but I'm pretty sure if he, like, goes for it, it, it... Oh no, the first Frey wall kick! Um, yeah. Between, interesting between angle first, for that. Between that first D and, uh, and Owl, Owl, they are Was it... devastating. Yeah. Was it this race or um, your race where um, I think I pointed it out in one of those? Is you always get the first frame wall kicks where you really don't want them. It's yeah. like. Yeah, I believe oh. that, was, that was during my. Oh my goodness, no! All the way down! <laughs> that definitely gives Benedict some space to catch up here. It does indeed. Oh my goodness. Not doing the same mistakes again. I'm already taking it nice and nice and slow here. Wall kicks and the jump dive in. Benedict now coming up to the elevator. Or rather the well, what are these? The ramps? Probably more sense. Excuse me, Peter. I was so stuck in the like I I was like my my brain was not working for a brief second. Can you? <laughs> no, you're totally you're totally fine. Better they come up this left side beautifully. Is Mora is going to finish up the Bowser fight. No issues this time. Oh, the ball! I've never seen that either. You never know. I didn't even know there was an invisible. Is is it always there? Did he just got lucky? Better they tell us the story about this bug. <laughs> Tell us Holy. the bonk story. Write it down. Ask him in the interview. No, what's the bonk, the bonk story? <laughs> I need the background behind the bonk. 
If that was on purpose, it is perfectly executed. You know, Benedict, we have all the time in the world after this run. No, no need to explain <laughs> it in chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's another it's another moment where it's all coming down to BLJ's works for me. We got <laughs> Amamora. A little bit of a weird angle here. Sometimes that can make it easier. Oh. Sometimes it makes it harder. I feel. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I feel like if it's if it's angled, yeah, I'm I'm getting it like right away. But sometimes there are days where I angle it and it's like not working at all. But Amamora with a couple of presses, we should be good and going through that door. There we go. Benedict with more of a setup, I would expect with the uh, seat down lack of two entering onto the stairs. It centers the camera perfectly, and makes it a little easier to get the setup. It definitely helps a little bit. For me, at least. My apologies. <laughs> I'm speaking from my own personal experience. You're, you're completely fine. Maybe it helps other, other runners and gives them a little bit of, uh, you know, like a change of perspective. Oh, on Vamara. That is so unfortunate, but we're getting a quick backup. This one can be so tricky sometimes. Oh wow, this is so close now. It is. Benedict making a big comeback, leading up to bits here. Good lord. Moving left, and this oh. is it, but I'm the morning too. Oh wow, okay, oh wow, Benedict. <laughs> Benedict surely knows how to get back on that first wooden block. Oh, and. Oh, no. And Benedict is in the lead now, whilst Amamora is falling down again. What a... What an unexpected change here. What a relatable experience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, if you've been there, Peter, I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> there is nobody else in the world who understands Amamora. As much as I do in this one. Then <laughs> some things happen during your first run. I we <laughs> <laughs> learned of it. You were right. It was you learned it, and second one you were like, nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was too close. I need to catch up. A fair, fair decision. You really did a good decision there. Um, Benedict in a short throw here. Move Bowser a little closer. Guarantee he's gonna hit on this throw, and he does. And that is it. We, wow, we get a winner for this, for for this match. Benedict, GGs. Amamora is keeping a keeping keeping up here. Um, getting his first throw beautifully done. Nineteen fourteen for Benedict after the ten seconds added for emulator. That is definitely. A respectable time. I almost sub 19 in a race setting with the wind. And Lamar getting really fast throws here and going to finish about 20 seconds behind. But man, Beautiful. I would, I'll be honest, I would be certainly happy with his time. It will happen for you too, Vader. But yeah, GG's to both of our runners. Um, you did great, guys. Um, thank you so much for playing for us. I'm gonna put Drake's in chat for these runs, for these runners. We will see what's going on post-race here. We also get set up. Of course, don't go anywhere because next up we have Zine versus the Mr. Doggo. Both oh, of them with wow. sub 16 times. Yeah, that sounds very exciting to watch. You should not miss out on that one. Just stay here. Maybe use like use the bathroom, get something to drink, something to eat, and then come back and enjoy the show. Fully agreed.
definitely what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you uh, so much for, for coming with me. This is such an exciting tournament and such an exciting event that Mark and is putting on for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And thank you so much for being on Comes With Me. I've had a very good time here sitting with you, doing the little Mario knowledge, <laughs> kicking it, stuff like that. Benedict yeah. promised, uh, did, did he skip here? I mean, he did not promise, but sort of promise also. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it is looking good, honestly. It is. It's this speed. It's the exit that it can be very tricky. Oh, oh two, and oh, he lost two, it. Too much speed. They wrapped right back around to zero. This trick is so insanely hard. I've tried to run this category, and um, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I've done a one star. I've tried zero star many times and have not succeeded yet. I'm pretty sure that all the zero star PBs that I have is only because I'm accidentally got a DDD <laughs> skip. The <laughs> amount of people who say that they got their zero from accidentally. Finny had world record on VC for a very long time and uh, told yeah. me it was 100% an accident. Imagine getting world record by accident. <laughs> I can think of maybe three people who could possibly do that. <laughs> it's it's always it, it's Suiji. It's yeah. Suiji mm -hmm. free time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, we got oh we got Ouija for the one twenty thing. I remember that was an accident too. <laughs> I did not expect it to do, do that. Exceptional runners and. Uh, Two more up on the screen here. So Envar will end with an 1850 being their best run. Um, and I apologize, I forget Benedict's first run time. That was um good Whoa. question. It was a 17, yeah. Pretty sure it was a 17, but maybe Benedict could help us out. He might know. Uh, and and we're saying they got mit, gold and mips in the second race, so now they're selling the best. It's a 1554. Anytime that I am that I am uh, not, you know, on the best race, best attempt, I usually try and tell myself we're racing for golds. So we want to fight down that sum of best. So mm -hmm. exceptional it, work. It it really it really helps. Like um, that's why I would always recommend to, even though if a run is like. Uh, not going to PB, finish it out for the goals. Do it goal for goals if you're like not uh, too frustrated about how things went in the run. Because it's always good practice and you might lower your SOB, which can be pretty motivating too. Yeah, absolutely. So just to wrap it up, Benedict ended up with a 1725 after the 10 second edition. So um, well in first at the moment, but congratulations to both of the runners. An exceptional job, and thank you again for coming. Yeah, GG to both of our runners. You did a great job. I'm so happy that I got to do the commentary with you for these matches. Um, I had a very good time, and I'm definitely going to have when I, like, lay down now and chill and watch our next races that are coming up. Well, thank you again. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Zion and the Mr. Doggo right after a short break. Thank you so much for playing my game. Perfect. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage.
stop this weekly competition feeling like my inhibition mario will tell the story play for fun or go for gory moves are getting even faster all these tricks out there to master having fun could play forever face your friends to see who's better grab the strength you have to muster do not lack a single luster moves are looking never better like a freshly painted desert now you got a place to play and show that concentrated effort it's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desnig versus Zufi. His game crashed, he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 stars showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hitting throws. It's gonna be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peepo, peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run. Let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Mario Sunday, another 16-star match. I've lost count. I was going to say the number. Uh, I think we're on match number four, Zion versus the Mr. Doggo. Uh, it's going to be a really great match. I'm really excited to see uh, what's going on. And in the commentator's booth, I have Meter, who commentated the last match. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic, Markinator. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Just been... Enjoying being on the back end, doing everything that I need to do, get all the runners ready. So it's been going good. Uh, we are a little behind, so I am getting these runners going uh, right now, getting the final ready from both of them. Give the countdown. I just saw a zero or a one key attempt from Sign. Oh, you try to get try to get through the door down there. I tried to get into. Uh... Vanish cap. Okay, given the countdown, all right, both all runners are ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck, good luck to both of the rest racers. Agreed. Yeah. Oh, and getting a raid from Falling Tacos, party of seven. Thank you so much. Going to be on comms here in just a little bit. Right oh, after Zion's this, I believe. Reset. Say what? Zion's timer didn't reset. Zion's timer. Oh, yeah. And I think he notices it. Um, yeah, there we go. We're, we're good. Oh, okay. We we are aware. Didn't either. Okay. Okay. Yeah, another auto split. Second time it's happened today. Auto split are not always starting. Not always the most reliable thing. It does happen. I believe there was uh, Auto Split 2.0 just came out. For those who haven't downloaded it yet. Yeah, I might have to give that a shot. Yeah. Yeah, but the way that I, I capture, I don't know if it's like different than everyone else or uh, what, but the way that I was having to use Auto Split was like a nightmare, basically. So I, I just stopped. Mm -hmm. So I might have to check out 2.0. I know OBS was not compatible very well so they wanted you to use amorek but i do believe that's been fixed oh the wario hat with style okay yeah as i'm pulling it out i had i don't i don't have audio from the mr doggo feeling fresh feeling clean i was like why is there no audio <laughs> that's a good 
All right, but just getting everything ready. Uh, we've had some amazing matches today. If people don't know what's going on, uh, this is Mario Sunday, where we uh, have fun and compete against each other to try to get better and improve. And this week is 16 star. Every week is something different. So next week will be a task challenge. It'll be announced tomorrow. We'll have that ready for everybody. But uh, today is 16 star. And, and these runners have two chances. Uh, they'll go twice, no resets, uh, to get the best time they possibly can. And so uh, of those two, we will record the best one and put it on the leaderboard. And at the end of the day, we'll have a nice big leaderboard with all the runners. And we'll see how everyone did. Oh, no. Ooh, but Zyne, world. not making it through. And he's jumping through the wall. But, so we do have a lead from Mr. Doggo. That forward facing cam is always terrifying. Oh no! Whoa! What a reflexes! Mr. Doggo saying, I hit that on purpose. Holy cow. Flying through this stage. Sign burns his butt, but able to make up for it. Grabbing a red coin now, can skip it on the return. Yeah, El Doggo is, er, the Mr. Doggo is definitely uh, got the lead here. I'm gonna even up the timers just a bit, uh, which will make the lead go even more. Well, it's much appreciated. Yeah, looks good. Great grab there. Mr. Doggo gonna get his throw, and there it is. Time to the star spawn. The Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Infinite dab. Yeah, that is. I actually really like that. It's actually hilarious. Mr. Mr. Doggo has a, a really good. Um, just has a really good layout. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm sorry, Elisa. I didn't. Uh, I haven't updated that yet. I've been sneakily doing it at the start of every match. So those are not the runners for for this go around. Zion and Mr. Doggo. Uh, names are as on screen. As I get that fixed. But yeah, as far as the races, tell us about the races, Meter. I know you've been been watching, been a part of it, been commentating, you've been uh, doing it all. Yeah, this has been an incredible event so far, and uh, the pairings of, of people with what PBs they have, great. Wow, the Mr. Doggo. No setup needed. Just go and get it. Grabs the star. The old school. The OG it, cannonless. It's been uh, it's been really really exciting. Everyone's we've had some really close races, uh, and everyone's just had such good uh, good attitudes. Even when they're uh, you know you only get two tries here, so sometimes it can be really stressful to not not feel like you are competing up to your standards. Uh, but everyone's just been really great and able to to pull out some pretty great times. Sign missing the texture setup. Mr. Doggo getting a really fast double jump uh, for Owless. Oh, just a little too much. That's a handstand at the tippy top of the tree. A great recovery. Picking up four stars in just under four and a half minutes. Yeah, I'm just looking around. Zion, Zion had that stumble early, but things have been looking decently good as I say that Zion wow. missing Owlis, like missing the wall kick entirely. Oh, was that a oh. save quit? That was. Mr. Doggo, no, I've done I... that like six times this week. It hurts so bad. I did it. Oh, oh, so that was actually a decent time to save and quit if you were going to save and quit because was on the exit of Womp's Fortress. So at least that was that was nice. Didn't have to like actually open the door out, but still lost probably like 15 seconds. Incredible. Good recovery. Zion realizing he already got that star. Oh, I that's something that's something I would do. Like like yeah, get it as a backup and then forget that you did that. Wow, what a great backup wall yeah. jump there though. Smiling about it, laughing. 
it. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. You can either be mad or realize it's silly and uh, keep keep at it. I feel like that's for the right. mental, taking the taking the <laughs> that's insane. How could I do that? Approach is uh, the way to go. Not indeed. Yeah, Zion with the good attitude, Mr. Doggo with the good lead. Which would you rather have? <laughs> uh, if is... possible, both. But <laughs> I guess attitude, because at the end of the day, I don't want to. I don't want to leave playing Mario feeling like garbage. You know. That is true. Uh, that I is to still be fun. That is absolutely true. I would take a, a having fun while still having a, a slower time. Missed the double jump. Zion just getting the tail end of all of these tricks. But what he's doing is a pro strat. It's uh, getting it all out now. I mean, <laughs> okay. Call it. Is the Mr. Doggo doing the same, a much worse place to save and quit in basement? Happened twice. I can't believe that. On back-to-back -back stars, too. Or maybe there was one in between, but... Yeah, I might might have gotten all, like, back-to-back -back stages. Got Gets all the stars on the stage and then saves and quits. Still has the lead over Zion. What a flex. No, needs one more. Okay. I highly doubt flex is what was attempted there. <laughs> yeah, that, that would is be true. a real... Uh... Real flexy things. Great movement to pick up the top of the pyramid, though. Oh, Ooh, I haven't seen that before, Zion. Ooh, I have to check that one out. Landed was... on the top of the pyramid. That was smooth. It was very smooth. But what else can he expect from the man in the hat? Exactly. Mr. Doggo, in care of these reds. Ooh, punch. Not as bad. Dive, like, yeah, got a couple, couple quick and easy stars on the screen. Uh, yeah, Mr. Doggo has lost probably like 40 seconds already to save and quits. I bet you're right. The save and quit into the basement was brutal, but still, keep your head up, keep it moving forward to set. You have a real competitor on your behind. Yeah, and at least I mean, there's always race two. That's that's the good thing. True. I feel like it gives you at least a little bit of confidence oh. doing like the LBLJ. We've seen some a couple runners like if you mess it up, you always got another chance. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Dogger taking a burn, only having two slices of pie left. Indeed. That cherry pie is not what you want to see. You want the blueberry. You do. The unseen blueberry pie. <laughs> you know it's there if you need it. See, that's the nice one. Oh, with the good oh, ending, no. but it didn't oh. get the wall kick. The angle was just slightly off. The look on his face told the entire story. It's like, really? That? Yeah, that is sometimes the difference. Big climb, and the dive rollout, and the star collected. Still sitting just about one star behind right now. Yeah, isn't completely out. Just needs to play solid. Not at all. We've seen BLJs be a difference maker. We've seen Endgame be uh, in bits, beware. Multiple leads have been lost. redirection of the momentum of... Yeah, I don't even know if he touched the bullet. The bullet just kind of dove off the edge. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zion, I got, uh, I've got some confidence in Zion coming back. Oh, Zion's one yeah. of those racers who like loves to have a good time, but it can also be like really serious. But I think uh, I think he was having a good time at the beginning, made a few mistakes, and looks a little more serious now. Mr. Doggo looked like they were going for the elevator clip there. Oh, yeah. What's what's going on? 
I think they were trying to drop down elevator clip to get the sea monster star instead of jumping the wall, but accidentally grabbed the edge and uh, missed it all together. Yeah, you are correct. But getting it second go around. Big opportunity for Zion to catch up if he can triple bump, triple jump, box jump. Yeah. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. And the dive. And this is uh, very, very close, just like that. Yeah, 12 stars even up. I mean, it's, it is really amazing how much time you can save or just like how quick it is when you have like really clean movements. And especially in 16 star, like you saw Mr. Doggy make a few mistakes, have a few stumbles here, wasn't too bad, but I mean, if your opponent's playing clean, they're gonna catch up. Very much so. And like you said, when Zion decides to really focus in, it can be extremely dangerous for the competitor on the other side. But of course, Mr. Doggo, no slouch themselves. Not great RNG from Zion. Got the C upslide there. Pretty great. Missed the wall kick angle. Angle's just not working out for Zion quite, quite as they it should. Seems, it seems that way. Both of them saving emergency exit for last. I'm grabbing it. He was uh, trolled there a little bit there. It's like difference in left side and right side. Beautiful dive. Wow. That is a well-practiced trick right there. Ooh, the Mr. Doggo missed the long jump and tried to make up for it with some really quick dive rollouts, but not able to imagine. Yeah, if Zion can catch the nips here, this is Zion's lead. Wow, standing grab. And okay. they're right back together. Yeah. So, okay, so not quite the lead, but they're at the door. That angle is sketchy. Oh, it works. Okay, nice. Wow. Mr. Doggo, second try on this door. Still has the lead. That was pretty quick. Glitchy wall kick dive, and they're like within one second of each other. This is so close. Zion is making the comeback. <laughs> See these? Oh, Ooh. beautiful chip flip. These these pairings were exceptionally done, Markinator, in, in finding people who were really close, uh, not only in their PBs but just in average runs here. I don't know if, uh, how how exactly you managed to make that happen. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's, uh, I mean, you just get people to sign up and you're like, oh, look at the PPs. They're pretty close. I guess, I guess they'll race together. It's worked out super well today. I mean, these races have been pretty fire. Like, we have not had a like, real dull race today. That's true. And both of them get in the front sub pretty easily and gonna head on into the fire sea now that they have their 16 stars. Will we get any glitchy pole grabs here? There's one. Oh, not able to make it happen. But really fast backup. Yeah, this is still on par with the early cycle, so. Uh, oh, Mr. Doggo's slipping up. So, Mr. Doggo. Oh, not getting the wall kick. It's probably too Neither early. Them, they're both going to be on the same cycle now. This is an exact tie. Oh, just a tiny bit ahead because Zion entered the stage first. Dude, Zion's going to clip, like, the, the lead a little bit. Okay. Both of those angles were terrifying to watch. Straight at Mario. And on the side? Dude, Zion, Zion's catching up, like, these seconds. It's so insane. All of these little corners that Zion is, like, clipping and getting the lead on Mr. Doggo. Or the saving time, rather. Wow, great glitch of tail grab. Oh my goodness. Both of these competitors are so fantastic. They they are. This is I love this. Thank and you, Lou, course, for a sub 16 months. Appreciate Ooh. you. If you want to support the stream, please donate, please subscribe. If you got any primes, let me know. That would be amazing. Uh, do not have a prize pool for Mario Sunday at the moment, but hopefully. If, uh, if I could make enough money from streaming, I would totally give money every week. Like 100 bucks or something? That'd be fantastic. That would be really cool. Yeah, so if you want to support, please do. 
Otherwise, enjoy the content. Give me a follow on any of my socials. And if you enjoy Mario Sunday, you want to take part, um, you can take part. Uh, you just join the Discord and the rules and entry will be there. Everything is open. Uh, as we come into these BLJs, Zion coming through. Mr. Doggo gonna make it, gonna take a few extra BLJs, but that's Zion's lead now. It is, uh, more substantial. He actually, in just castle movement, grabbed a lead, and now oh. uh, exceptionally done on the BLJs. Good oh, Mr. Doggo, is, the, is he gonna make it? He didn't quite make it. All right, Zion just needs to play solid here. It is close enough for, for it to come down to throws. And of course, they're not just racing each other. They're also racing as everybody else who has already run and those who haven't run yet. That is true, yeah. Racing against everyone here. You want the fastest time possible. And like both of these runners had such major mistakes early, like Mr. Doggo saving quitting twice. Wow. Uh, the 16 minutes here in bits. This is nuts. Design struggle with, uh, with Owlets. Yeah, and going for Wild Blue and didn't get Cannonless. Exactly. First throw's good. Mr. Doggo making his way to Bowser, almost there. Second throw just to the right. Oh, so close. That would've worked for Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, gotta, gotta hit the very center. Find oh, the angles, no, doesn't work not... out too well. The Mr. Doggo's gonna catch up. Here we go. First throw, it's good. Oh, but he gets oh. hit, and that's two for Zyne. It's coming down to the final throw. Here it is, if Zyne hits this, he wins. I it's gonna it. be good. And the Mr. Doggo, oh, just to the left. No, I, I can't believe that miss from the Mr. Doggo. Either way, Zyne takes the lead, but man, what a finish. Holy cow. 17.45. Wow. Fantastic work, Zion. Yeah, I think WoW sums it up pretty well there. Zion coming back and taking the lead after the uh, unfortunate Womp's Fortress. And, and uh, missing the BLJ. Like, the early game was just really bad from Zion. It was actually down so much. I'm so surprised. I am so impressed. 1801 yeah, impressed. for the Mr. Doggo. Uh, the the split did not hit, uh, and then the, yeah. the, the reset. So yeah, 1801. 1801. Yes. Gotcha. Appreciate looking out. We are gonna jump into it. Another one really quickly. All right. Very very exciting. While you uh, work with the competitors, get that set up. I will remind everyone that this is a leaderboard format so everybody gets two runs yes they're racing against each other for our excitement but overall we're racing against the leaderboard so right now zine uh, i believe just took first place by a pretty significant amount uh and uh, it looks like they're going to be gearing up to do that again and hopefully both of them can feel a little bit more uh, comfortable in the early part of the race. A couple of saving quits from Mr. Doggo and Zion having some struggles in uh, both with the LBLJ, uh, getting caught between worlds, and in uh, in Womps. Yeah, exactly. I think I, I was getting these runners ready, gave them the countdown. They should reset here in just a moment. Fantastic. But yeah, I mean that race that race is nuts. I want to I want to see a race that is like basically the same but they don't mess up the early game so much. Like El Doggo doesn't or the Mr. Doggo doesn't reset. Uh, I, I need to catch my breath. Doesn't save and quit and Zion has a good lobby. So Benedict ended with a 1625. So my apologies and thank you for the correction. Uh, in that being first place at the moment, but both the either of these runners could topple that right now. So that is the number one to be running against is that 1625. Yeah, 17, 1725, right? Yeah, uh, Benedict with the 1725. 
Oh, okay, then they are definitely not in first. Who got a 16? Oh, I thought Zion did. No? Just a second ago? 17.45. Oh, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. No, they were they were in bits at 16 minutes. He finished at 17.45. Because uh, Mr. Doggo got 18.01. That's right. Well, uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, My I, apologies for the misinformation. It's all good. It happens. 16 has not happened yet, but both of these runners getting LBLJ first try. No! Going into here. Can he get the back up? It's a weird angle. I don't think it's going to work. It's yeah, too I'm, far to the right angle. Yeah, I'm not sure what the angle exactly is here, but needing to get out. too far. He's got to hit the door so it's a little bit more to the left. That's close. Oh, getting in there. You can still get, you can get up there. Oh, no, Sign. You could have gotten it from there. <laughs> He's laughing. He knows. I thought, I thought they way. both nailed LBLJ. And he did. It just it glitched him through that wall early. And there we go. Right back in. Not too far behind still. Okay. I, I still don't have audio from the Mr. Dog yet. Said he fixed it, not quite, that's okay. We'll just be on Zai after that unfortunate LBLJ, but we'll see if he can catch up. We saw it happen last time. From the worst episode. That's true. And he had a vlog uh, early on in the same exact spot, in the same trick. Yes, that's very true. Doing good. Even up his time. Great star grab. Mr. Dago gets a throw. And there it is. A lot more lenient in this early stage. The hitbox. Yeah, they're probably they're probably about 30 seconds apart. I think that's how long this fight takes. Jumping on out in the brightest corridor in history. Right, you see about my head into walls. Yeah. Get the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Owlless, cool. Cannonless, and Wild Blue, I think, are the only ones we're grabbing. We've been seeing a few different routes today. We've been seeing a lot of like B.O.B. going into CCM. Uh, I think Adam had like a really unique route. I don't remember exactly what yeah, it was. He, went, like, he did the slide. Yeah, I did the slide. That's it. And Mr. Doggo slid down the slope here. Gonna have to get back up. Just going for it and gets it. Beautifully done. What a backup. I'm gonna go full texture. He shook his head. He knew. But he's gonna grab wild blue backup. Yeah, and textures like that sometimes. Like you, you have a feeling you're like, I'm not confident, but you know it still like might work. And you just give it a shot. Owlless clipped and grabbed the edge there, going for the double jump. And there it is. Great. Great comeback on that. Both of them had issues in this stage in the first run as well. Yeah, the early game has been uh, really the downfall. You do typically get to reset this if you make mistakes. So it's not always the most consistent part of Runner's portfolio. That's fair. You would think with it being this early and people resetting in it so often, it would be one of the more polished games. Yeah, indeed. Sometimes I feel like the uh, pressure of knowing, okay, at this point I gotta clutch it, can, uh, can definitely help. Great, great grab for the Owlis. That double jump Owlis coming out from Zyme. Growing in popularity for sure. I haven't learned it myself, but that is on the list of things to do. <laughs> I, I can about 
ten percent of the time I can, I can get the owls, so I <laughs> usually go for that when I'm already behind. Got some time saved for later. Exactly. Uh, both right, bonos, I mean, pretty close coming into this base, and Mr. Doggo getting that Tama plus. Coming at has the to, Has to get in. That's not it. No. Just like last time. Oh my. Yeah, that uh, that other side of the pyramid is not the best, but let's see how Zine can do. A uh, bit better of an right angle in. stays on that front face. <gasps> Mr. Doggo somehow missed that. And just like that, Zine's taking the lead. That's all it takes. Oh that is uh, that wasn't going to be the worst backup for Mr. Doggo, but, uh, but yeah, missing that star gave Zine that extra time. Missing the Talon. Great setup here. Yep. Right, both leaving at a very similar time. Not having that very slight lead. Oh, they're not leaving. I'm sorry. They have one more. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I didn't see Mr. Doggo uh, mess up that, that bomb clip, and it's going to have to do it again with the pillarless bomb grab. A great class. Okay. Better angle and right in. There we go. As I now on to LLL. And start with side hop. Looks good. Beautiful grab. Yeah, that Mario cam. With that nice straight angle. I see Flixer do that a lot. Um, mm. When he's on the big stage on the 16 star event. He's got a great Mario cam there. Uh, yeah, I knew this. Um, it seems to be running... Running well for me as well, so I think uh, a nice reset should refresh of the page should get you good. Hopefully, yeah, I don't have anything bad on my end. Uh, we're cruising along just like these runners are through LLO. But I'm not sure exactly what the pace is compared to the first race. I would assume it's a bit better. I do believe so. Because the first race, there was some, there was some pretty big errors, and we still came out with like a right at 18 minutes. Yeah, we had two save and resets from Mr. Doggo, including an LLL. Here we go. Yeah, save and quits are, are no joke. Falling tacos confirmed. Thank you so much. Yeah, Falling Taco is going to be on comms next. Ooh. Next nice part, comms. Elisa was on last race. You can follow me right here. And you should. And you, yeah, and you should. And you should follow me and all <laughs> these runners and, and, and everything else. I believe I got the correct runners up on this command. Yes, I do looks wonderful you're somehow doing the restream all of the admin stuff and comms all at the same time so exceptional it's the third hand it really helps <laughs> sign beautiful triple box jump there i'd love to see it is now like about one star ahead Mr. Indeed. Doggo. Oh. Zyne is just such a, a clean player. Like, Zyne will make mistakes, sure, but, I mean, the, the stars that Zyne does cleanly, which will be most of them, are just, like, so beautiful. Two attempts, and uh, not poorly done, to be honest. Those were really close. It jumps the wall on the backup. Oh, it hits the death box! Oh, that's that's not fun. 
You you think you're good. If you think you're bad, you pull back and you're, you you are fine. But uh, if you think you're good and like, you just barely clip the edge or something. Yeah, it was really close. I thought it was good too. It's like they'll try triple jump again. That time, making it happen. Yeah. Very well done. That is definitely like, something you will hit one of the very early on when you learn the trick. Beautiful dive. And we're in. Doggo having a chat with the mushroom man in the best. I am here for the Mario. So are we, and the Mario is good. I'm taking care of this Mips with the punch grab. Beautiful. With time Expert. to spare. Expert tricks. Great grab. Oh, jumped back through. Two quick ones. I think we've all done that a time or two, but I have not gotten the back up that fast. And the glitchy wall kick. Yeah, Zine, well Zine's mips clip is, is very good. It's a very practiced, it looks like. Like, jumped through the door the first time there, but it got the, the second go, like, immediately. With the chip clip, even. Not giving Mr. Doggo any chance to catch up. Wants to take first place away from Benedict Floor, who has a 17-15. Can he do it? Front sub incoming. Doggo's gonna try and catch the rabbit. This time, beautiful. Easy grab. I believe he did the same last time. Yeah, that was a really nice front sub. Front sub is actually like one of those tricks that's a lot harder than it looks. You got lag, you, there's, a, there's a gate above you that you never notice because runners who know how to do it don't hit it, but you would. You would hit that gate. Oh uh, yeah, I would. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not you. Uh, we would all we would all hit it. I love that. But Zide not getting the hole glitch there. Uh, not not sure exactly what wrong, but tried to get the backup hole glitch. It's just gonna take the the normal cycle here. No early cycles. But does yeah does do this nice kick. We saw that actually save like a second or two just from kind of waiting for the elevator and side flipping where you would normally just run to. So it could be worth checking out if you are a 16 star runner. I'm sure it's just just a timing. I see a lot of runners start to pick up that wall kick. Oh, we're missing first attempt. Oh! Front sub. We got hit. Uh, Mr. Doggo. Oh, if you're already like this, go to the left side. It's much easier. But ooh, Mr. Doggo doesn't care getting it anyway. We are we are out of sound. Uh, Mr. Doggo's sound is no bueno. So this is uh, this is us. Okay, I mean we can do we can do the sound for him. Yahoo! <laughs> oh, Yahoo! Woo! Yeah, that's what he does, right? Do the camera sounds and everything. Uh, <laughs> We will, yeah, we will be back after Zion's commercial with the sounds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm assuming Zion, everything went fine. We'll be going up to BLJ's, Mr. Doggo. Uh, having a nice fire seat here. Yeah, getting that early cycle. Setting up nicely for, uh, for a good time here. <laughs> I know you mean the time on the, like, scoreboard, but... <laughs> But to me, setting up for a good time, that sounds sounds like you're uh you're just uh, trying to trying to jam, trying to have some fun. <laughs> True. Double on time. Uh, yeah, Mr. Doggo with the very interesting glitchy grab. It works. All right, people come back, Zion. People come back. We're running. Where are Please. you? Please, Please come back. Are you are you in bits? Did you get caught up on BLJs? What's what's going to happen here? Find out. It has taken him a long time to splice. This is a long commercial, I know. <laughs>
hit us with the full 30 minutes. All right, we have Mr. Doggo coming up to BLJ's. I really wish we had some sound. I really apologize to the people watching. This is kind of annoying, but uh, Zine, where are you? Like, this is this is so long. Like, this is such a long splice. I don't understand. What are you doing? And the third is a miss. The stage collapses. Bowser jumping back up. We are approaching 17 on the timer the throw it's good oh mr doggo oh my gosh smiling and laughing all right we're back live now <laughs> and that's well, it he just it. It. <laughs> and just like that that's how easy it is oh no the mr doggo And now, Sign takes the lead. I'm gonna say that with caution. I'm gonna say, yeah. I mean, I'll count it. I'm, I'm assuming Zion did not cheat. Zion is oh, a well-respected no. member of the Mario community. That is really funny how he like I, dips out at BLJs and just comes back when it's ending. But, uh, just to, just to be clear, I was in no way insinuating there was cheating there. <laughs> oh, I was. I just totally. meant because I have gotten the, the times wrong every single time I've said them. Oh, Whoa. gotcha. No. no. I mean, it's what can you do? We got a commercial. You know, Twitch is just really bogged down on a lot of that stuff. Hard to get around. But uh, we got Mr. Doggo going through. We'll see what the time is. But yeah, Zion taking the lead, 17:07 against Benedict Four with the 17:15. Following that, it looks like we have Alivara. Uh, what is that? No, Anavara. With 18.50, we have Leo with a 19.33. Meter, that's, no, I'm sorry. BDEF with a 21.09. Then Meter, that's you, 21.55. And Adam with a 22.38. No, no, I'm sorry. Adam has a 22.38. You have a 21.55. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, I'm no. sorry. I think I'm going to say that again. Call it. Yeah, I think Mr. Doggo is going to call it. I had the 1801 from earlier, so it's definitely uh, can DNF and still get a good time here. I'm going to start that over. So now that Mr. Doggo is over, or done, we have 1707 from Zai. We have 1715 from Benedict Floor. We have 1801 from Mr. Doggo. We have 1850 uh, from Anvar... And I have to get this name right. I apologize. It is. It is. Anvamora. Anvamora is the name. 1850. Then we have Leo with a 1933. BDEF with a 2109. Meter with a 2155. And Adam with a 2238. So all pretty good times. Like 2238 being like the highest time we have here is pretty awesome. I definitely agree. Really good job by all of the runners so far here today, and uh, we got more to come. Yeah, we absolutely do. We have another action-packed race right here against Remedy and a Flying Cougar. So that'll be really awesome. That was scheduled for 6.30. We are a bit behind, so we're going to get that started for you. As soon as I have this thing ready, but uh, Meter, you've been doing fantastic. You've been doing great. Do you have anything coming up? What's going on with you? Shout yourself out. Uh, no. The biggest thing that I'm doing coming up is uh, watching Marketator's Mario Sundays right here on Marketator 99 Twitch. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure commentating with you. I will see you next time. If not in the commentator's booth, it'll be on the screen. But until then, have a great one, guys. We'll be right back.
It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. This weekly competition feeling like my inhibition Mario will tell the story Play for fun or go for gory Moves are getting even faster All these tricks out there to master Having fun could play forever Face your friends to see who's better Grab the strength you have to muster Do not lack a single luster Moves are looking never better Like a freshly painted desert Now you got a place to play And show that concentrated effort it's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desna versus Zufi. His game crash he put in chat. Simply in rock chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 star showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hit and throws. It's gonna be very, very close. 1530. 1509 fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run, let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another race in today's Mario Sunday. Uh, this one's going to be really good. I don't have the names changed, but the names on this match uh, is going to be Remedy versus a Flying Cougar. So as I get that fixed, I'm trying to get things started really quick. We're about 30 minutes behind, but this is a 16-star race, uh, and they are going to get two no resets today. We are doing a leaderboard format, which means the best time that you get out of those two races will count and so the uh, at the end of the day we will compare everyone's time on one big leaderboard and we'll see how everyone did uh so far we're doing great uh highest time we have today is 2238 which is like really good yeah this is uh like a really tight margin for for times here it's pretty cool to see all these players um you know really going in yeah, absolutely. It's been a wild day, to be honest. Uh, a lot of things have happened uh, as I get the, the final things ready. We'll get the countdown to these runners uh, in just a moment. Make sure that they are ready. But yeah, have you been watching the action? Uh, I know I saw you in chat earlier. Yeah, I've been keeping my eye on it throughout the day. I was, you know, doing some runs earlier just to warm up the hands, but... Uh, I was keeping an eye on it, and then I watched the the match just now. It was that was really good. Zion is so good at this game. Zion is incredible, like isn't he? Like the yeah. the stars that go right are just like so perfect and clean. Yeah, yeah, it's it's beautiful to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we got this match going on though this time. We'll get some sound up on the board. A flying cougar is the one on the left. I'm trying to find my nameplate here. Boom. A flying cougar is such a good name. It is, honestly. Very, very unique, very funny. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, PBs on these two, we have 1904 Arimity on Emulator. And on the Flying Cougar, we have 1924 on N64. So that puts them, like, basically neck and neck uh, with yeah, the... Yeah, as long as they're, uh, you know, both on their game, this should be a really good race. For sure. Yeah, there's a... I'm, I'm doing just 10 seconds today for the 16-star Emulator difference. Oh, a Flying Cougar getting oh, moated! No. Oh, got the smile on his face, thank goodness. But that is definitely not what you want to see. Uh, will we yeah, see right side right. Lakitu skip? You do like to see a good right side Lakitu skip. I think he's just, yeah, going in. Yeah, that is a... Uh, I've only ever seen it done in all signs. Maybe there's another subcategory that does it. But uh, yeah, it is possible to do it on both sides of the bridge. Yeah, just like you can LVLJ on both sides. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a little wacky to see it on the other side. Oh, oh, Remedy taking an extra jump is so close. Oh, there goes the chain chomp. What? You love that, <laughs> that glitch there. <laughs> Makes it basically impossible to get the log right after because he just lands right on you. Yeah, and just like that, we're right here. Hi. The Flying Cougar taking the moat, but since Remedy had trouble on this bomb clip, uh, yeah, we're going to be basically tied up. These timers are slightly off. Here we go. Try to fix that. Okay, so when the timers are a little bit more synced up, it's uh, a little bit clear that Remedy is slightly in the lead, but not by much. That is very true. Just uh, a little bit of castle movement is all that separates these two, and the game comes down to a lot more than that. Absolutely. up here on Womp's Fortress. Got Flying Cougar. Oh, I thought it was Owlis. It's going to be taking the long way around for Cannonless. As... Oh, I thought that was a pretty clean sock holder, but he missed. Yeah, it's always hard to tell. Always hard to tell when you're just looking. You're not playing. Absolutely. You don't quite have the feel of what's happening. Yeah, there definitely is a feel to it. Like, you see runners, like, we, we saw Zion on, like, one of his cannonless attempts. He, like, kind of gave a weird look and went for it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, like, looks kind of good, but it, it, I don't know. Kinda how yeah, it it's crazy how you get, like, a sense for that, right? Yeah, you really do. You get some kind of extra game sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, and good on the second cannonless attempt. I just mentally commentator cursed a flying cougar a second ago um, because I was just thinking a flying cougar really you know, came back from the uh, moat at the beginning by being in the lead now and then there was a little bit of slip up in movement but uh, they have turned this around yeah it has been uh Slowly well, gaining the lead. Remedy having some issues here, here in go. Womp's Fortress. Womp's really can be a run killer. Yeah, certainly can. The uh, the bomb clip was definitely the, the biggest issue. Uh, a flying cougar really came back, but yeah. yeah definitely 100%. has a, a solid lead now. It's closer to, to probably 20 seconds or so. Yeah, and what's Cougar. a flying... Mm, sorry. Oh, yeah, I, was gonna, I was just going to point out the uh, on emulator, so it didn't get any extra lag for that kind of movement. Uh, yeah, that's crazy to, to look at. No, I'm sorry. A flying Cougar's on N64. Okay. So it did get some lag, but actually it just had some really good reduction, I guess. I normally see yeah. so much more there. Yeah, it's, it's Remedy who's on emulator. 
So Flying Cougar right. has optimized these strats. So that's definitely a really important thing. It doesn't matter if you're going for the strats that are classically faster, as long as you're more consistent. Yeah, consistency is key. We saw that earlier with uh, one of the runners. I think it was BDEF. BDEF definitely a consistency runner. Um, whoever he was racing against was uh, was Leo. Leo was mm. definitely like had some better movement, but would make more mistakes, and they maintained like the race very well. Like, they were very even. That's a really interesting thing to see. It's sort of that tortoise and the hare situation, right? Yeah, definitely. No, oh, we didn't make it. That's very upsetting to see. Yeah, definitely. It looked good. I thought Cougar was going to make it there, but yeah, just barely didn't get up there. The kick makes it impossible to ledge grab, so you have to land yeah. on the platform. Very nice second attempt. Could have been a worse place to die. Oh, absolutely. And honestly, that, you know, uh, the amount of time that you lose dying there is insignificant compared to a lot of the other places where you could die. Yeah, early game has been a bit of a struggle for a lot of runners today. They seem to uh, tighten up as mid to late game appears. I wonder if that's like a nerves thing. Uh, probably. I would, I would imagine so. We, we have seen a lot of second races go a lot better. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I feel like the first run in any tournament is going to be, like, you have the most nerves right at the beginning. There's a, that, like, flood of nervousness. Yes. But then, like, it, it decreases over time, and, like, in the, then when you get to the second run, like, the nerves have kind of calmed and you're more in control. Absolutely, I completely agree with that. It is uh, very strange, kind of how it works, because it is like you just get hit by it. Yeah, really hard. I remember in uh, one of the first tournaments I ever was in, I um, like felt like time had slowed down because I guess I just had an adrenaline rush from how nervous I was. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> like, you see in the frames, you're like, this what? Yeah, yeah. I thought that, like, somehow I was moving Mario slower than normal and, like, that I was playing badly. And then I looked at the time and I was like, I'm moving so fast. <laughs> I'm going so fast. Yeah, that is crazy. It does, does happen when you play such a big part. Hands get sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. All that. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! A flying cougar! That is not a good place to see a death. It was the spaghetti. Oh, no. <laughs> it was the spaghetti. It was Mama's spaghetti. <laughs> that is very un unfortunate. Um, yeah, I did, didn't think it was going to fall down there. A fine cougar didn't think so either. Yep. But at least not doing and reds. Doesn't lose as much time there. Yeah, absolutely. And Remedy going into basement now. Yeah, this is a good solid lead for Remedy. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen very many mistakes like at all after like the very beginning. So we were just talking about like yeah, nerves probably being the only part there. Yeah, like especially because bomb clip is such like a precise trick for one of the first things you do in the run. True. So, you know, having that uh, the nerves plus precise trick is usually not a recipe for something good to happen. Yeah, that's very true. Like in runs, you, you kind of go for the big bomb, but in races, yeah, I like, like it's like the moment it touches the ground, I'm like spamming the B button. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, give me the medium bomb, yeah. small bomb, anything. Just give me through this gate. <laughs> yeah, as long as you get through, it doesn't matter how big the bomb is. You could even, yeah, the small bomb, like if you just do some some solid jumps backwards, you got it, you know? <laughs> yeah. But Remedy making it look easy here in SSL. 
Yeah, good stuff. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, it is. There's such a a wide variety of options that runners have, like depending on the route they, they go. Yeah, yeah, especially with the advent of the more um, advanced no LBLJ routes that people are opting for rather than going for LBLJ. Yeah, I see like so many like really high key strats, especially in races 16 star, like you don't want to go for the LBLJ. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is, it is quite interesting to watch what these runners will go through. Yeah. I think Adam had an interesting route, did slide in lobby. I don't know if that was like a 70 star thing or, or what. <laughs> That's interesting. I um I don't think I've seen anybody in a long time do slide in their 16 star run. But hey, if it's something that you're good at, like sometimes that's what you need. Yeah, precisely. Came out with a 22, so can't Hey, complain. there you go. That's a good time. A flying cougar. About a stage behind two stars. A oh, quick stage. Eleven fifty on the timer. I mean, this this is probably looking to be like somewhere around like an eighteen minute time, I think, from. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, maybe a bit sooner if you know does like really well here on BLJ's and this clip and whatnot. Really good pace. Ooh. That would Fire... be a PB, right? Uh, PB. I don't think so. These these two have uh, pretty decent PBs. I thought that. Um, um, oh no, you're right. No, it's 19s. I was thinking. Uh, yeah. I was thinking something else. So yeah, the uh, remedy 1904. Yeah. So this is a pretty solid pace right here. Uh, flying Cougar can't catch a break here. I feel. Yeah, hopefully the second run will go better, but there's been a lot of small mistakes that lead to just huge Mario blunders, you know? Yeah, and that, that does happen. Like, slight mistakes can be massive. Yep. Fifteen for Remedy. Yeah, kind of taking a peek at the splits here. Uh, only like plus 25, it looks like. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. I'm assuming Remedy is playing against EB directly and not balanced. Uh, I would assume so. Has the, um, yeah, 1906 on there. So I'm not sure. I think that is the PB. Yeah, because this is definitely a potential 18 pace if it keeps going as well as it's going. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah, 1904 is, so it might be balanced. It could be balanced. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. The flying Cougar taking care of this. It's going to be 14. Going to need one more star. I thought that was going to be 15. Remedy is cruising here in DVD. You love to see it. They're both on N64, right? Um, no. Remedy is emulator. Okay, Remedy is on emulator. Got it. So that will be plus 10 at the end of the day. When all is said and done. It's so strange to see somebody moving so fast looking straight at the sub. It is a bit off-putting after you run Nintendo 64. Like, I don't know. You get like, for whatever reason, like you can really like feel this game, like lag yeah. and everything, and like yeah, to watch something go like that is, it does something to you as a player. It really does. I saw somebody doing um, left side in Fire C the other day, and just not even bothering with their camera, and yeah. <laughs> I was just like, wow, that must be nice. <laughs> Over here, like, on the flip side like ah, I would lose <laughs> yeah. so much time. Yeah. It does, though, make the triple jump to get to the pole a lot harder if you're on emulator because there's no lag. Interesting. Yeah. If you're doing early cycle. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have seen uh, a couple early cycles today. Not many. A lot of attempts. Everybody just going to be going around the side here. All right. Great throw from Remedy. It looks like if Remedy was suffering from the initial nerves, that those are perhaps gone. Remedy has been playing very, very well. Still has red on the splits, but... Plus 12? Not bad at all. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was a gold. That looks like a gold in Fire Seed. I'm not sure if these are like legit splits, but it has a couple golds. If BLJs and everything goes really well, um, could be in contention for 18, it would be really close. I think it's about two minutes from like this spot here. If everything goes really yeah. well. But that's BLJ number one. Yeah, absolutely. As long as Remedy doesn't give up, a lot of people will give up. Did lose the speed, though. On the air, yeah. I wonder what happened that maybe he hit the door. Had to have, yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, you hit that door frame and it just messes up your, your speed there. All right, well. Yeah, maybe not uh, quite 18 possible now, but... Uh... We'll see here. Gonna be a really good time still, close to the PB. Anything sub 20 would be really good for a race time. Yeah, definitely still possible to get a sub 20 here. No way! No. Oh, never mind about that. Wait, is um, it in the water low? That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's because where he went through the stairs was lower. So. <laughs> oh. That's insane. <laughs> what? Yeah. He could get buried levels there. That's I didn't know that. But yeah, could have had to be doing this BLJ again. Oh, but for God. I've never seen someone clip into it like that. That was like not at the top of the stairs where it normally happens. No, yeah. I don't think I've seen that either. Must have just been generating a massive amount of speed. Yeah, we're like just. Oh yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Second try is going to be good. It does not have that left leftward angle. So a 20 is still possible here. But no longer sub 20. Oh, ah. I got to stop talking. I'm going <laughs> to shut my mouth. <laughs> Every time. Remedy's like really mad at this right now. But doing, honestly, still doing fantastic. Only losing a minute from flipping the point driver like that. Having to finish the game. I think it's like, you could have a couple different mindsets when running the game, because there's a mindset of like, okay, I just need to like, get to the end on good pace. And then there's a mindset mm -hmm. of like, man, I need to finish this game on good pace. Like, something something yeah. switches when you get the bits. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's it's good to you know try to try to finish it out as strong as you can regardless of how the run went. Um, For sure. But it can be hard to be in that mindset. Hands are shaking. Yeah. <laughs> Rivety into the pipe. Yeah, twenty minutes still on the table. Let's see what kind of throws we can get here. One. And a flying cougar takes another unfortunate fall. You can tell a flying cougar is going to come back on the second race too. 
Oh, absolutely. Get all those falls out of the way, and then, you know, on the next one, just fly through. Absolutely. As oh, a cougar does. Everything gone. Rivety needing this might still be able to get that sub 20. Sub 21, I mean, 20 minute time. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be really close. It, I think it's possible. I think this could. I think did it. Oh! Yeah! Nice! 2059. Very nice indeed. That is a solid run time for, for some of the things that went wrong. Honestly, yes. We, we've been seeing that a lot today. Like, big mistakes will happen, but then, I mean, you'll just get, like, real serious. These runners are, like, real serious about finishing these runs, so. You end up with yeah, a, you love a to see time. that. Yeah. Especially, it's easy to give up after, you know, like, wet dry worlding, you know? But yeah. Remedy didn't give up, and you like to see it. A flying Cougar on the rose. I believe one has hit, but I'm yes, not I sure. So. Which one? Looks like that one. This should be good. He needs one more. All right. This is a hit. Yep. I love the bouncing off the falling pie piece. Yeah. Hit. Just enough time. Yeah. That is a good one. Let's see what this final time is. 21, 20, or 22, 25. Not bad at all. Right, yeah, let's... great yeah. times from both players. Just talking with these guys, making sure we are good to go. Race number two needed any breaks. Maybe we can just get right into it. Let's try to get more on track. We're only about 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes behind here today. Not too bad considering how many matches we've had. So yeah. We want to keep things moving. Yeah. Earlier, um, when I was when I was uh, practicing, I um, I saw that it was behind schedule by a bit. So I was like, oh, I can get another run in. <laughs> yeah, you think that, and then these racers finish in like 17 minutes. Like Zion <laughs> true. or Mr. Doggo, like 1801. True, true. Been a dick's floor. But yeah, I are, are gonna take a, a slight break for one of these runners real quick. Uh, but I'll go ahead and, and do the leaderboard for you guys uh, with that last match we are looking at 1707 being our number one time still with Zyne. We have 1715 from ben Benedict Fleur. Or I'm sorry, 1725 from Benedict Fleur with the plus 10. Uh, then we have 1850 from uh, Advermora. And then we have 21, I'm sorry, 2059 from Remedy there. 2109 from BDEF. 20. 155 from meter 2225 from a flying cougar there and 2238 from adam pretty good times across the board uh, honestly yeah they're they're not too far apart 1707 to 2238 for for a very wide uh, margin of pvs here uh, the yeah. top times seem to be really close to their PVs. I'm so, like the the higher times. Twenty two minutes. Yeah, you like to see it. Okay, looks like we are good to go. Remedy in chat talking about uh, praying to not get the wet dry world clip again. I definitely. I'm praging here. Yeah, me too, me too. Just give them the countdown. Three, two, one, go for these runners. 
Good luck to both of them. Let's see what these timers looking like. Oh my goodness, they're already synced up. That is beautiful. Dang, yeah, perfectly synced, pretty much. Okay, getting a, a little info for everybody here. The splits are the newest splits. Verified PB, 1904. Splits say 1906. Uh, but I reset splits after not being able to, to do it, I guess. To it, is what they put. But not I able see. to do it. So, yeah, splits are there for your benefits. You don't even need them. You just need... Um, the gameplay and you can retime it after so, that's true yeah messing messing around with the splits giving yourself like certain time saves here and there i uh, can really help especially if like you have like all of your time save at the very end or something yeah yeah i like to balance pvs because i feel like then you know exactly how you're doing comparatively speaking you know for sure for sure i do the same thing i'll I'll kind of balance it out, give myself at least a little bit of time in each stage. Yeah. It's important to, you know, it, it gives you that mental, like, clarity. Because um, if you play really well at the beginning in your PP, then sometimes, you know, yeah. it can be really disheartening when you're not doing that. Yeah, you're, you're always red going into basement. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. Where is Remedy? Oh, okay. <laughs> Remedy was inside the chain chomp. Yeah, that was that was very interesting. Remedy finding the the pole at least <laughs> did have Living to uh, run free. Yeah, did have to forfeit the lead. So flying cougar gonna have it here in Womp's fortress. Yeah, and a flying cougar uh, coming out of the gate here, you know, flying. Sorry for the pun. Um, and, uh, you know, you like to see it. Uh, the the times are much lower going into Womps compared to the last race. Ooh, flying cougar. And that's me uh, cursing them again. <laughs> happens, happens. <laughs> Commentators will talk, runners will make mistakes. And yeah. Cougar getting that cannonless as Remedy gets Owlless. Both having a little bit of an issue there, but making it happen. It's really interesting because Remedy goes for sock folder, Cougar goes for um, texture, but then they reverse on the other one. Um, Cougar goes for Owl, and Remedy goes for Owlless. So yeah. it's interesting to see the balance of like advanced strats going there. Yeah, no, absolutely. I 100% agree. The uh, I know I did texture pretty early on. Um, mm -hmm. I found I just found a setup that, that worked for me. And yeah. So, uh, I know I was like missing Owlis like once or twice like all the time, and then doing a texture setups it's all about whatever you're comfortable with oh a hundred percent and you know some people get more consistent at certain tricks faster even though it doesn't you know make logical sense as far as difficulty goes traditionally speaking yeah, it's, yeah people just have their their own comforts their own style of play if you will yeah it's really cool to see everybody's style you know no, for sure. You definitely uh, can kind of tell who's who on the movements, and if you have a favorite like Mario streamer who does like something different, like you notice. Like, Wait, yeah. Why are you doing that? Yeah, is it and faster? It's, it's interesting because yeah, sometimes it's not even because something is faster or slower. It's just an idiosyncrasy of that person. Here we go. Flying Cougar was having some issues there. I was just kind of watching. Wasn't saying much. But these runners are pretty even coming out of Womps. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> going back, back into one Womps. <laughs> yeah. A flying yeah, cougar tricks six... me by doing the tower star. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I You don't see that very often, tower star fifth, but that's because of going for the owl, I believe, right? You have to do tower first. It's been a while, though. So, <laughs> I... Uh, I forget about that, so I definitely understand how that would mess you up with the tower star. Yeah. yeah it definitely does. All right. But yeah, they're both out now, finally, Remedy having the lead still. Those times were actually pretty even, those two stars. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The CCM, gonna be grabbing two in here. And we'll see. Forget uh, either one of them does reds or not in Dark World. I don't think they do. I don't think either runner goes for Dark World reds. It is a bit of an advanced strat. Doesn't yep. I think it saves eight seconds, uh, I believe. So like, and that's if you get like shake cycle. If you get normal cycle, you're still good. But you know, some runners, some runners will start doing reds, and they're getting like three or four cycles behind. Like, okay, yeah, you can you can chill. You can, <laughs> you can I mean, I feel like going for reds earlier is a good move though, so that you can you know get it down because it is something you'll eventually be doing anyway. But That's it is true. rough when you're like going for reds and yeah, you end up four or five cycles behind. There's the practice element to it for sure, and I was definitely kind of one of those runners. Like I would. I'd always rather like kind of mess up a good trick versus going for some kind of lame backup or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so synced up perfectly coming out of CCM. That's crazy. This is awesome. Yeah. The exits being a little different, but yeah, Remedy having the better castle movement. Look at this time difference. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that a... just goes to show you, though, what castle movement can do. That's two seconds. Maybe one and a half, but... Ooh, getting the burn. So, oh. Flying Cougar is going for reds. Yeah, I don't think he did in the last th run, but I think that he had died first. I think you're right. Yeah, Flying Cougar took a death. I mean, this can be time save for flying figures to catch this normal cycle. Ooh, that's gonna make oh. it close, actually. And they'll probably be about even when it's all said and done here. Yep. But flying Cougar will have one star over. So that's that's not nothing. Absolutely, and. Uh, you know, getting this star out of the way means not doing a longer star later that could potentially get messed up, so exactly. you never know. Yeah. Plus, there's that little time save from, you know, talking to Toad, right? First, before you go in. Yeah, very, I, yeah, I don't think about that too much. Uh, 16 star. But yeah, there's yeah. some different times you talk to Toad, like, if you have, to, what is it, 12? Uh, spawn the toad and yep. you don't do LBLJ, then I think you'll have 12. Yeah, you is should as long as you do Dark World Reds. It's the Reds that do it. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, because then you um, don't do uh, Dory in HMC. Ah. I see. You just do emergency exit and boulders. Correct. And remedy uh, getting the bird. I was trying to remember the bird's name. Cannot remember it for the life of me right now. Klepto. Talon? Klepto? Yeah. <laughs> Doing great things over here. I think it is Klepto. We call it Talon because the star name says something about Talons. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, what is the name? I only remember Talon, too. Yeah, it's like, uh, grab the star from the Talons <laughs> or something, like, 
yeah, in the talons strange. of the big bird. Yeah, or yeah, I think it's something like that. It's very strange. But it does have an official name. Like the like the monkey in TTM. Flying Cougar saving it. Here we go. Playing with it though. Yeah, that was uh that was scary. But still made it. Yeah, Summer Dust know what's up. Yeah, the monkey in TTM is Ukiki. Yeah. That's what we name Has a our... whole wiki. Yeah, we after. name our wiki after that. <laughs> Ukikipedia. It's it's interesting too because that's actually just like the generic name for all those monkeys. It's not just like one monkey's name. Um and they spelled it differently at different times. A little trivia for you there. Oh. Um so there might be more K's in some of the printed literature. <laughs> It's like Ukiki with like two Ks at the beginning. Hmm. That is pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. So they're both Ukiki. Yep. Yep. And the the one who steals your hat and the one who gives you a star, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's what you were talking about. That time save. Talking to Toad. Exactly. Yeah, the routes even up. Grimity holding on to that slight lead. Flying Cougars had more errors, for sure. Yeah, a little toad oh, violence man. there. But yeah, I think but... it's um, I think it's a little bit of like a flying cougar does have slightly cleaner movements, um, but it's just making those like slight errors, losing those little bits of time. Yeah, that's. That's unfortunate to see, for sure. But they're pretty close here, going into uh, Rolling Rocks. Yeah, final start for both. Let's see what the fade-out time is. 12.20. For Remedy. Here we go. Twelve twenty-seven, about six and a half seconds it seemed apart. So. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. Oh, Remedy going all the way around. Interesting. But grabbing MIPS at the place where it matters, so you know. Yeah. Oh, and Cougar not doing it. This is what we're talking about, like. Did the better movement, but didn't quite grab the MIPS, losing the time instead of yep, saving Yep, exactly. It. But like you said, I mean, practice, like doing harder movement does make you better in the long run, so. Yeah, um, yeah. It is what and it is. that, I think, is um, something that comes with, uh, you know, having these kinds of errors, right? You get that consistency because you've made mistakes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Remedy. It's... Yeah. Flying Cougar's catching up! It's catching up! It's caught up! Oh, snap! Taking the lead going into dire, dire docks. Yeah, it was going to be like neck and neck, and I was like ready to call it. And Remedy, I think, talked in the door. We just didn't see the text box. That's Got crazy. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Flying Cougar does come out ahead on that MIPS. Remedy not quite able to get that clip. Now, both of them having trouble, really. Yeah, yeah. MIPS presented difficulties to both of these players, and it's interesting how you get to see a variety of the things that MIPS can do to screw you over. Yeah, in, indeed. A Flying Cougar... Oh, dude, this is insane. It's one it's yeah. one mistake over the other. This is, like, crazy close right now. Just trading. Trading back and forth, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how, uh, how Fire Sea goes. And Remedy dancing around the entrance. Traded it. Oh yeah, Remedy getting that burn, but Flying Cougar getting the ledge grab. Oh no. Yep. So no early cycle for either of these players without a miracle. Yeah. Uh, 
We did see some chip clips today, Summer Dust, uh, just not this race. That's happening. Yeah, it looks like it's cycle. coming down to BLJs, as they say. Yeah, it will. Remedy needs is getting bullied. Oh, I thought I was gonna get oh. bullied again. Oh no, getting that bullied by the elevator. Late cycle for Remedy. This is not a good situation to be in, unless yeah. Yeah, having to catch the the whole other cycle. You see the time difference here. That is so unfortunate. Like honestly, like getting bullied like that, chain bullied. Yeah, that's. And then and then the bonk there that really sealed it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was unfortunate for Remedy, but still at a better time in Fire Sea, I believe, than the last run. Probably, but that's a miss from Flying Cougar. You can't run into Bowser. You're almost dead, dude. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> that was so scary, dude. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. I was like, you don't understand that you have two health. You're going to hit the Bowser thinking it's fine. But yeah, this slide past was so close. I can't, I can't believe that happened. Like, oh man. And we're still so close between these runners. Three it's, seconds away. I can't take it, man. <laughs> so much. <laughs> this is a really intense race. This is probably the best race of the day. This has been close for like the entire time. It's, you love to see a really close race. Both of these runners having a spectacular performance on this one. Synced up almost exactly. Oh no. Cougar getting the BLJ, did Remedy? Remedy got uh, messed up by the door frame. That's gonna be Flying Cougar with the lead here. Instant one from Remedy! Very nice. Not catching. Still not. Okay, here it comes. Is that it? Oh no. Flying no. Cougar didn't quite get through the invis wall. Okay, quick second one. Remedy's gotta get it right now, and he does. He does. Remedy leaning on the right side there to make sure that no wet dry worlds happen. That is true. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> okay, Flying Kicker just going around. So is Remedy. <laughs> Hey, you know, I feel like the the nerves of being on a on a such a good you know race pace here, I would I would be doing the thing that I think is most comfortable at this point, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't uh, don't don't mean to shame it at all. I think. Yeah, no, no, I a hundred percent agree. Like I I I feel you. And going for standing left and missing. Here's the lead back to Flying Cougar. It's just it's just gonna go for the pole. I don't blame him at all. But if Remedy can get this like left side or right side, doesn't make oh. it! Alright, back up to Remedy. Left side. Yep. Has the ledge grabs. Yeah, the very setup heavy ledge grab one is really cool to see people do because I feel like it still saves time overdoing pull, but it's way more consistent than trying to just, you know. Oh, what is that? what is happening? Yeah. I don't know. This is this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't, dude. <laughs> who's who's gonna take it? Who's gonna take it? Who's gonna win? Remedy We're, waiting for the white platform. They're gonna enter the pipe at like the same time, I'm calling it. And Remedy doing the left side setup once more. Lands it. Oh my god, they're so close again. No! Oh, Remedy! No. no! No! I peeked the mic there. That was so bad. No! <laughs> And Remedy, Cougar you had it. Going into throws. Oh no. Oh, 
very good uh, backup there from Remedy, not taking the fall and doing a quick wall kick, resetting up. That's pretty good. What a race this is. Yeah, this Blank has Gator, been insane. Please finish this out. I can't take any more. All right, just one more throw. Oh no! Yeah, Summer Dust. That looks like it, but wait, there's more. It's not over yet. It's not over till it's over, right? Is oh that no, it? and Cougar oh. missing a second throw. This now, now they're tied again, dude. Remedy For hitting this, both on oh, throw three. God. Okay, Cougar hits his third throw. <laughs> Remedy. Oh my goodness. I can't I can't believe this race. That was so intense. That was so intense. And Cougar, I believe getting a race PB. Right? Uh, I'm not sure. Did better than the previous race? Oh, yes. Yes, in the previous race, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. when I say race PB, I don't mean like personal best total. I just meant for the total yes. vote for the Mario Sunday. Mario mm -hmm. Sunday competition best. Yes, you are correct. The first time was 50 <laughs> 59 from Remedy, second time was 20, um, 21 10. And then first time from Flying Cougar was 22 25. And then 21.02 uh, on the second part. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, so that is going to do it for, for this race. We do have more in store for you. On the next race, we're going to have Falling Tacos, Sima, and Caprusen. Not Capri Sun, Caprusen. I'm so scared right now. I'm <laughs> so terrified of that. But, uh, but yeah, so you, being Falling Tacos, are going to be in this next race. Tell me, what are you concerned about, excited about? Um, so I'm excited that earlier today I had two pacers that um, yielded low 17s. I got a 1711 and a 1705 during practice earlier. So hopefully, you know, maybe I'll pull out a, a, a PB here. That'd be cool. But um I'm a little bit scared because uh, both runners, I believe, um, have either the, the pretty close to the same or better PBs than me. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Yes, indeed. I am very excited to see what happens, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, so thank you very much, Falling Tacos, for being here. Um, really big help on comms. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's, it, this was a blast. Yes, this was certainly the race to be at, isn't it? <laughs> it was nuts. Yeah, as I, as I set up this, this final screen, appreciate you guys for watching. We will be right back with another jam-packed, action-packed race for your enjoyment. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go improve it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. This weekly competition feeling like my inhibition mario will tell the story play for fun or go for gory moves are getting even faster all these tricks out there to master having fun could play forever face your friends to see who's better grab the strength you have to muster do not lack a single luster moves are looking never better like a freshly painted desert now you've got a place to play and show that concentrated effort
It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desne versus Zufi. His game crash he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 stars showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hitting throws. It's gonna be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run, let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another race here at Mario Sunday. Here with 16 Star, we've had some crazy action so far with uh, very good times today. Uh, not surprising as uh, Mario Runners are just that good. So, but uh, in the commentators booth, I have somebody who's fairly new, but uh, very good at commentating. We have Sarah Storenka. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Oh, sorry, that is my bad. I'll turn you up. Say that one more time. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Yes, I'm happy you are here as well. We get everything set up. I am making sure these runners are ready to go for a countdown. But to make sure everyone here is on the same page about how today is working. Uh, this is going to be two 16-star runs, uh, no reset style, and we are going to only count the best run. So. It's not just these three racers, as it currently seems. It is actually everyone who has played today uh, will be competing against each other. So at the end of the day, we will put everyone on a big leaderboard, and I will tweet it out, put it in the Discord, let everyone know uh, where everyone fell. Uh, I can obviously tell you right here, and I will. But it uh, looks like these runners are ready, and I'm about to give a countdown. So uh, to finish up the story, they get two races. Uh, best one counts, big leaderboard at the end. It's going to be a great time. Already had great races. Uh, so, Sarah, have you been watching? I saw you in chat. I don't know if you have anything to, to add about the races we've seen. Yeah, I've been popping in and out. It seems like we've got some crazy races today. I hope to see some more. Go on to these next two. So, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'm giving the, the countdown here. Five, mm -hmm. four, three, two, one, go. Good luck to all the racers. We'll see them reset in just a second. And I am definitely like relying on my co-coms, interrupting people all day. Uh, so <laughs> don't take any offense, please. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm and... just trying to put on a good show. We'll get these timers set up. But we've actually had, we've had some really amazing races as far as like how close they've been. Uh, yeah. I paired everyone up in PBs, but I didn't expect like the races to actually go so well. Right, yeah, I saw how everyone was kind of paired up, and it's so interesting watching people with similar PBs go against each other. Yeah, it's not just a tournament uh, where, like, you know, the number one seed will go against, like, the 16th seed on the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, I can right. actually get everyone going, everyone on, like, a good uh, pace for, you know, everyone else who they're playing against. Exactly, yeah. It's cool just seeing a very close match. Timers lined up here. Yahoo! Nice, and we're almost there. Yeah. So Cap Capri Sin um, looks like Capri Sun, and obviously has that uh, as their picture here. But on their Twitch, uh, some information I saw it said Capruzin for a bruisin. 
Oh, that's fun. So, that's a good way of remembering it. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that actually turns out as they are the first to not hit Lakitu skip. Uh, not that first, Oof. but the first to bat and they miss Lakitu skip. The other two yep. made it over. Hopefully Lakitu isn't too threatened by the Capruzin for a bruise in life. <laughs> yeah. Putting it, put it in place, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully this goes really well. We're already seeing a, a variety of, of runs today. All of these runners are doing LBLJ. Uh, yeah. So we're going to be all nice and lined up there. Oh, Capruzin not able to do it. He's going to keep going, not going to back down. Going for that second attempt on LBLJ and clipping out, unfortunately. Okay, going to try again. So BLJ and 16 Star does save like 35, maybe even more seconds. Right, I think it is 35 to 40-ish. Yeah, yeah. If, uh, yeah, everything, BLJ, everything goes super clean. But, uh, yeah. but so even doing this, like not going for the BOB uh, beginning, uh, he's still probably somewhere in line of like as if he would have done that anyway. Yeah. Oh, we have a Death Room Tacos in Dark World. Yeah, I didn't quite see what happened, but yeah, not no, what just... you want to see. Right, I just kind of saw the fade out death and then his face just watching Mario fly down there. Yeah, there have been a, a number of deaths in Dark World today. Uh, that it's one seemed to be pretty thing. late, so actually, yeah, it did uh, cost a good bit of time. Yeah, if you are going to take a dark, dark World death, you do want that to happen pretty early on. It can be brutal getting that late Dark World death. Absolutely, but uh, they're cruising through it. Some have taken the early lead with that Bowser throw. And Capruzin just about finishing up the first bit of Dark World here before going into the Bowser throw. And Taco's not far behind, despite the death. Yeah, I mean, very true. Had a really nice Dark World the second go around. Mm -hmm. We'll see and if uh, Sim go for it. Oh, and still alive. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, we'll see if Simba can hold this, this lead. Right? It is very good to have like this lead so early on, because I do think LBLJ Dark World are kind of where this route takes a lot of its victims. So kind of getting through that cleanly, especially in a race, or race setting even, uh, it probably feels very good. Or even in a reset format. Oh, I'm missing that class though. Not too bad of a wall blue though. Okay. I figured out what's wrong. So Simma's timer is obviously like at zero zero. I did the, the split okay. timer, not the actual timer. Oh so let me <laughs> let me fix that real quick, sorry. Yes, you're good. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, why is the timer not? Like, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Good timer for everyone. Bruising going for the and sock Bruising. folder setup. Oh, let's see. And yep, consistent. Here we go. That's all about getting it. I've seen a variety. Even saw OG Cannonless done once today, and it was successful. Oh my god! Out of all the times. That is wild. Taco's going for Alice and getting it. Oh, and getting it. <laughs> And now we get a tip from Sema here. Oh, going for double jump. But missing that second jump, unfortunately. And getting triple. As Capruzin's going for the backup for Class to get back up there, going for texture. Oh, no. and missing. As Tacos follows with texture, maybe we see our first Class success. No! Oh my god. <laughs> We almost got a first strike less at a taco, just a little bit too far to the right there, but going for the wild blue backup. Yeah, there's some a uh, lot of spaghetti going on on the screen at the moment. Capruzin uh, missing cannonless, trying to go for the quick backup, messed it up, and then just backed it up with Owlis there. Right, just a very quick double jump Owlis for the one time. Going back in a while, Sema being the only runner right now into basement. Yeah, Sima holding strong. Really good beginning. Right. All right, let's see. Plus is looking good. Should be good. Good stuff. Very nice. 
Yeah, Sima just on point. So Sima, this is yeah. not their first Mario Sunday. Uh, has had some practice and it's looking like it's paying off over these other runners. Yeah, I think the only mistake we've seen from Sima has been the class attempts. And besides that, and I mean, all of the runners are kind of dealing with it. Taco's missing sock folder just there. Let's see what happens this time. No. Missing it again. This Going is... for a third attempt. Yeah, this is nuts. Like, you see Falling Tigers just laughing it off. There's not much more you can do, honestly. Like, Yeah, right? Yeah. It is kind of brutal when you're doing 16, and especially when you're at the times these runners are at. And it's like Kles feels like it should just happen. It sometimes just doesn't. But we got it that third time there for Tacos. Yeah, Falling Tacos, hand on the <laughs> face. It's okay. That's why you get two runs here. Uh, first exactly. one, you can get all the nerves out. We actually have seen, like, most runners have had, like, a much better second run. Especially right. in the beginning. Yeah, you just gotta warm up sometimes, really get into the element, get used to the setting that you're in. Yeah. Very key to kind of smooth in. Just, like, massive wave of nerves hit you when you enter a race. It's it's so hard to explain. Everyone yeah. everyone always says, like, it's, it's only Mario, like... They've never had so many nerves hit them at once. Just for a race, just for like a stupid race that like, you know, you're not like a pro, you're not going for money, but you just, right. you're just so nervous. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's just the setting of just knowing that people are watching and paying close attention to the gameplay and everything. So but are you, yes, yeah. So that's full plus from Tacos and Sam is just kind of hanging out with Lethal right now. And Capruzin almost there with them. Yeah, Capruzin and Tacos definitely are on the same level. They'll kind of be more of their, their race here at the start. Uh, ooh. Yep. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to fall inside. Oh, that is the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> oh, God. Taco's missing. Klepto going for the backup here. Just waiting for him on this tower. Or pillar. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't even catch that till you said it. I heard myself saying, I was like, eh, mm, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Been doing it all day, trust me. Right. We got, uh, we got Sima taking care of the bullies. Sima's just killing it. Yeah, Honestly. Sima is really killing it right now. To be on pace to take the lead here. Uh, I got their, their PBs. Ooh. We're looking at... Uh, so Sima and Capruzin are both on emulator, so they will get a plus 10 added at the end, but uh, yeah. we're looking at Falling Tacos with a 16.58, Sema with a 16.59, and Capruzin with a 17.25. Wow. So all, all very, very close. Yeah, all very close together, all very capable, and even though we see like two runners like kind of not doing so hot here at the beginning, uh, there's always race two, like I said. They're very yeah. capable. The movement's very clean from from these runners, you can see. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, sometimes the nerves can get to you, but yeah, that's why they get this first race to just kind of, you know, warm up and just get used to the pressure. Sama, the first runner into HMC, going for, I assume, triple box jump, let's see what happens. Very clean. Very nice. Yeah, oh, I saw some runners. Oh, yeah, Falling Taco's taking that burn. Has to get this set up. Oh. Knowing that won't work, goes back. Spacing looks fine, and yeah, Taco's gets it there. Yeah, that is that is a tough jump. That's that's basically like an owlless in Lethal Lava Land. Yeah, right. They're very similar. Like, they honestly feel almost exact when you're actually doing it. Yeah, no, they never work for me. That's probably right. No. They so. just ran hand in hand. <laughs> they just all look the same. They just never work. Right. Yeah, it's uh, not that bad. But falling tacos, a few stars behind here. Let's see about this volcano, but has been really been picking it up. Like Capruzin and falling tacos. Oh. As I say that, oh, backing it up and still being okay. Yeah, it's able to get right back onto that elevator. As if nothing happened. I spoke oh! too soon. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. <laughs> we, yeah. My bad. Um, <laughs> that was uh, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. It was rough. It was rough. The good news is Tacos now just 
ending up in the volcano, so you don't lose as much time. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, you don't have to go through the overworld again. So all right. Climbing all the way to the top. Getting there. There is definitely a spot to uh, runners jump off early from that pole. And yeah. that's what Falling Tacos was trying to do. Look at Simba. You're so close to this bunny. Oh, okay. Wants to chase it all the way back. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is, what's happening? Where is he going? Yeah. Hopefully we get a clean Mips clip from Sema. Let's see what happens. Ooh. That looks good. Yeah. And Kapu's in with the triple box jump. Very clean. Yeah, beautiful. Taco's now on his way to HMC. Yeah, and Sema into DDD. I had some trouble catching the Mips, but the doors went uh, much better. Yeah. It is sometimes painful when the opposite happens. Oh, Taco's almost taking a death there in HMC and taking it anyway. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Taco's. But getting that clean Mips grab and then the bunny just refusing to go through the door is the worst feeling. No, absolutely. We'll see uh, if that happens to Capruzin. Yes. Time is up. Capruzin. Onto Mips here. Simba just did like a little turnaround on the fin and didn't side flip. Did... Huh. Like, I don't know if that was intentional or if it just kind of worked out. Or if that's just how it ended up. That, that would be a really insane optimization to do on the fin of the submarine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We've got Simba on track for a zero cycle here. Oh no! That bonk costing that early cycle. And if you're wondering why we're not on Sima's audio, it's because I have no audio from, from Sima. It is sad days indeed. Sad days. But not getting that early cycle. That's been like a really tough cycle for runners today. RC has, has it? not been nice. Yeah. We left side though. Clean Oscar. left side. Emulator, no lag at all. Right. Make the most of it. Sure. Capruzin, not too far behind, about to meet up with Sema in Fire Sea. Here we go. And Taco's just finishing up in the gym ah, Very good throw. So you run 16 star, right? Yeah, I do. Is that your main category? Yeah, so I basically only do 16, and every now and then I'll entertain the idea of 70. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and want to sometime soon go into 120. Yeah, that'd be fun. Right? 120 is a good fun. category. Yeah. Right, Capruz and making it through. The... Okay, it's going to catch the cycle. When you lose speed on those elevators, like it's actually really hard to gain it back. Yeah, it could be so scary there. Yeah, that punch was making me nervous. We have Summer going into BLJs and Tacos in Mets Clip. Alright. Oh, is that a first try? Mean first story up. First try on that first door. Oh, taking a bonk there, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in that second one. I think a missed throw also from Kapuza. Oh my god. Almost clipping right through into the pipe as well. Yeah, beautiful BLJ. Like, I thought it was going to clip. I actually had too much speed, went all the way through. Yeah. Impressive. Let's see about, Very impressive. Yeah, let's see about this bit. Ooh, that angle, but still getting it. It's so interesting seeing angles that I'm not used to, like maybe just not as popular. Or just random mm -hmm. movement things. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Runners will have like their own camera angle, their own like yeah. We like they'll do a trick and you're like that didn't look right. Right, you're like what's going on? Or even yeah, Mario Cam for left side angled left is a wild one too. That yeah. I very recently found out about. Oh my god! No! Oh no! <laughs> I that was insane. I I thought was gonna get it and then it, it was, was like right on the corner. And then it was over. <laughs> oh man. 
Sema being totally okay though with this lead that he's had. Yeah. Oh no! Missing a backup standing left there. Yeah, as unfortunate as that is, I do get to explain this. So, as Sima gets to the, the heart, watch the camera. Okay, never mind. Take a yeah. last grab. Of course, it's not going to do it. It's going to take the pole. Right. I definitely respect it after a couple of missed yeah. times, but yeah, we'll I see it next did, race. Right? He did hit that Mario cam really quick to adjust that angle, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty insane. And still going for that oh side flip. This is not recommended, folks. Stay for the pros. The elevator is like very sketchy, like very sketchy. Right. Especially on the pole. Yeah, even Caprizen missing. Oh no! Falling off that elevator again, not even going for. Oh, but gets it here, yeah. But even that side flip can sometimes feel very risky if on pace. Oh, Taco's taking a death in Fire Sea. Oh, and Taco's, come on! He's smiling. Oh. Man. Tagus is gonna come back so strong. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Sima here. Final throw, I think. No, missed the first one. Okay, so that's yeah, two right the there. Capruzin with a left side, by the way, going into throws himself. And Sima gets it. Yeah, very Game. nice time. That's gonna be 17 3. We'll see what it is. Yeah. Maybe a 35? 36. Okay. Yeah, really good. That's going to be good enough for oh. a second place, actually. Yeah. Tacos with another death in Fire Sea. This is not what you want. But it's not what you want. It is, it is race one. It is. Keep saying it. It, it is, is race, race one. one, yeah. It's not over till it's over. Cruise of working on throws here. Just the first one. Did have one miss. Throw number two. Gonna connect. That connects. I think Taco's getting. Oh. oh, wait. Was that the yes. intended bomb? Was it? It is now. Yeah, now oh, it is. I thought okay. I was gonna hit. Not quite. Going for that third throw while well, Taco's getting early cycle on that final fire seed attempt and Capruzin gets it. I think that's maybe just barely an 18. I think so. Yeah. GG, an 18 at 57. Very nice from Capruzin. It's going to be fifth place, it looks like. Nice, nice. Taco's kind of shaking his head. Yeah, it's all we're told. Yeah, Taco's, Taco's going for it. Let's see if they want to finish it out. Yeah. I did have a couple of uh, no finishes today. Mm -hmm. But they were a bit further into the run. Right, go ahead and... Uh, I'll, Explain the leaderboard real quick. Uh, everyone's time is going to go on this leaderboard, so I've got I've got the best times from each of the runners today. With the top time of 17:07, we have Zine. Uh, nice. We just Good saw one. the second place time, 17:36 by Sima. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's third place. Second place is Benedict Floor with the 17:15. Nice. So 17:07, 17:15, 17:36 from Sima there. And then we jump up to 1801 to Mr. Doggo. 1850 by Anvamora. 1857 by Capruzin that we just saw. Mm -hmm. 1933 by Leo. 2109 by BDef. 2155 by Meter. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 2155 by Meter and 2238 by Adam. Nice. So yeah, all uh, pretty close together. Yeah. Very competitive bunch. Tacos, by the way, getting pretty clean BLJs. It's me, Mario. Oh God. Backing that up pretty quickly. I'm gonna jump through the stairs here. Taco's smiling and shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it. Saga's making it, making it through to the end. I respect it. Yes, I respect it. Ooh. Moving left. Let's go for a second attempt of left side, falling down. That's the backup's even harder than the original setup on that one. It really is, yeah. Oh, oh getting that falling. extra life. Only has right. one life left, actually. Oh no. You hope we don't see a bit stuff here. I forget, does the life counter go to zero? Um, I think you do walk around oh, with like does, zero lives, right? Yeah. So not a game over, necessarily. For Tacos, if he does take this death, which he doesn't. Yeah, it didn't take any damage. Capri's in opting to just practice some throws in the meantime. Fair play, honestly. Yeah, that's probably good to do you didn't get that time. Yeah. Making it up. Please oh, don't fall down. I know. It's I've so scary. seen so many people fall down here, like trying to get like one extra elevator cycle. Right. Oh, taking that ground pound, but making his way. Right, going all the way around. Oh, Got that it. stuff. Yeah. Got an extra life. Yep. Just in case. Yeah. Taco's had zero. Got an extra life on the elevator. Yeah, it was an unfortunate run for sure. Like, Falling Taco's had so many good stars, but it's gonna die a few times. So that's three for three on the throws, right? Very nice. Definitely gonna come back strong here in game number two. Right. The difference between these two runs are gonna be insane for tacos. Getting a 23 there. Okay. It's gonna be it. Just try to start this next race pretty immediately. Yeah. Yeah, had some. Yeah, we've had really amazing races. We've seen basically everything today, as far as like deaths in every Bowser stage, and like basically every stage, uh, saving quits, jumping back into stages when you shouldn't. Uh, I mean, we've yeah. seen it all today. It's gonna be great. So if you guys wanna watch back any of the action, uh, I do post the bods of these every Monday, and then I also post highlights after that uh, within the week. Maybe not exactly the next day because it takes time to edit, but within the week there will be highlights. Nice, yeah. Have you seen anyone lose MIPS yet? No, we actually haven't seen them. Nobody's done the, the losing the MIPS through the second door. The Miz, I the, hope I didn't talk it into existence then. <laughs> maybe you did. Maybe, maybe we'll I see might have one of everything here at Mario right? Sunday. Especially with 16 star, you can literally see anything with this category. Some of those, so they're trying to fix the audio. Make sure they're ready. Should be ready. Get this countdown. But uh, yeah, go ahead. We'll use the time. Go ahead and shout yourself out. Uh, Sarah Starenko, right? Oh. On Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, what's up? I'm Sarah. I, yeah, like I said earlier, I main this category on my own stream. Um, I'm usually live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to be live a little later tonight. Um, doing some 16 star attempts. I'm going for a 17 right now. I have an 18.02, so I'm hoping soon. So yeah. That would be epic. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. All right. Here we go. Talking to the chatters, giving the countdown in five, four, three, two, wait a minute. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. There we go. Good luck to the runners. Runners are ready. We'll watch them reset. Yes. Yeah, gonna be having a good time here at Mario Sunday. Next week is a task challenge, so I will be posting that tomorrow as well. Uh, if you wanna join the Discord, I'll go ahead and just give you the lowdown on Mario Sunday command. But it is every week, so we do a different thing every week. We've done 120, Yay, 70, Mario. task challenge, uh, what else have we done? We've done, uh, we tried to do Mario Horse. Pace ended up taking that over. 
But uh, it's <laughs> been it's been a great time so far. Little side games here and there, main categories. So we'll try to hit everything here. If you want to take part, they are all open to everybody. Um, the main categories will have some kind of like buffer, like you weren't allowed to have a PB over 25 minutes for this, just because we have to keep things moving. But not on the task challenge or anything else. It's completely open emulator DC N64. So if you want to join any of these, please join the Discord. That should link you to the rules and entry page, and you can read all about it. Let's go. Yeah. Same to you, Sarah. You said you run this game. Yes. Yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> all right. Well, Cabrera's finally not talking to Lack. See, that's two, and that's three lack of Three for three. You'll have to see that in the second ring, too. We'll make uh, for a cliffhanger here for Capruza. <laughs> and he gets it. Sama going for that second attempt. Capruza into Dark World, and Tacos following suit. That, that was really close from Tacos. Like, kind of cut yeah. the corner there. Right. Very nice from Simma. Yeah, that Simma actually had like a good first BLJ too. Just didn't quite, uh, right. quite make it. Capruzin. And that's gonna be a death from Capruzin. Yeah, taking that early death though, which is a lot better than dying later on in comparison. Very true. We did see one later tacos. on was calling tacos. Yeah. Not this time. Yeah, falling tacos. The one to watch, honestly. Yes. Got the audio. Mm -hmm. Avoiding that second amp after getting amped earlier in the level and making it through so that seventh and now eighth red. Synced here on the screen. Caprizen barely grabbing that red, taking another death, but that one being a lot later. Yeah, I, I was watching like Falling Tacos and Sima be like super close and yeah, Caprizen. Right. This is frame perfect. Look at this. That's crazy to look at. Oh, oh we got the Bowser dance. dance! And that's the time save. Look, look at that like, yeah. little time save. The very small chance of RNG in 16 star. And we get to see the difference a lot. That, yeah, that's incredible. Like, it, that was actually a side-by-side -side of like how much time Bowser dance saves. Right, that's so cool. Prison, honestly, not too far behind considering the two Dark World deaths, including a late death. Getting those first. Oh, but sliding back down. Yeah, Caprizen making it through Dark World. Doing basically what Falling Takas did on the first one. Uh, we'll see yes. if they can catch up here. We've seen deaths early on, or like mistakes early on, can really like put the fire under the butt of some of these runners. It get, really like, real serious. Right? I feel like having a major mistake, even something as small as uh, missing Lactu skip, sometimes can just throw you off seeing your splits be in the red the whole time. Oh, Caprizen missing that throw from Dark World also. Setup didn't work from Sima. Was having a little trouble getting that uh, ledge grab to work, and then the whole trick didn't work. Tacos now onto class. Let's see what happens. Opting for texture this first go, and should be fine. Yep, grabs it. It feels so good to have cannonless done and over with. Yes one of those ones like we said last time right where you don't realize it but could it cost you so much time yeah yeah especially races like you do not want to be caught like not being able to get cannabis right so again, looking around everyone um i mean capruzin's a couple stars down but it's kind of cruising only yeah. tacos having the lead here Tacos. Oh. Tacos on his way to basement. Capruzin missing. Class as some of Mrs. Owlis. 
Yeah, it gets it that time, thankfully. Yes. Yeah, Simba not having the best bops. Both Cannonless and Owlus gave him a bit of a... I don't know. I don't know what term to use. So a problem. Behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this it is wild time. seeing a double jump attempt backed up with a triple jump, because I feel like you usually have muscle memory for one or the other when it comes to Owlus. Yeah, Talk for sure. Like Right? I wonder, I don't know, I don't do double jump Owlis, so I wonder if like the backup is just like the setup is wrong to do the double jump one. Yeah, that could be it. Not sure. Falling Tacos, a full start ahead now. Yeah, don't save and quit, yeah. thank you. Tacos are wondering if they wanted to see the main menu again. Deciding against it, which is a good call. Alright. Much, much cleaner setup here for Bless. And grabs it. God willing. It's not over till it's over, and it's. That's, that's very true. Yeah. No, try not to curse fair. Falling Tacos any more than we already have. Honestly, right? Oh, Kapuzin kind of fighting with the ghosts in the hallway there, but making his way down eventually. Getting that dive off. Simma with the full setup here. Pillarless. Okay. Yeah, nice aim. Getting it. And Taco's actually getting cloaked out this time. Huge. Taco's Huge. Huge. <laughs> Huge. I'd assume Taco's isn't playing too far off PV because I think I just saw his timer go red only for a few seconds there. Yeah, no, Taco's is doing really well. Like I haven't seen any major mistake from Taco's yet. That's awesome. Kabruzin taking a burn there. A little scuffle on reds, but it's all good. That's Very quick start. Right. Correcting it a little bit. And... That is the good thing about these basement stars, like after LBLJ. Is yeah. that uh, they're all pretty quick, so if you do make mistakes, it's not always like super bad. But True, it can yeah. be, because look, Simma's dealing with the lava. Yeah. Can be pain. Yeah, yeah. that. Um, oh, and here, this is what I was talking about. Like, it's a quick star, but like, we'll see. It's dangerous. You, but the space. Oh, no, that. The peak of that triple was not enough for that. Yeah. Well, it's, work. it's those tiny differences. Falling tacos trying to show Simma how it's done. I hope Simma was watching. Hopefully, right? But yeah, these stars in the basement being so quick, like you said, that is kind of what makes a difference in the LBLJ route. And yeah, why... it is. It is really big. I was gonna say like little mistakes aren't as big of a deal uh, yeah. on quick stars, but the caveat is they're more dangerous. And then like Simo just demonstrated exactly that. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, Tacos does not take another death on this star here. Nice. If you guys, if you guys don't know the uh, the spot to jump off the pole, there, it's when Mario's cap is like right at the bottom of the closest platform to you. So assuming you have that like camera angle that's pointed towards the star, like you'll see it on Simba's screen here if, if they do it. Okay, now they're going all the way to the top. But when Mario's cap is like right at the bottom of that platform closest, that's when you jump. Huh. Well, you know, I love visual cues. They're honestly so comfy sometimes. Yeah, they're very good. So I think uh, visual swimming is actually way underrated. Yes, I couldn't agree more. I used to play with no game audio when I was still on emulator, and that's how I used to do my swims. That's that's actually probably really good practice. Right? So I'm not backing up that long jump there. Oh no, but taking the hit from the bully. Bullying yeah. back there. It's good now. We got a little, got a little sketchy. A little scuff, but decent stuff. Tacos into HMC. You know, we said it, but Tacos is really just gonna give that last run a run for its money. We really are doing this uh, alternative strat for not doing the triple box jump. Okay. Not bad, I like honest. that. Yeah, it was kind of nice. It was quick. That was very quick. It's not the elevator strat. It's probably faster. I haven't seen it too much. Yeah. I'm glad Falling Tacos reminded me of that. Yeah. 
trying to get a good grip on the other runners here. Nine stars for Capruzin hasn't been amazing. Has gotten through Capruzins. But... <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Got seven meeting up with Tacos and HMC, but Tacos having a fair lead right now. Going for the right side for that star. Which I believe is faster when done, just with clean movement, right? Versus left side HMC. What was the question? Um, that is right side, I think, is technically faster when done with clean movement versus left side. I, I don't know. There's there's like a whole controversy with there's this and the commentators right? and there's like a whole history. But oh, no. I know I do right side and I do it quickly and I can do it in under 12 seconds. And I don't Damn. know how fast like a pro left side is. I don't right. know. And like no pros want to actually tell us and like, <laughs> solve this issue. So we're just stuck. They don't want they're, to reveal this either. Yeah, they're very even. But here's the thing. Like every pro does some kind of left side movement. So it doesn't that tell you that it's faster. Right. That's how that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. True, yeah. But they don't Tacos tell us. Being, they don't tell us. It's messed up. But yeah, Taco's getting that late mips grab, but that's okay as long as we can see a clean clip through this door. It shouldn't really matter. And I think we're about to... Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Seeing just... that uh, get corrected is so nice to see. Yeah, I got... Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What just happened? I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen that, actually. Just mips fly into the sky there. That was probably the closest you could get from, like, not clipping mips into the other side. True, yeah. If he just had a little more buoyancy, it'd be over. <laughs> yeah. That, that was so nice. I got really scared. I got yeah, really probably. happy for the first one. I'm totally rooting for Falling Tacos here after that first yes. race. And uh, right. I got really scared. Yeah, this is Taco's kind of underdog moment in comparison to that 23 on the first run. Yeah, bye bye, Mips. Bye bye. <laughs> Just wave them off. Someone with a really clean. Oh, first grab. Not. There we go. Yeah, clean first grab and first door there. That second door causing some problems taking that bonk, but that's okay. Entering DDD as Taco's going into fire safe. And Caprozin taking a death in HMC going for left side. Yeah, that's, that's a tough death to take because it was like it missed the left side wall kick and slowly slid down. Right, it's just kind of a meltdown after missing that triple, yeah. Yeah, you like, yeah, there's nowhere to roll out. Oh, Falling yeah. Taco's going underneath that. Ooh. Yeah, my taking board. a rollout on accident on that platform there. Oh my god, still making that early cycle. Very pleasant. Early cycle can be super finicky. Even like a ground pound uh, can kind of result in you losing it um, unless you're going for full glitch. So very impressive if Tacos is still get that cycle. Yeah, that's very, very true. Like the early cycle is hard to hit without full glitch. Yeah. Like Tacos getting it done. First here. Ooh, that was so close, but nailing it. Yeah, did get it. Is on pace like 14. Yeah, I was gonna say here. it looks like a pacer. It would be kind of a flex in the middle of an event to just you know put out your best time ever. Yeah, is a negative point three. Damn. Anything could happen. Seba going into throws, Capruzin into DDD. As Tacos is about to meet fate in DLJs, let's see what happens. That's true. The uh, ending is about two minutes, I think, from like once you like open the upstairs door. Yeah. So this is certainly 16 pace. First place possible. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah. It's all right. Well, again, and there it is on that second one. Yeah, that was really good. If you can get a, a really good BLJ here, uh, it's probably still on good pace. Right. First place is probably still attainable, and then maybe even 
It's it's definitely close. I don't know. First place is 1707. This is like mm -hmm. right there. It could yeah, it could be so close. We'll have to wait and see. As Simma's trying to make it up there with falling tacos. Yeah. It's wild to think that it's two minutes in between BLJs and Vance all together. Like, it, it really is the longest two minutes of your life, just at the end of a run on a decent pace. Yes. Yeah, Falling Tacos was saying, like, sometimes it could feel like time's even slowing down. You're just, like, so Yes, nervous. yeah. Getting that moving left as Sema makes his way into the second BLJs here. Ooh, I was scared on those platforms, but he's fine. Please don't hit. Oh, my God. The Goombas playing with it oh and he's went a little over but that's okay yeah this is 16 possible this is first place Ooh. i don't know how many throws can miss i don't know if they can miss any throws honestly yeah i think this just needs to be a th oh, three for three missing that first throw though yeah this is this is gonna make first place like basically right on the border like actual first place and that actually that might have done it yeah that could have done it Right. That hits. Alright, that's two. Let's see yeah, I think it, it, that's what did it, but it, oh my god, is it close? It is, it's like, it's so close. It's not gonna be first place, but yeah, it was that one throw that one is throw gonna be the difference. Hit. Yeah. And yeah, just a, yeah, a few more seconds here. 17, it's not the timer early. It's probably, I'm gonna say 1711. Yeah. And apparently auto split uh, messed up as well. Yeah, it's okay. So I'll say 1711. Yeah. Definitely second place. GG to Tacos. So some us into final throws here and Capruz and into Fire City. I think with the bounce actually is what did it. Yeah, so Simba being the, the winner of the last race pretty much. 1736. This is not gonna lower that, but still a really good time, right over eighteen. Yeah. All three runners dropping seventeens and eighteens, not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, eighteen fifty seven so far <laughs> for Capri Sin. Definitely gonna be the better time too, but Yeah. Super good three way race we had here. Yeah, I agree. The next race also, I think both runners have exact PVs? The same? I could be wrong though. Uh, they're, yeah, they're like one second off. It's crazy. Pull it up. Yeah. And I yeah. would assume they're also on the LBLJ route, so that will also be a really insane match to see. Yeah, 15, so that was PB pace for Falling Taco. 1658 is the PB. Wow. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, it was literally, I think that would have almost tied had the throw not missed. Yeah, 17 11 missing a throw where Bowser like knocks one of the platforms off, I think is about 15 seconds. So, so wow. yeah, what a PB by like one or two seconds. So yeah, super Tacos good. Has, run. Right? Tacos has a PB cooking. Definitely. Yeah, Falling Tacos is like really good at this game. If you guys do not follow Falling Tacos, you definitely should. I really hope I did my due diligence here. I didn't! Oh man, I don't have the links. I'm so sorry. I will post them. So if you guys want to follow any of these runners, please click on any of these links. Give them a follow. They would really appreciate it. They deserve it. Yeah. And watch the person finish up this final run. Taco's apparently getting a 1711 earlier as well as a 1705. That's how you know there's there's a run cook in there. Yeah. That was fast long jump. That was crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. I totally missed that. That's crazy. Is that the first task long jump of the night? Yes. Wow. We're getting one of everything. 
get one of everything, God willing. No myths lost at the door, but oh, missing right side. Do it again. Do it again. No, nah, that's not to pass that up to the other one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, that was great. Pass long jump, always good to see. Obviously a bit uh, late in the run to catch up. Good sportsmanship, good showmanship. Yeah, just had to like show it off. Don't worry about it, we'll take the next elevator. Yeah, making our way to the rooms. Oh, that one's just like a little too short. Hitting that first thing, I'm sure. Number two. There we go. Yeah, good final fight here from Capruzen. So yes. that wraps up this set of runs that we have here. Each one got two runs. On the first one, we had a do not finish from falling tacos, but uh, everyone else has a really good one. The first run from Capruzen was 1857, and Simo with the 1736. Uh, Falling yeah. Taco's ending with that 1711 that we just saw. Uh, so, yeah, all of them having a really good run, I'd say. Yeah. I think I think if all of them, like, Capruzin could have definitely gotten, like, a better time, but uh, a, no resets, 16 star, LBLJ, like, it is really yeah. hard. 1857 is a really solid time. Right, even posting a time at all is impressive in its own right. Absolutely. But we're going to wrap this up, try to get on to the final match. There's one more today. One more match. It's, it is between Bizarrescape and Finn L. Ooh. And we're going to see that. Both on Nintendo 64. Both have a 1549. Damn. That is going to be the match. Yeah, it's going to be quite intense. my next screen ready so Sarah please tell them where they can find you I have posted yeah. all the links here in chat but let them know yeah um so like I said I stream myself uh, to truck TV slash Sarah strike cuts in chat thank you I'm also on Twitter it's the same username uh, but actually AB. yeah I do some 16 star going for a 17 after the 17 I'm gonna do some LBLJ myself as well as one play so yeah I stream late nights if you're into that I'll be there Awesome. I'm almost ready, I promise. Give me one more second. Yeah, no worries. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll be right back uh, with more Mario action, so stay tuned. Yeah. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing till you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Weekly competition, feeling like my inhibition. Mario will tell the story, play for fun or go for gory. Moves are getting even faster. All these tricks out there to master, having fun could play forever. Face your friends and see who's better. Grab the strength you have to muster. Do not lack a single luster. Moves are looking never better. Like a freshly painted desert. Now you've got a place to play and show that concentrated effort.
It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Designate versus Zufi. His game crashed, he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 star showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hit and throws. It's gonna be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the people's people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run! Let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave.
so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars And welcome back for the final time, everybody, to Mario Sunday, 16 star. 
This is the final match of the day with Bizarrescape versus Finn L. I'm really excited to uh, to commentate this match. It's supposed to be the best one of the day looking at the PBs. It's going to be 1559 yeah. for both runners. They have tied PBs here in the final match of today's Mario Sunday event. This is going to be a big one. Yeah, absolutely. And the person you just heard is Sarah Starenka. Is that right? Oh, yes. Yes, it's right. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, very talented commentator, a 16 runner herself. Uh, very happy to have you here. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm having a good time. Yeah, very good. Uh, go ahead and sum up uh, the last race for us while I get these competitors ready. Yeah, so we had a very cool matchup. We had tacos. Um, Ka I want to say, what is it? Caprizen. There it is. I almost said Capri Sun and Sema. <laughs> um, we had some interesting. Uh, times come on from that first uh, match. I'm pretty sure Sema dropped to 17. And we've got a high 18 from Comprison. And Tacos with a 23 flat. And that second race, um, Tacos really gave that first one a run for its money. Getting the second best so far today for Mario Sunday. Getting a 17-11, which was very impressive to see. Um, so yeah, I think if we learn anything from that last match, it's that it's not over till it's over. No matter what happens on that first match, you can always come back from it. So yeah, and yeah. I think this is going to be very interesting because having the lower PBs is always super cool to see that kind of really, really clean expert movement. But on top of all that, these being tied PBs, we're going to see a crazy, crazy matchup here. Uh, absolutely, as I just gave these runners the countdown. Three, two, one, go. These runners will be resetting uh, for the first match of the day. Yeah, there are two matches. You uh, you hinted to it just a second ago, but yeah. the format of today to tell everyone who hasn't been here, these runners will go through two no reset races. So they will do this one. And okay, we got a bad reset. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. Sorry. So these runners will go through 16 star twice. The best time will count. We will record their best time on the daily leaderboard. So everyone who has run today has set a time. Uh, one has gone through twice. We will take in their best time, and we're going to put them on a big leaderboard and compare it at the end of the day. Uh, it is, it's going to be great. It's really, really happy with how today's turned out. Uh, so far, uh, we've got a 1707 from Zine. We just saw Falling Taco, 1711. 1736 from Senna. Senna. Uh, Mr. Doggo, 1801. I'm sorry, Benedict Floor with a 1750. I mean, four 17s today. Uh, 1850, and Vimora. Capruzin, you just mentioned, 1857. It's been fantastic. It really has been. Both runners, by the way, getting lackey, going into LBLJ. We're seeing some more LBLJ runners right now. And, you know, it's wild because both these runners do have 15s. We could see some 16s and maybe even a 15 posted today. Is very true. Trying to get these timers together. Yeah, we'll see. It's 25 second entry for Finn L and Bizarrescape. Nearly tied up here. Yeah, this is what we're looking at. So we'll see these runners go through Dark World. See, see how it is. We've seen a lot of runners first game shown uh, shown some nerves, and then uh, fortunately there's a second one that they can come back on, but. Very interesting. Right. Yeah, no resets with 16 star can always kind of be a pill because of how reset heavy of a category it tends to be, specifically LBLJ in Dark World. <gasps> Ooh, Finn taking that death. Yeah, didn't have enough speed. Got like a really wide yeah. uh, spot, like turn right before that jump. And, and you kind of need to carry over a little speed from your, your long jump there. So yeah, didn't make it. A lot of that. Yeah, a lot of that movement on that ramp leading up to that long jump is just to build up that speed to make that jump. It is unfortunate. But yeah, I was thinking as he was going for it that it did seem a little bit of a sussy jump, but hopefully it's not too, too bad in the long run. Yeah, certainly not. Maybe we'll see it right here. Finn L, you see the long jump, and right after the long jump takes the one across the gap. So yeah, that little bit of speed helps you get all the way across. Yeah. Bizarrescape making it happen though, taking the lead. Yeah. 
Fen Ooh, Fen 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 ledge and making his way into throws. Something I've actually heard recently is I don't know if this is still true, but Finn apparently has held the world record for Bowser throws. I didn't know that. That yeah. could be true. Right? I got told by Elisa, actually, who was on comms earlier tonight, a few days ago. Mm. She was like, make sure you peppered that in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's some right, good yeah. info. I didn't know Finn right? L was such a spinner. I, I don't know. Right, it's crazy. I think apparently it's on all three Bowsers as well. No, it so actually has the fastest throws in the game. Yeah. Nuts. So we will see some crazy throws out of Finn, I assume. Yeah, definitely have to look out for that. Yeah. So our escape volume is a little quiet. Yeah, missing plus there, going for the backup there on wall blue. Missing single jump wall blue. Going for the backup there. Grabbing an adventure as Finn is meeting up with Bizarre Escape in Wobs. Yeah, these runners will be doing some pretty advanced strats, so that'll be nice to kind of be able to point out and see, like that single jump, Wild Blue. Yeah. Right, things like that, like single jump Wild Blue, look a lot easier when you're watching it done versus when you actually have to go and complete them. Bizarre Escape missing Kles that second time there, while Finn is opting for a texture setup and making it that first try. Bizarre Escape, I believe, going for a plank push. Sock boulder setup here. Shit. Yeah. He's good. It. Very nice. nice. Yeah, I've seen a, a plethora of different setups for Cannonless today. Yeah. It really would probably be interesting to take, like, I don't know, like a hundred runners cannonless setups and just kind of like compare them. Right? Ooh, missing that double jump Alice. Just a little too short of a jump and making it that second try. I assume we get a double jump out of Bizarre. Yep. Ooh. Oh, knowing that jump wasn't going to make it though and going for it again. Oh, same mistake as Finn where the jump is just a little too long. Yeah. Oh, and got a dive instead of the kick. Bizarre escape. Not having a great owl this year. It's painful. Making his way back up. Let's see what we get from this one. Okay. All right, that one does it. Did did get it there, man. That yeah. double dip owl is kind of did bizarre escape dirty. Right. It really did. It's so painful sometimes when you're going for that jump dive and then you end up. Oh, sorry, when you go for the jump kick and you end up with the dive. Yeah, definitely. It just comes out of nowhere, right? Especially when it's from too high of an area and you just fly to the bottom. Yeah, and that gave Ben L the lead after yeah. uh, taking that death in Dark World. Right? We haven't even it's gone through basement. Yeah, it's wild seeing that Womp's mistakes can sometimes add up to the equivalent of a Dark World death in the middle of the level day. Yeah, no, it's very, it's very true. Like we've seen it today. I mean, you even said it, I think, earlier about uh, yeah. catching up. Like players being able to catch up after uh, maybe some nerves, some mistakes early on. Then yeah. not wanting to go to that right side of the pyramid. Oh, good for both runners. Oh, look, bizarre escape. Yeah, both getting that first try plus, which you know, like we saw in the first race, can sometimes be a little challenging. Yeah, always good to have Pillowless done once in SSL. Yeah. A little sigh of relief, almost. Right. Ooh, Bizarre Escape with that frame perfect single jump. Nice. In the sand. Good Klepto from both. But again, it's not over till it's over. Bizarre Escape. Oh, and okay. look at this. Oh, sync. That's This is the perfect sync. I love it. It's my favorite thing to happen in races. Just watching exact. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was cool for a second. That's um. I think Finn gets that really quick, uh, like no save because they do a menu glitch. I'll have to look. I'll have to look at the next star. Uh, but they okay. should be holding left uh, when entering the stage. As they go select, yes. And then somehow that glitches out the menu to the point where you can just like hold down when the yes. like save and quit screen comes up. 
Yeah, it's basically, I assume it's kind of storing the momentum in some ways. Kind of equivalent to when you're running around at the end of bits and you store some movement or some saved momentum so yeah. you can long jump a little quicker at the end there. That's a good way to think about it. Right? Yeah, this game, there are so many like really crazy things that you don't think about sometimes maybe watching it, but then you learn something like menu glitch and you're like, oh. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, so many, so many little things here, and even further beyond the menu glitch, uh, you have to pay attention because you can't just pick star one for every star that you're trying to do. Right. So you actually can't do menu glitch for specific stars. Yes, and you also can't in any of the Bowser levels. Yeah, very true. Right. So it is, it is kind of a double-edged sword there. It really is, yeah. But it is very comfy when you are able to do it. Yeah, I've, I have heard that from some top runners. <laughs> Finn going to bully the bully here. Or the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it's boil the big bully. Boil the bully, yes, exactly. That's Lava Boost at a Bizarre Escape. Here. Ooh, I don't know, it could be Bully the Big Bully. Uh, chat, help me out here. Who knows? I, I assume it's Boyle. I, f I feel like it is. I feel like I've, I've seen Boyle somewhere, but I'm sure right. people will correct us. If we're wrong. Right. Right, we've got Bizarre Escape going for Side Hope here and makes it. Yeah, we're seeing some really clean movement here. We, we saw um, a few mess-ups here and there. Death from Finn. Uh, Owl is not going good for Bizarre Escape. And, and now we're here, like, really close together, just nailing every star. Yeah, these runners really proving that they do have the same PB, playing less than five seconds off each other, I'd say. Yeah, and I'll, I'd have to, like, look back in the footage to be sure, but this time gained by Finn is... Looks like it could almost all be summed up by menu glitch. Because every time it gets, it gets like a little tick further, you know what I mean? And is yep. not far ahead. Right. It's honestly kind of a perfect way of summarizing how these little optimizations, for example, opting to do Lava Boost instead of um, the other Volcano Star that Tacos, for example, was doing the last race. That adds up to just like a few... A very very small time saving comparison for a much riskier or harder star to go for and when you're at a 15 and 16 star in any of these smaller categories like one or zero you need those small optimizations so finn just doing menu glitch could kind of in a way be the reason there's a lead right now which is crazy yeah absolutely it's, it's tiny things in a 16 star we've seen that in a few places uh, we've been like pretty much synced up and like somebody will make this slight mistake and you'll see like oh that was that was bigger than i thought it was right or even you know since this category is so small and in general there's not too much rng in mario 64 but um the hmc boulders is one of these stars where we're not going to see that in this route but or wait we are i'm sorry as bizarre escape goes for it. <laughs> oh my god what a what a brain day but yeah <laughs> But boulders are RNG as well as the Bowser dance that we saw made the difference in the last race. Yeah, it was it was the Bowser dance in the last race. Ooh, yeah. Finn grabbing that, taking that punch and losing some time there on Mips. Well, Bizarre Escape's gonna take that grab right away and basically make all that time back. Yeah, if yeah, if not more, we'll see. Yeah. To the door at the exact same oh. time. Oh my goodness. Bizarre Escape with the better... Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Finn making it through. Bizarre Escape not. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is it. this? Double jump there too. And this their timers crazy. are synced. Yes. So they're literally doing this at the exact same time. Oh my god. This could be a photo finish from these runners. This is exciting. I, it is That exciting. was intense. Right? Oh, and we have Finn getting ready to go for front sub. Bizarre Escape's going to be going for the good old Finn. 
kind of ironic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Finn goes for front, Finn not Lazar goes for back. Finn. Yeah. Finn getting a very quick front sub there. Lazar escape. There we go. Yeah, fire seed. Pretty critical moments. Missing, yeah, missing an early cycle for either of them could cost them the race with how close it is. We are going to see a pull glitch from Finn. Oh, didn't jump off in time and yeah, ended up getting a, a bit of a turn on that pull. So can still get this early cycle. <laughs> it's going to have to keep going, slowing down. Oof. Pull glitch making this cycle a lot more attainable though. Fortunately for Finn, making it there. Going for this camera. Oh, this camera. I actually like this camera. It's it's not as hard as people people think it is. Right. I think it's just like, seeing other people do it it's scary sometimes. Yeah, if you don't do it, it looks very scary. But it's just like going yeah. forward, except you're holding down. Like, you know, movement's not. Right. It's just a notch, right? Yeah. So like this, like it's the same thing, except you're just going down. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it looks freaky though. Right. Then getting that throw. We've only seen one missed throw today. That's actually that's not bad at all. Bizarre escape going for his throw now is Finn heading into the LJs. Yeah, Finn just slowly gaining time, uh, gaining a lot more here in Fire Sea since Bizarre Escape missed that elevator but staying clean has paid off in a big way it really really has yeah oh this camera honestly it's so nice you can just kind of see everything going on it's finn making that i think got a insta blj lost it and then gained it again <laughs> I think that should. Oh no, my God, losing the speed there. And and it is basically tied again. Finn needs his BLJ. Got something, but didn't oh, connect. Oh, five minutes, Finn losing speed again. Bizarre escape. Catching on those stairs, I think that's enough to send him through the first door. Yeah, and this is this is it. And Finn making it. it. Yeah, there it making is. It. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's not over till it's over, Finn. At some point, definitely having the fastest throws, so that might still be true. I don't know. Yeah, time time to be saved. Been needing this BLJ quickly. He's still in the game. Blowing himself down, yeah. So we have not yep. seen a 16-minute time today. We haven't. Come close like three times. Yeah. Very, very closely avoiding that amp there. Bizarre escape. Running up for left. Very clean moving left. Yeah, that was really clean. Yeah. Then going for a standing left here. Making it. Bizarre escape into throws, and Finn really not too far behind. Probably a missed throw away between the both of them right now. Yeah, it's probably something close like that. Right? Ooh, Again, the Gobra! In Bizarre's Finn. hands. Getting that first throw. Then now. Bizarre escape needing this last throw here to. Take, I believe, a third place. In the event, right? Oh, yeah, it'll be close oh, to that Both missing a throw at the same time. No! It didn't hit. Oh. Oh my god, a bizarre escape still in throws as well. That final throw hitting, though. Yeah. And same with Finn. Wait. Yeah, this this was so much closer than it I thought it was oh. going to be, going into the Bowser throws. So close, my God. Okay, seventeen thirty one to seventeen thirty three. That's crazy. 
Yeah, that is absolutely insane. And BLJ is really being the big factor, I think, for Finn. Yes. Yeah. BLJ is kind of taking victims from 16 Star over and over, and Finn was no exception. Right, let's see if these runners want to break or if we're ready for game two right now. Yeah, Jesus is the first match to both runners. It looks like we're going to go just right into another one as soon as I get to go ahead. We'll do another countdown. But yeah, it's, it's been, been some amazing races today. Uh, this is going to be the final one. And then I'll, I'll read off all the times. But, uh, but yeah, it's been great. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> trying to stop for some time. But uh, I'm just trying to think about what's going on today. There's been so much, it's hard to pinpoint anything exactly. But yeah, uh, I mean, starting off with BDEF and Leo. Um, yeah, with the with the 2109, 13, 1933, and it seems to like have only gotten better from there with 1817s abound. Yeah. It's wild seeing these times get dropped. Yeah, and like really, you said, there's going to be more going on next weekend, you said? With the task posted? Uh, yes, I'm giving the countdown to these runners right now. Perfect. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck to the both of them as we finish out this Mario Sunday. Absolutely. Final match. It's me, Thank you to everyone who's been a part of it. It's been awesome. Let's go. I do want to see a 16 here. It would be nice to see a 16 posted. Get our first one. We've got a 1707, 1711, 1736, 1715. Right. Yeah, and it's... honestly, them, both of those runners posting those mid 17s with major mistakes in those runs. So it could, we could get a 16. Very, very possible we get one here. 100%. Yeah, the last race, I mean, yeah, it was super close. Even with a couple missed throws from Bizarre Escape, 1731. It was it was like just over 16 possible going into the pipe, but we'll see. We'll see. Runners, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, starting off. But my brain is fried. I'll be honest. There's been so much good Mario, but you asked me about the task. Sorry, you asked me about the task. There's a task challenge next week. I haven't I haven't made it yet. I'm gonna make it tonight. Yeah. Uh, but it will be posted Monday. Monday is when everything is posted for Mario Sunday. Um, so if Let's you guys go. want to check it out, anyone here doesn't know what's going on, all signups are open. Happens every Sunday, different event every Sunday. Uh, they are break weeks uh, for other things here and there, like Easter and whatnot. Yeah. So if you guys want to check it out, go to the Discord, and you guys can read all about uh, what this event was about, and then go back tomorrow for next week's task challenge. Oh, Bizarre Escape not getting the BLJ, Ooh. walking out. Well, Finn is starting off in Dark World, taking that burn and getting that back up, honestly. Not too bad. Bizarre Escape going for a second attempt here. Ooh, Finn bonking there. Yeah, Finn... Not having the best Dark World after getting the LBLJ, but still has the lead. Bizarre Escape, at least getting it second go around. Right. Finn also, though, was the one who took the death in the last match. So any Dark World movement, any cycle that he can get here is going to put him in a better spot than last time. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Finn dying right. towards the end of Dark World, still pulling out that 1733. It's wild, right? Yeah, that definitely was a difference maker there. Yeah. Yeah, without that Dark World death, it would have not been as close of a match by the end. That was super close. We'll see about this one. It's our escape's turn to catch up. True, yeah. It's been getting that Bowser dance. I think now each of them have gotten at least one. Yeah, that's cool. Right? One for each. 
Exactly. The Zars gave heading into the pipe. I believe making some time up on Finn based on the cycle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I didn't see any big mistakes from the Zarscape uh, once he did make it in there. So, yeah. Not the full DLJ this time. But just, uh, just enough to make it a close match. For sure. We'll see about Womp's Fortress as well. Neither runner having a great time here last race. Yeah. Yeah, Womp's honestly like a super reset heavy um, level in 16 star, especially in the no LBLJ route, but equally in LBLJ. So let's see what happens in a no reset format. Missing that initial entrance movement to go for Quest, opting for Wild Blue instead. Yeah, I, th I thought I would go for Quest as well. Yeah. I'm deciding against uh, the single jump. I'll blue there. <laughs> yeah. we, we got some fingers <laughs> for Finn. Finn's like, wasn't feeling it. Yeah. It looked a little iffy. Felt iffy going to Wild Blue. Maybe feeling Zarscape a little nervous. Right? Zarscape going for texture and making it. And also going for texture. Honestly, not a bad idea. Oh, Missing no. Too far right. And taking the death. I assume what happened there was, you know, when you're about to reset in Womps and you just make yourself kind of fling off the level? Yes. <laughs> I assume exactly it was it. that muscle memory. Yeah. Because I... that is anything. I do that anytime I miss class, so I totally feel that. I, I thought the exact same thing. I was like, it's just running off the edge because, yeah, it's right. muscle memory. Bizarrescape missing Alice again. So Game one, but Finn! Here we go! Ooh. Not having a great Womps! Oh my goodness! Double jump taking victims today. It is. Third try is a child. Man. Yeah, not the not the best here for, for Finn and Womps. Bizarre escape taking advantage. Alright, about a one star ish lead here, but Wild Blue is the shortest star. Yeah, and we still have Cannonless. Cannonless. Hopefully without a death. Should okay. be fine. Yeah. There we go. It's all good. Recoup, heading into basement. Yes. Both heading to basement, yeah. Anything could happen. Neither have done plus yet. That could be a huge run. It wasn't last time, but could definitely cost some time. There's a lot of time to maybe gain and with a level in or any of these levels coming up. Yeah, just gotta stay clean for these hard tricks. Exactly, yeah. Bizarrescape with the awkward yeah. grab, but made the adjustment to dig to make Tama happen. Yeah, I was say very clean coming from Bizarrescape. At the end there. Yeah, super Finn precise going. trick. Was, I'm really surprised they were able to make an adjustment. Right? And getting clapped over. I was scared for a second that um, the shy, the fly guy might have been in a weird position there, but it was fine. Oop. Taking a few s single drums there, but making it. I would have been so tempted to hit B. Right? It's like, it can't hurt that bad, right? Right. Nah, sure. it would kill you. Yeah, it would definitely would. <laughs> Sliding right into the sand. Alright, let's see how Quez goes for Finn. Nice. Did Finn just not opt to do plus first star? Yeah, he went for Klepto instead. So both of them technically getting it first try there. Yeah, not bad. Alright, not bad at all. I believe Zarscape now leaving. Yes, SSL. And Finn just with Pyramid left. Some easy stars. I feel like we were in this exact position, but the roles were reversed. Yeah. Like, and in the end, Zarscape did take it by a few seconds, so anything could happen. Yeah, like, like Finn got behind early in the first match and then caught up at this point, and now Bizarrescape did it. This is such a mirrored match. 
Yeah. And despite all that insanely close, just like last time, really playing or proving their tie in PB here. Yeah, honestly, 1549. Tied BB, tied races. Right? It's what you love to see. Ooh, taking a burn there, but boiling the bullet. Yeah. I always get really nervous there when people fall because uh, there's some weird things that go on with that bullet where if you try to hit them while, like, you know, Mario's butt's burning, uh, sometimes yeah. the bully can still hit you and, like, knock you off and kill you. Like, it'll right. hit you, like, in the direction you were supposed to hit the bully. So, like, it knocks yeah. you off. Right, and it can happen so fast. Finn get, getting lava boost over there, and I assume Bazaar Escape now going for it as well. Yep. Both making it. Oh, a little sketchy at the end with that angle, but Ooh. very nice lava boost. I don't know how many we've seen of those today. Right? I know, I think Zion did one and then missed that wall kick ending that Bizarre just did. Oh, God. Yeah, it's painful. Like, getting the actual, the worst part of that strat and then missing it to the wall kick is pain. Yeah. It's not over till it's over. Exactly, exactly. Bizarre escape getting that side hop. Finn going to boil. Very clean bully. Really closing in on that tie now. Yeah, it was basically a full star. Now it's about half of one. Yeah. I do think between the two, uh, Finn has the cleaner movements. I, I think that, like saving a little bit of time over Bizarre Escape like very slowly over the stars. Yeah, like but we said in their made last... more mistakes. Right? Like we said in their last match, little optimizations can make a huge difference in these smaller categories like 16 star. Especially with the 15 minute PBs. Yeah, yeah, especially on this level. Yeah. Yeah, both. This is how you know it's so close. Like they're both talking yeah. to the toad. Right. This bizarre escape makes its way back in. Yeah, and how close this match is. It's something that BLJs or MIPS or honestly anything, even a zero cycle miss from bizarre escape could really even things out here. Yeah, it's yeah, it's literally anything is gonna swap the lead. Yeah. Anything that's not minor. Yeah, kind like you said zero favorite. cycle, like, yeah. Oh, Finn getting bodied. But yeah, zero cycle is a big one. I believe Bizarrescape missed it too in that last race. I could be misremembering that. Yes, one of them did. Right? I think, and then I think Finn got pole glitch. Yes, yeah, that's right. Bizarrescape now done with the. Uh, main stages. Um, one more star from BED. He's on his way to endgame now. Finn closely following him. Huh? Yeah, that is it. There's no more stars to grab. I'm just kidding. There's one more. There's stars. one more star to grab. <laughs> There's two more stars to spawn. Yes. And hopefully one more star to grab. Unless we are going to see some 17 star runs. But... We have to see everything that's possible, you know? Ooh, getting that punch grab. Zarscape going safe with it, not getting it still. That's that's time save for Finn. Yeah, especially with that quick punch grab. And he gets it. Finn now in the lead. But Zarscape so close behind. Nice double jump flip through there as Mips gets stuck in the fence for Bizarrescape. But again, this is a lead that is not necessarily comfortable for Finn. It's been so close for these two in the last match and this one. It's not over till it's over. No, it's not. And Finn has the lead now. This is like the exact lead, but opposite of what it just was. All over it's Mips. Wild. This is, these races are so good. These are some of the best 16 star races I think I've seen in a while. Yeah. Like, they have the all PB been so good. I'm so happy. Yeah. Right, when PBs are close, there's such good matches to be had. 
Yeah, make sure everyone watching uh, is sub to the YouTube because all the highlights, the VOD's gonna be up tomorrow, but all the highlights will be up as well later in the week. Yeah, make sure you get that. Also, you know, follow me here if you're not already followed, Twitter, all that. Uh, also follow yeah. these great runners and Sarah Starenka here in the commentary booth. Thank you. These runners are hitting Fire Sea. Finn getting pole glitch, also getting front step earlier, both of these tom saves. In comparison to Bizarre Scape, who is... Oh, actually going for pole glitch as well? Maybe not getting it? Yeah. Losing some speed at the end there, but... Going for a normal side. Oh my god. Finn with the dives! Oh my god! No, oh my is that god. dead? Is that dead? It's dead and he knows it. What's happening? Oh no! That is the most painful death you could possibly take. That's so that's so frustrating. It's literally like one jump away from making a cross. And that, it's like what do you do? Like you saw Finn like right. look. Oh wait. I, I think, think Finn I think Finn just uh Yeah, just uh, threw in the towel. Oof. GG's to Finn. That was really insane movement. It's unlucky when something goes wrong on left side. Yeah, Finn did so well during this race. Like, dude, it synced up. You need to watch this race back. I don't. I think you were listening. I don't know. But yeah. um, so yeah. close. It's been so good. It's it's been yeah. so good. That death is unfortunate, and it, it would. It, yeah, I, don't, I think it would keep you out of beating the 1733. Man. Man, <laughs> but bizarre escape into into BLJ's now. Not into throws. Just finishing up throws, actually. Here we go. We'll do a nice full screen bizarre escape. Let's go. Let's see what we get here. Hoping for some clean BLJ's. That always comes down to BLJ's. Really does. Oh, not quite. Is a 16 still possible? I believe no, yeah? I don't think so, no. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be right out of reach. I think once you enter the pipe, it's like 125, 130. Yeah. For the, for the other pipe. Oh my god, clipping right through though. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about like 1.30 to the finish. That was a really good clip into that pipe. Yes. That was nice. Yeah, it's about 40 seconds, like 45 for bits, 40 seconds for Bowser fight. Yeah, yeah. Still gonna post a very, very decent time, though, in this final match of the night. Yeah, this is a... Moving left side. Gets all the way to the edge. <laughs> What a what a backup! A backup for that one, yeah. I was that would if that would have worked, that would have been great. Right, it really would have been. True. Oh, taking that ground pound. Going for. Ooh, getting kind of bodied there. Oh my god, falling all the way. Hopefully not taking a death here. But we're fine. Yeah. The. Peter is tottering. It really is tottering. Okay, back up. We can do this. We can do this. We just gotta, you know, breathe and it'll all be okay. Still very capable of posting an 18 here. Yeah, 18 certainly on the table. Yes. Nice triple jump on that elevator. Let's have a nice clean ending here. Ooh, behind the post. I thought I was gonna pull out some like breeze, like canceling strats or something. Imagine. I've I've always been curious about that. Like, can you use the pillars to like gain a little bit of time? Right. Alright, let's throw one. So I escape right into the throws. Doesn't want to waste any time here. Two for two. A 
and that's three. Posting a low 18 here. Not bad at all. Especially with falling off love side a few times. 18 is not bad at all. The 18-12. That's actually my old PV. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. 18-12 is a really good time here, but yes. will not beat the 17-31 they already got. I think that takes third in this event, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Um, huh? No. Or fourth, maybe. Wait. I, okay. I got I to gotta see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll uh, see. Looking at we'll, the times. We'll, we'll I, let me pull them up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So first place today, we have 1707. That's by Zine. Let's go, Zine. So Zine taking first place. Second place, 1715. Eight seconds off is Benedict Floor. Nice. So we have... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Second place, 1711. Falling Tacos. Falling Tacos. Falling Tacos was second place. So we have Zine, Falling Tacos. Third is Benedict Floor with a 1715. Then we have the 1731 by Bizarre Scape. We have the 1733 by Finn. So yeah. We have the 1736 by Sima. And I think that's all the 17s. We have 1801 by Mr. Doggo. We have 1857 by Caprisen. Caprusen. Caprusen for Caprusen. Yeah, Caprusen. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, 1850 by Amphimora. And then the 1857 by Caprusen. 1933 by Leo. We have a 3109 by BDef, a 2155 by Meter, and a 2238 by Adam. Let's go. GG's all the runners. Yeah, GG's. Barely five minutes between everyone. Yeah. It's wild knowing that four of those 17s have been posted in these last two matches we were on comms for. It's wild. Yeah, it really is pretty wild. These runners making it happen today. Giving us some great races. Is that honestly some of the best 16 star I've seen in a long time as far as races. Uh, right. Mistakes happened and then like mistakes kept happening and they stayed close. Oh, well. And Yeah, it was it was fun. It was very fun right. to commentate. Thank you so much, Sarah, for, for being here. Of course, dude. It's an honor. Go ahead and shout everyone out. Exclamation point runners. In the chat, exclamation point comms. Please follow everyone here. Those are not the right comms. Uh, <laughs> but also follow Lisa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Also follow Sarah Stranka. I had a copy. <laughs> I didn't uh, post it in the comms thing. My bad. All good. Thank you but, so much. Uh, Make sure you're following Mark and if you're not already. Yes, everyone here, please follow. Please do everything you can to make sure Mario Sunday continues sign up show up yes. if you're watching if you're playing if you want to commentate hit me up uh, yeah, we can make it happen bad. yeah make it happen yeah so until next time appreciate everybody for being here uh, i'm actually not ready yet i'm sorry <laughs> uh, i thought i was ready but I'm gonna be shooting it off to the end screen but thank you guys so much for watching. Mario Sunday happens every single Sunday. Uh, and if you don't know, next Sunday is a... Uh, what is it? A task challenge, uh, which will be posted tomorrow. So please uh, take a look at that. The earlier you look at it, the more advantage you have to plan out a route to actually get the route done and sent in. So if you want to check that out, please do soon. And without any further ado, thank you so much for watching. And have a great night. Thank you for having me, Ben. It was so much fun. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice playing until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage.
stop this weekly competition Feeling like my inhibition Mario will tell the story Play for fun or go for gory Moves are getting even faster All these tricks out there to master Having fun could play forever Face your friends to see who's better Grab the strength you have to muster Do not lack a single luster Moves are looking never better Like a freshly painted desert Now you got a place to play And show that concentrated effort It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cage. Clash of the Titans tournament. Desnig versus Zufi. His game crash he put in chat. Simply in Rock Chalk. Closest 120 raise in the history of Mario 64. 16 stars showdown. Incredibly stacked lineup. Hit and throws. It's going to be very, very close. 1530. 1509. Fastest time of the entire tournament. Who might show up? That's a maybe. Things might get a little crazy. Feeling days and feeling hazy. There's no time for being lazy. Time to wake up, no more sleeping. All the peepos, people peeping. Nerves are consequently creeping. Got to concentrate, no blinking. Sight to see these runners racing. All the challenges they're facing. See the intricate displacing. Lines are looking worth retracing. Perfect moves with perfect spacing. What a run! Let's see who's pacing. It's Mario Sunday, where the game is played to see who's the fastest runner that is up to date. Open sign up, claim your place, but do not hesitate. Lots of categories, now you've got decisions to make. Get some practice play until you get in that flow state. You can do it, go and prove it, time to test your fate. I'll give you everything, I'll even give you center stage. But first, let me see you jump into that owl's cave.
There's no denying what we want. There's no 